All right, and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast. After hours edition, we're joined with six lovely ladies. Should have been seven, but that's a whole other funny part that we'll tell you guys. We had after Chris Castle earlier on the show. Uh, Chris Castle. Let's get into it. Let's go. All the night is my world. Did you like it? Ain't it I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. Leave. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as you have seen. I must believe in something, so I'll make myself believe it. It's my turn. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We already got 1,400 guys in here, so do me a quick favor while you're here. Like the video. Like the goddamn video, okay? Because I lost a lot of hair follicles the past couple of days arguing with girls. Also, <laughs> uh, okay, I want to, I will talk about that in a second, but let me make these announcements so I don't get off track here. Number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit. Get all the behind the scenes content there. After the last video we did with, uh, talking about Nicki Minaj and Joe Budden, we might actually get canceled. So, real, real talk, and get on that Patreon. Or canceled. Yeah, and black screen right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, we did a video where we debunked uh, a lot of the, you know, hate that we've been getting and all this other bullshit. I didn't really yeah. want to make that video, but at this point, now it's starting to get annoying because this is like the third time that Joe Budden's mentioned us. Nicki Minaj goes on a rant using a bunch of false information to try to paint us in a certain light that isn't correct. So, we debunked all that bullshit with facts. St- um, um, receipts, proof, everything else that, quite frankly, guys, mainstream media has painted a narrative to try to put us in a certain light, which is not true. And we showed you guys the hypocrisy from the same people that are trying to detract in virtue signal. Listen, so man, there's a hate train on Fresh and Fit. Facts. Guess what? The train don't stop. Exactly. Hey, uh, there you go. They, and we never claim to be perfect, unlike these guys. You know what I'm saying? We make it. We make jokes all the time on every single race. We're not perfect. We make fun of black women, Asian women, white women, everybody. So we hate everyone equally. <laughs> uh, what was that? What Even saying? ourselves. Even that ourselves. Was Chris. Yes. What was that, Chris? No, I was saying they have to eat somehow, you know? Facts. That's so, And that's true. If you put our name in your title, you yo, will get a lot of views. I'm not going to lie. For Thanksgiving, we've had a lot of families. Yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a fact. That's Christmas. Saying. Like, if you if you mention our name, you will get views automatically. So I get it. Like, it's a marketing tactic or whatever. But at this point, now, it's, if you guys are going to go sit here and, like, you know, spread a bunch of false lies about us, like, these guys are racist and misogynist, all this other bullshit, it's not true. So, uh, and we, and I think we proved that. But uh, anyway, with that said, check us out, patreon.com slash fresh fit, because who knows how long we'll, much, uh, we'll be uh, on here. Uh, also, guys, check us out on Spotify, Google Now Podcast. If you don't got time to watch the podcast, you know, with the video, you go ahead and listen to us, listen to us on audio. And uh, yeah, yeah, check us out over there. And there just go. make sure you wear headphones so you don't get in trouble. Uh, we've had guys that drive Uber and Lyft and shit like that get in trouble for listening to our podcast. Like the listeners literally file a complaint like, oh, this podcast, he listens to this stuff that's fucked up. <laughs> is that what it is? What's the complaint? Uh, basically, we're um, infringing on their beliefs. That's what something like that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know a bunch why. of riders complaining on Lyft and Uber about us. Apparently, also, guys, get the merch. Freshwaterpodcaststore.com. You guys get the Frank Castle T-shirt. Okay, uh, which, as you guys know, it has the uh, infamous TikTok quote on the front, and then it has a Simpson pimp on the back. So go ahead and get the shirt. Um, and guys, I just want you guys to know as well. Just because I don't have to necessarily remember, guys, the Punisher doesn't have to kick you out of the studio to punish you. Sometimes. Just having you sit here and look stupid like yesterday is a punishment in itself. Remember, Punisher used to torture his victims. And sometimes just having them sit here and look dumb and uncomfortable is torture in itself. 4D chess, guys, okay? <laughs> so anyway, and she's looking at me like, oh, shit, yeah. That was your friend there. That was your man's. <laughs> and, and literally a man. Next question. No, okay. no, no, no question. Just she a said statement. literally a man. She, well, she was acting like a dude. I'm not too sure okay. at this point. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Also, guys, check us out on Fresh of Eclipse. We got another YouTube channel. If you guys don't got time to watch me lose my hair and slow time on during the debates, go ahead and watch me lose my hair fast time on the Clips channel. Fresh of Eclipse is the name of the channel. Check us out over there. Also, if you have even less time and you got to rub one out before work or something, you need some entertainment. Well, not to us, obviously, but, you know, in between what the hell you're doing, you shouldn't be rubbing it out anyway. Check us out on Fresh of Fit Shorts, okay? Uh, 60 second clips. It's kind of like TikTok, but way better because TikTok sucks. But uh, yeah, it's our other YouTube channel, Fresh for Shorts, 60 second and less. And then the reg- regular clips channel is, you know, two to 10 minutes. So, and then you can watch the regular channel for the full podcast. Also, uh, Fresh has a vlog channel, but since he's not here, I'll tell you guys about it. Basically, he documents his life and his trash. Don't subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen, man, we cover lifestyle. We're not in the studio. 
getting lit, yacht parties, all that stuff. And once again, man, if you want to see Myron in 4K getting the real life treatment done to him by girls, watch my channel. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, whatever, all right. Whatever that means. Uh, yeah, we, 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 I guess whenever I'm featured. And then also, guys, go check out my other YouTube channels called Feta1811 on there. I break down criminal cases, as you guys know. I used to work in law enforcement. So I just did the – um, I just did the uh, – damn, I forgot what the class is. just – no, I did Glenn Maxwell, Young Jeffrey boy. Epstein. Oh, NBA Young Boy. Yes, I did the. I did a breakdown in the NBA Young Boy federal gun case, guys. Uh, very thorough. It went like three plus hours, but I literally went line like one, two, three. The entire case, I broke it down all the way from the indictment to the FBI testimony on the case to um, the suppression hearing. Everything there, guys. And I break it down. I actually read the court documents with you guys because there's no other Fed on YouTube like breaking it down and that degree, letting you guys know exactly what was done, what this means, etc. So if you guys really enjoy like crime and narratives and that type of thing check that channel out you get uh to see these uh big cases from a different perspective of someone that actually used to do these cases guys i've done these gang cases rico cases whatever so it was a former life but you know it's uh helps me reminisce on good times uh but now i'm just a podcaster that gets hate from a bunch of people so it is what it is times have changed um and then super chats real quick or no girls all right let's introduce the ladies ladies give us your name your age what you do for a living current dating status and then also as well education level we'll start right here and your body count <laughs> special. Uh, uh, my name is Dino with the E. E in my name, not an I. One E. Um, I work at a spot called Voodoo on the beach. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Oh yeah, we definitely have. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> um, I am currently single. I am 22. And what else did you ask me? Uh, education level. Uh, I'm in college. I graduate December. Cool. cool. With a bachelor's or what? Bachelor's, yeah. Communications. Okay. And communications. All right. Yes. So you're really good at talking to people. So this is going to be, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, we'll put it to the test. Yes, we'll put it to the test on this podcast. If not, right. getting a right. degree. What about you? Okay, my name. Oh, and you're single. You said. Yes, I am single. Okay. All right. My name is Asia, and um, I'm a full-time student too, same school, and I actually work at G5 right now. G5. Yeah. Are you a dancer? I'm yeah. not a dancer. I'm a hookah girl oh, okay. waitress. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Those are the vibes. Oh, and then uh, highest oh. education level complete, everything else like that? I'm going to be getting my bachelor's. I'll be graduating next of May. And, uh, yeah, next right. of May. And uh, dating status? Dating status is I'm currently in a situation. <laughs> situation. <laughs> situation. Like right. in Chinese. Well, I mean, she said her name was Asia, so I'm just trying to get uh, with, the, with the theme here. Well, um, then. I know. All right. Uh, okay, and you, and you, how long have you been in that relationship? No, no, situation ship. Oh, situ how long have you been in that situation ship? <laughs> For like a year. A year? <laughs> so, All right. So, <laughs> me love you a long time, I guess, okay? I mean, love right. you a long time. Oh, Fair wow. enough. Um, That's Skrilla? And it, what? Over there in the corner. Oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's Skrilla doll, and I'm back, <laughs> and I still want all the smoke. <laughs> Um, yeah, my name is Skrilla doll, S-K-R-I-L-L-A-D-O-L-L -L -L on Instagram. Fuck with me. I do lashes. I sell lashes too. Um, what's the other question? What do you do for work? Oh, I said that. Oh. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Yeah, fresh. Uh, you stupid. <laughs> Dang silence. <status. laughs> oh. Got you. She belongs to the street. <laughs> yeah, that wrong. Hell nah. Uh, um, I'm single. Okay. <laughs> All right. What did she say last time? I think she was married to a bag of my some sister. kind. That was my sister. Oh. oh. We both married to the bag though. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Lovely. Fantastic. And then last but not least, education well, well, level. Well, the people want, oh yeah, education level, yes. I'm doing my GED. Okay. All right. And uh, since last show, uh, well, you don't have to admit this. So did anyone get hands or feet put on them? <clears throat> did anyone, excuse me? Did anyone get beat up? Not by <laughs> you, of course, maybe, but allegedly. me. Okay, good answer. All right, uh, fair enough. Wait, wait, but I gotta know because I did a live stream, uh, well, live on my Instagram, and Nicholas was like, "Yo, she a baddie." Do you get any DMs from the last show? Yeah. What were they saying? Because you a said you want all the smoke. Well, a lot of people were just supporting too. It was like, "Damn, you bad." Someone said, "Let me fly you out to um." <laughs> I forgot where they said. Honestly, I know. Um, they were trying to nah. They were trying to fly me out though, and then some, some they were just fancy. saying Somewhere. um. Me and my sister was dope, and they fought with us. Okay. Yeah. Some good things. Mm -hmm. All right. Nobody was in there talking shit or anything at all, so I wonder where they was at. 
You said you want all the smoke, so. I want all the smoke. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I'm not going to go into crazy details, but they, they, someone fucked up last time that y'all were here, you know, uh, should have done some things for you guys, and they didn't do it, so I wasn't sure if that person got beat up. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> really? yeah. oh you know what I'm talking about yeah. now, right? The driver. Yeah, the Don't driver. Yeah. So, but that's a whole other thing. Maybe okay. we'll discuss it later on in the show. Right. Uh, it's perks. Hey guys, I'm Alice Visby. Um, for those of you who might know, I've been on here before. Um, I am a porn star, social media influencer, um, 25, private life, sing like like dating life's private. So that's just. What does that mean? It means it's none of their damn business. Translation, she has a boyfriend, but she she doesn't want him to get a bunch of messages from people talking shit. Hell no. Hell no. So you're single? I ain't saying nothing. Yeah, she she has a situation shit. Strong arm in her. Yeah. The translation, guys, anytime a girl says I'm in a situation, you should have man, I I have even had people message my family about my job. So I don't tell nobody nothing about my private life because they be coming after it no matter what. So... So anyway, like I was saying, anytime I go to like a situation ship or you know it's complicated, whatever the translation guys of that woman is, I got y'all. That's weird. I'm I casually didn't say having that. sex and or seeing some guy, and I'm not sure if it's gonna elevate to the position of boyfriend or girlfriend or marriage, but I don't really want to have sex with other people right now because it's strange for me to that's have sex with random. Weird for guys. you to say though, because I have sex with people every damn day. <laughs> well, that's a part of your profession. But uh, if it were not part of your profession, you would probably just be hooking up with that guy. But I'm saying most regular girls, when they say that, that's what it means. No comment. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. And then uh, All right. education level? Um, I have three associates. Cool. I dual majored last year, graduated in December. And for now, I'm taking a break, but I'm planning on going back. All right. So, damn, three. So, did, was it like in three different like fields? Uh, Yeah. So, I got dual majored in phlebotomy and diagnostic medical sonography last year. And then, what before, is that? Phlebotomy is like uh, the, phlebotomy phlebotomy is is the blood, but what's the second one? Uh, yeah. it's, the, it's like the nurse slash doctor that does like the sonographs for like pregnant women. Okay. And they do it for your hearts and shit. So, okay. I did both of those together last year, graduating in December. Uh-huh. Um, and before that, I did children's education. I got two years in that. So, I got three. Fuck all that. I'd rather suck some penis. But what? what I know. What I was like, I'm tired of this school. I just want some dick, man. All right. Fair See, enough. I told you nurses be crazy, man. Instead of sucking out the blood, she's sucking out the semen instead. Yep. All right. Yup. Right. Yep. Tastes better. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Oh, my, yeah. Well, once your name is Dracula, I, I yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool. Hey, um, welcome awesome. back again. I, I feel deja vu right now. Deja vu. I'm Liv. And I was on here last night. <laughs> um, I do OnlyFans, and I'm 21, and that's all right. Uh, highest education level completed? Oh, I'm in school right now. In school, okay. What are yeah. you majoring in? Political science. Ah, oh yes, I remember now that yeah, useless degree yeah. that we discussed last time. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> what are you gonna be a lawyer or something or what? Yeah. Uh, okay. So you're gonna go to law school right after? Mm, maybe not right after like okay. five years after god damn what are you gonna do in that five years i don't know whenever i get join porn. Porn. law school join porn yep law school is like 10 years though no nope it's not a long ass time it's like another four or five years. five ten years but i will say this they they might not let you on the bar with 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 stuff on only fans mm. fy depending on the state no Wait, what? <laughs> Laws have changed. Laws have changed. I can still have my license as a, in the medical field and yeah. do what well, I do. We're talking about law here. Yeah, but you got to have a certain. Changed. They're going to want a certain type of character of of a of attorney. Like they have a certain standard when it comes to like it being on the bar, and sometimes <laughs> having that pass can can come back and haunt you. I'm not trying to be an asshole. Just being honest here. I'm sure there's some some uh, some lawyers in the chat that could probably speak to this. Because they do do a background check. No, I'm sure that's true. But like in 10 years, once I finish law school, hopefully all the boomers that like care about that shit will be dead. So <laughs> also, you got a fake name? Uh, no, nope. you should get a fake name, girl. I'm telling Whoa. you, fail safe right there. <laughs> OK, no, you talking. <laughs> all right, I'm so... saying you look up my real name. You ain't finding shit. Okay. Nothing. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, so, OK. And then so you're in school now. Political science. Dating status? Only fans. Yeah, yeah, status. Single. All right. All right. All right. Mm. Are you also married to the streets or the ba- the bag or are you uh <laughs> married to the game? All right. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. There you go. Um and then what about you? Uh, my name is Kayori. I'm currently 
in school for college and I'm studying acting. Oh I'm, shit. Yeah. So if you guys need anybody, <laughs> so you're an actor? yeah. You uh, playing with all these guys' hearts? That's messed up. Nah, nah. I'm single. I keep to myself. So that's, that's my vibe. That's <laughs> what, what kind of acting are we talking? Are you like a stunt double? Or um, are you like nah, a... I'm trying to actually get into film. I want to do a lot of um, streaming networks like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon mm. Prime, Pornhub. <laughs> no. Oh, I'll try. I'll try chat. <laughs> that was him, by the way. <laughs> this guy, bro. Um, okay, so in school right now, uh, and uh, you said single. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So everyone on the no two girls on the panel are in a situation ship. Yeah. And then everybody else is single. Well, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one's married to the streets, but that can. Say, okay. All right. <laughs> that fair me? enough. Huh? Oh no, it was oh, her, okay. Well, you're the one that's in a situation ship. I assumed I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, contrary to popular belief, the show does not revolve around you. But anyway, oh, we'll continue on. Burn. Uh, all right. So um, where, where are we at with chats? Yeah. Chats. Yeah. Give me a second. All right. Pull these up. Chris is never prepared for the chats. I love it. I know, right? It's like he's back there, like just oh yeah. Um, you know. One second. There we go. All right. And thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for the donations. We appreciate it. All this money will be used on uh, hookers and cocaine later. Uh, just kidding. Allegedly. 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 Uh, electric relaxation. Nicki Minaj is really bad for black women. Chris, can you pull up an image of Sarah Bartman? Put a weave on her, and you would have Nicki. She literally portrayed the negative black Jezebel image from slavery and got paid to do it. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Didn't hear about. Didn't know about that. But okay. Kind of deep, brother. Christian Brand Myron, since you have your prediction uh, for the future on women out earning men. Oh, prediction. I'm sorry. The incompatibility for successful relationships and one fourth of women being on antidepressants. Do you think self deletion rate will surpass the men's? Well, I will say this: um, the studies are actually showing that more and more women are um, increasing in self deletion uh, from being sad and not being fulfilled. But honestly, bro, I, I mean, there's uh, guys are always gonna, you know, lead the race when it comes to self deletion. Not that that's a stat to brag about, but okay. Uh, Marina Gaines, Dad, I got canceled in my daycare today. Okay, fantastic. Uh, we got Judicial 2000. Meyer, much respect for you. Handled the Army reject last night. City boys, we up. You want to tell your, uh, your, the people a little bit about your friend, what happened after the show last night? After the show? Yeah, what happened? Because I know they're going to ask anyway, so let's just address it now. Nothing happened after the show. <laughs> like, with what? I don't know. Like, what'd y'all do after? What'd you guys do? Oh, after? Yeah, we... like you and Fresh and her. Oh, well, we were going to go out, but then she, she went, went home. Yeah, pretty much. She went home? On Un- Unrelated yeah. to this, though. It yeah, was yeah. a different situation that, like, pissed her off that made her go home. Okay. Do you want me to talk about the situation? Sure. Uh, a-, a man was very mean to her and yelled at her. I wonder a why. A few nights before. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> and why. So, and he was going to be at the place that we were going to, so she left. Yeah. But it didn't have to do with this. She didn't want to see him, basically. Yeah. My question is, why was he mean? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> okay, are we gonna get into this? I'm just curious. She, I'm just asking I mean, the sure. questions. So, go, ahead, go ahead. Story so, time. Uh, <laughs> this is the club. Because I'm not surprised. I, this is a true club I story. like the princess noises, so it's actually uh <laughs> the, the transition we use whenever you're gonna tell a story. I call it princess noises. Sure. <laughs> Stupid. But continue. <laughs> so um, I was a little drinkity drinkity and somebody invited me to another club. So I was like, oh, let's go. And so she told the guy that we were with, oh, we're going to go to a different club. And he's like, fuck you, bitch. Oh. Don't leave. Fuck you. And he screamed at her like in the club. Actually. Hold on. <laughs> let's peel it back a layer <laughs> because this is a perfect example of women not telling the full story. Uh, Let me guess. Did he? Spend and or invest a significant amount of money in giving you guys a good time at the night at the bar. 5K. Uh, <laughs> now it makes sense. Oh, shit. Fuck. 5K? Yeah. Because <laughs> I already know. Fantastic. Uh, but uh, Christina, clean up an aisle uh, three over here. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, so the guy spent a lot of money, right, on showing you guys a good time, but then you guys decided to go with someone else. I mean, does it? I, hey, I'm saying it's my fault. I was only wanted to leave. Okay. I'll admit that. I was. I did say I was a little drinkity, drinkity. Okay. You were intoxicated. Fantastic. Yeah. So okay. it was my fault. It wasn't her fault. Okay. So why and didn't so, she just stay with him? And then you leave. Because she didn't want to leave me by myself. Mm. It's we're... like girl code, kind of. You know, you don't want to just like tell her to go. I was all the time in the club scene. Yeah. Well, so, um, so did she even like this guy? Let's be honest. Probably yeah, not. Yeah. And- and- no, she, she did. No, she no, she liked him like a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. But then he screamed at her <laughs> in the club and she had just met him like the night before too. So it's like, why why are you yelling at me? You know? 
Well, I mean, it's because he spent five thousand dollars on hanging out with y'all, and you guys just get up and leave. He's a grown man, though. Nobody forced him to do that. Well, you're also a grown woman, and you could spend that kind of money as well, right? I could if I wanted to, but somebody else was going to, so why would I? And guys, this is why we tell y'all: don't spend money on women in the club, bro. Yep. Like, Uh-oh. don't do it. Every single time, <laughs> shit like this happens, and you get finessed. And here's the thing: I'm not even gonna knock you for it. It's just that. There's so many guys like, you know, think, oh, let me just spend money and invest in girls at the club and maybe they'll hang out with me and whatever. It's like, no, bro. Like, if you do that, a lot of the time they lose respect for you. And if something better comes along, which in this case it did, she's going to go with her friend, regardless of whatever you invested. And, and also, they don't owe you the boxes for you paying for a table. Yes. Kind of mind. Very true. So that being said, if you want to set it up in the correct way, make sure the interest is there. She's into you 100 percent. And if you're smart about it, you'll smash first before you even go to the club. Yeah. Right. Club of salt. So, uh, so enough. let me get this straight. Okay, so y'all left, right? And you went to another club to, yes. I'm assuming, presumably, you had another guy lined up that had another couple bottles for y'all. Yes. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> and then, so you guys went over there, and then what happened? Um, on I'm going to be honest. I, Please do. I regret leaving because it wasn't as fun as the other club. I was just drunk, so I was like, "He he, let's leave," you know. But then I got there and I was like, "Boo!" Okay. Fuck. So why'd y'all go to the other club? Was the guy that invited you cooler than the guy that you guys were with? Fun fact: it was the celebrities' people. Oh. Okay, and we mentioned Uh-oh. it. We mentioned it last show. Okay. Why girls will come to your table and leave with celebrities all the time. Exactly. Higher priority. So yeah. so the guy that he spent the money, but he wasn't clouded. So the guy that so you get invited by guys that are famous, you're like, you know what, fuck that. Let's go check this out. Go over there. It's trash. Um and then what happened? No. So the guy that we were with had a little like a decent amount of clout, but the other guy had the potential for more clout. Okay. Fair. Yeah. And then and then what happened? So yeah, I went to the second place. It was trash. What'd you do at that point? Um then we both left and we I went to my girlfriend's house and she went back to our Airbnb. So I kept drinking and like going out with girls, but she was tired and so, mad at so, me. So Redhead was mad. Yeah. That you dragged her to another place that wasn't lit. Yeah. No, and it was valid. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then, and then what happened? Honestly, ha- and then, and it's then you guys went to another spot yesterday, but this dude was going to be there. Yes. And she didn't want to see him. <laughs> yes. Because she he yelled, Because he yelled at her. And he was, and then he like messaged her later on in the night and like continued to yell at her. Mm. So it's just like, it's not that deep, you know, like you don't have to be mean about it. Well, I mean, I can see where he's coming from. Not that I, you know, I would spend $5,000 on a chick and get mad, but it's like, I can see where he's coming from. I mean, he did invest a significant amount of money and time and entertaining you guys. Then you just got up and left for something else. Yeah. But he didn't, he didn't need to like continue it. You know, he like spoke his truth. Okay, pop off. But then you like continue to message her about Yo, it. It is so funny. When you're actually in the environment, you can see <laughs> things with an RP lens. And it's yeah. funny because a lot of guys will say, Oh, I'm spending money. I deserve the pussy. And yeah. it's like, bro, like just because you spend money doesn't mean she's gonna go home with you. Yeah. yeah. So in actual fact, what you should do is set up the play, like I said beforehand, or have an, another lit spot to go to, multiple uh, locations, multiple experiences. You know what? Damn. She multiple might, girls huh yeah multiple girls different seriously girls. have yeah, different yeah. girls yeah. set up but but that way you can have like a, a fail safe because i'm telling you bro right now bro just because you spend money doesn't mean you're gonna get it doesn't mean anything yeah. and we tell y'all all the time don't invest money Look, into girls you know, just but you know what it is <laughs> girls go to have fun and it yep. just, if it's a happens that, that she's into you it may lead, lead to something else but it doesn't mean it's, it's automatic and thank you for being honest about it i mean yeah. i had to drag it out of you a bit because i knew you weren't going to mention the fact that he spent a, a, a lot of money on you guys i knew you were going to mention that but yeah why would fine. i well uh, <laughs> you know anyone that has common sense real wait why is he reacting like this okay wait oh he invested five thousand dollars that yeah. makes sense Wow. Okay. I'd be pissed too. But, uh, but this is why you guys don't sit, bro. We tell y'all all the time. Um, okay. Fair enough. And then, um, chats. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll read these chats guys. And then we're going to get into the topic at hand. We got what a video to react to or two. Yeah, video. All right, cool. Um, we got judicial 2000. Myron, much respect for you. Handle the army. Oh no. Read that one. Omar. Uh, five bucks. Omar. Just want to say, I love you guys for res- speaking up for men who can't the Laquisha's on shade roof. Can't cancel y'all and Skrilla. What's up? BBC gang here. You like BBC? Yep. Yup. Yep. I'm not gonna answer yep. that. You know what BBC is? Yeah. What is it? What is it? That's all I like. What is it? Big. <laughs> you can say it. Talk about that on here though. You can say it. No, it's, 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 it's cool. Just say it. What? Why y'all want me to say it? Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> no, no, no. Do you know? Do you know what it is? Big black cock. <laughs> right. Period. So you know it means bigger, better confidence. Damn. 
See? Oh. Get your mind out the You're dirty, girl. Get your mind out the gutter. You're dirty, girl. How dare you? Stop grabbing the mic like a cock right now. What's what's next? Um, okay. Myron, much respect for you. Oh, no, no. read that one. Okay, have a good show. Uh, catch y'all. Catch you in the morning. Don't worry. I have earbuds. City boys, we up. All right, cool. Yep. Myron should get on LeBron's hairline treatment plan, potentially. <laughs> Fat Albert. Uh, 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 an apple, apple, I guess, peach. or a peach. Yeah. Okay. 10 bucks. Love you guys. Gracie, Gracie. Habib. Uh, hello, big, uh, FNF big fan here. I have a question for the whole panel. If you had to start your life over and you had a choice to be born as a man or woman, what would you choose and why? Hmm, it's a pretty good question. Oh, shit. Uh, we'll go around the panel on that one. All right. All right. Uh, would you be born as a man or a woman? And if so, why? Why? Um, I would definitely, I would definitely stay as stay a woman. A girl? Yeah, okay. I would definitely Fair. stay as a woman. It's way better on this side. Um, okay. I, I just, I don't know, I don't know what it's like to have a, a penis. So, okay, <laughs> I would definitely stay as a woman, though. Fair. I agree. I would definitely stay as a woman. It's lit on this side. I don't know. Fair. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna stay as a woman. I don't want to be a man. All right. Yeah, I'm down with take and not receive it. Or wait, no. <laughs> Receiving and not taking yeah. uh, and giving. Exactly. No, I like being a woman. I think it's wouldn't change. Okay. Playing life on easy. So. Oh, well, at least someone admits it. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> what about uh, you? That was easy. I also like being a woman. Fair. Five thousand dollars on bottles without having to worry about anything. Yeah. <laughs> Spring break. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. I was. And that's just one night. I would say a woman. It's a different type of sexy when you're a woman. So I don't know how it would be sexy as a man. Okay. <laughs> so surprise video because of this question here. Chris, it's actually in the chat right now. Oh, shit. Because our boy, Long Beach Griffey's coming okay. this weekend. All right. And he I need to get to video. tomorrow or Friday. Yeah. One of the and two. he made a video talking about the same topic right here uh, on Instagram. So it's a pretty funny video. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. Your responses are very, 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 very funny. All right. All right. Let's uh let's play this clip. And this is you said from uh, his IG, right? Yo, yeah. and there's six thousand y'all in here, guys. So do me a favor and like the goddamn video right now. It's up to the channel too. It's up man. to the channel. A lot of you guys are Toss fucking ninja watchers, us, man. God damn it. All right, let's play the joint. No, let me unmute it first. We need some audio, nigga. I know. Thank you, sir. Chris on the one and twos. It must be easy as fuck being a woman. I don't know why these hoes be crying all the time. Man. Nigga, I wish I was a bad bitch. I wouldn't have to work for a damn thing. All I gotta do is be bad and suck dick, and I can have it all. <laughs> shit. Women have it easy. Bro, on me they do. Free food, free drinks in the club, all type of shit. Bro, what? Applying for jobs would be easy. They just gonna hire me because I'm bad. Man, and they be out here getting all type of unnecessary attention from dudes. Bro, I will stream on Twitch. I don't gotta be good at no game. Facts. All I gotta do is show my big ass titty. Facts. I don't gotta try. TikTok would be the move for me. <laughs> all I gotta do is some stupid fucking TikTok dancer. Jump up and down with my big succulent Matumbo mommy milkers and a fucking top that can barely hold my titties, and it's a wrap. <laughs> nigga, I be getting ran through by all the drug dealers and rappers. I would make Jack Harlow eat my pussy. Uh, nigga, I would not be looking forward to cramps. <laughs> Bitches be acting like they suffering. Women are weak. <laughs> I'd handle cramps like a real nigga. <laughs> I can't wait to get my pussy box. Be my shit in. Fuck you, me. <laughs> with a hair riddle about her. <laughs> <laughs> but me too. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> yeah. But I would be an evil bitch. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. What you mean? Yeah, I would um I would be setting niggas up <laughs> to get robbed. Screw up. Right <laughs> I, would, uh, I would be passing gonorrhea on purpose <laughs> to everybody in the tri state. Wait, wait a second. Then I'd lie about getting raped. Oh, <laughs> I'd lie about mad niggas raping me. Okay, and that's Twitch on. Uh, <laughs> on Twitch. Uh, and Twitch. Come over to YouTube, niggas. Come over to YouTube. Come on over to YouTube. Come 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 over to Y
bad. He did enough wrong. Do Marco, that fucking girl Marco. lied, bro. He never did anything to her. She was just mad that he didn't respond to her text, bro. <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. Ferris Breezy's innocent, man. All right, let's continue on. And every woman would believe me because believe all women. <laughs> it's the perfect fucking crime. Women will believe me with no refutable evidence, no logic, no question. <laughs> they just gonna believe me right off the bat. <laughs> I'm not about to get canceled for this, am I? And anyone that opposes me <laughs> is a rape sympathizer, rape apologist, and a pedophile. Grape, oh, grape, grape, grape. <laughs> I'm finna fuck my enemies up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need a gun. All I need is a false accusation. <laughs> yes. Can we go back? Talking about getting our pussy destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, we done. Yo, yo. Man, cancel right there. Oh, cancel, yeah. guys. Yo, shout out to by the way, man. Uh, I gotta hear it. guys, because we're probably gonna get canceled after that one. Yo, <laughs> real, real talk. Thoughts right. on the video? Thoughts on the video? Was it funny, relatable? Was it like real? Was it true? Was it false? Yeah, I think it was. It was cute at first. <laughs> yeah, it was cute at first. And then back slipped in and then got all serious and shit. Yeah, I got a little bit debatable. Yeah, it was like, I ain't laughing now. It's got true. a little crazy. Yeah, I got a little debatable at the end, but I feel like there's some, there's some truth to it a little bit. Like, everyone's going to have their opinions. So if you find dark humor funny, then, you know, it's funny. If not, then don't watch it. <laughs> okay. What did you like disagree with? What what didn't you like that you just because you said um some stuff is debatable. Um, I feel like rape is a sensitive Merch. topic, so like that could trigger anybody. So, you know, either if you think it's funny because you like dark humor, then you know it's fine. But if it's someone that was affected by it, then you know it's not funny to them. So I think it's just comedy is something that's not for everybody. So yeah. it can go either way. Yeah. Well, I will say this. I guess I'll be. I'll just say it. Um, we did a whole podcast on this actually about how rape culture is a myth. It's not as prevalent as people say it is. And we actually like pulled all the stats and the studies, and we showed how um, the stats actually don't align with reality when you compare. Because the CDC did a bunch of studies, right? Basically, where they did surveys on women and asked them questions like, "Hey, has a guy ever lied to you to get sex? Maybe he said he was somebody that he wasn't." Etc. And if the girl answered in the affirmative, that actually was considered to be a check mark in the rape slash sexual assault section. And they also asked them, "Has a guy ever? Um, have you ever drank alcohol and hooked up with a guy?" That was considered to also be in the category of rape and or essay as well. I'll try to refrain from using the word too much so we don't get canceled on here. But um, but the way the study was conducted, that's why you have overinflated numbers. Like one in five women is the victim of some kind of crime on campus. Which, if you guys use the logic, like that would be crazy because. Would you send your girl, your daughter to college if you knew one? She had Hell a one in five no. chance no. of getting raped. No, no, but it sounds sexy to say that on paper, so that people can kind of have this victim mindset. But when you actually look at the Bureau of Justice statistics, you see that rape is not as prevalent as people say because they use numbers that don't necessarily equal up to that. You know, there's a clear distinction between harassment versus like rape. You know what I'm saying? But what they did was they conflated the two, put them in, and use any type of unwanted contact with men as grape or essay and that's why the numbers are so inflated no wait. we're not saying it doesn't happen we're not saying it doesn't happen it does happen 100%. it definitely does wait but did, i do want to... sorry well, did did mara finish all that without being cut off yeah yeah, oh, Surpri- shit. yeah oh, surprisingly shit. okay ladies yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, out, shout out to y'all man but uh for hearing me out on that but because when i ever i say this i get uh, tr- uh, a bunch off. of people get triggered like oh but you don't know i'm not saying no one's not a victim what i'm simply saying is that we live in a world now where we say there's rape everywhere. They're ever, they're doing all this shit to all these women, and it's like it happens, but just not as often as people say. And I give you a simple because you're saying, for example, if the person actually went through it, it's a, it's tough yeah, to talk about. Of course, hundred percent, understandably. Yeah, yeah, we're, and we're not like undermining victims. We're just simply saying a lot of people claim to be victims when they don't when they aren't necessarily victims. They're doing it to more kind of chase a check, get some sympathy. Uh, you know, whatever it is, and you know, believe all women is a very dangerous. Rhetoric. Chris Brown, for example. Chris Brown is a perfect example. He literally did like today. He, uh, this woman, I don't know if you guys know the story. Like a month or two ago, some woman came out and said that he raped her on a boat, in Miami. and she sued him for like what eleven million or something like that. Yeah, in Miami, which that's a red flag. Anytime she didn't tell the police, she just came up. I'm suing you for a lot of money. And then what did he do? He obviously got with his team, lawyered up, and then they put out the entire conversation between him and her. Comes out, she was trying to get attention from him. 
She was messaging him. He wasn't responding. And then, bam, next thing you know, she hits him with this lawsuit that he graped her months later. So, you know, there's always a little bit more to the story. But it's just that we tend to kind of have a witch hunt. And anytime someone makes an accusation, we believe them without looking at evidence. And my thing is this. If you're going to make a claim like that that can destroy someone's reputation, I think we should take the same severity we, you know, in seriousness we take on that case. We need to take at looking at the evidence as well and making sure that the person is actually um, culpable for the crime that they're accused of versus just going on a witch hunt and saying, believe all women, which that's ridiculous because then people can abuse that. And next thing you know, guys are getting accused all over the place when things don't really happen. And worse yet, it lowers the quality of the other real victims' accusations and or situations because at the end of the day, the real victims lose. So that's true. Anyway, yeah. but thoughts on the video? Um, I thought it was very funny, funny. Also, I did not like the end of it either. <laughs> I can't imagine why. What part what part didn't you like? Um, I just I don't think that like a lot, a lot of women falsely accuse of rape. But grape. Grape. Grapey, grape, grape, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I just don't think it's like super, super common. So I just didn't <clears throat> like that. But the rest of it I did like a lot. <laughs> okay. I mean, we just and I was giggling, it. yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I was right. agreeing with that. What about you? A lot of you females might get upset with what I'm about to say. Oh, shit. The oh, whole shit. damn video was a joke, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, like all of it was semi inappropriate, crossing the line a little bit. Like, they mentioned something that's, yes, is serious. Yes, it happens. But like, the whole video was made as a joke. Like, take light of the situation like you know what i mean like they're making light of it they're trying to joke about like 10 different things that 90 percent of them we all fucking do like we all sit there and do 90 percent of that so like them adding that which is a very common occurrence like it is yes there are true grape cases yes there are true fake grape cases they're just shining light and making jokes of a situation that's true as fuck like I wasn't offended, to be honest, at all. I don't know. But okay, right. I liked the video. I thought that shit was funny as hell. I was laughing the whole damn time. Fair like, enough. Yeah, that nigga is definitely dark humor. Yes. Yeah, yeah yes. I guess so. But it's like, you're looking for humor, what you gonna get? There you, you go. Know? Him and Trey Rags. Skrilla, what about you? I fucked with a video. It was mad funny until he brought up the rape. Because, like, grape, that's a grape. sensitive topic. Grape. Oh. Grape, grapey grape. That's a sensitive <laughs> topic. And like, there's times where like people were accused of lying about it, but not really lying. And like, you know, that's that's serious. You feel what I'm saying? So I just don't think I ain't like that part. But everything else was funny. He did say a lot of facts about it too. <laughs> so yeah. All right. All right. I liked, I mean, it was funny. Like, it, I like. Kaori said, I think it's all about your type of humor, what you kind of fuck with or whatever. If you like dark humor, it was definitely like a dark humor sort of video. I didn't have a problem with it. Like, I wasn't offended. It's just either it's for you or it's not. You feel me? Like, either you fuck with it or you don't. So, was it funny to you or no? It was funny. Like, I thought it was funny. Until the great part. It, until that part. It was just a little bit much. But, like, it, it wasn't enough to make me be like, oh, fuck you guys. Like, I'm never going to watch a video. Like, if I was a fan and I was watching it, yeah. I wouldn't be like, oh, fuck you guys. Like, I'm not watching it. All right. Can oh, I say something? something? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm just like, just because I think the video is funny, like, doesn't mean they were consenting great. They weren't. They yeah. were just talking about the realness about it. And so am I. Like, yes, it happens. Like, but they were like joking the whole time. And like, no one's consenting it. No one's sitting here saying it's cool. It is a serious matter. But there's also other things that they said that some people could take serious. Okay. It's who you are, how you take it. You know what I mean? Like, okay, cool. That's how I feel. What, what's your thoughts on it? Um, honestly, I thought that shit was funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, to be honest, uh, I didn't think it was that serious. But um, just kind of like piggybacking off what you were saying, I feel as though merch. Oh, uh, we have a t-shirt in stores actually that says "I feel like." So, uh, guys, shirts are like, in stores. What? Fresh yeah. podcast store dot com. That I feel well, like. I feel like merch. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I just I I feel like I get what merch. you're saying because um. I feel like as merch. women we have. Be just say I think it'll okay. save you. I think as okay. women, uh -huh. we just we do have like a lot of power. So I guess in the sense that like uh, sorry, I don't know how to like explain what I'm trying to say. 
Can, we, can, we, can you come back to me? <laughs> Women win the court of public appeal. Is that fair to say? I think that's what you're trying to say. Normally. That that their word is like, typically going to yeah, be believed. Like, exactly. Yeah, like, we have a like, lot more power exactly. than... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's you're exactly. able to sway uh, the public f- far more because we live in a world... I mean, let's be honest. Like, if yeah. a woman says, this happened to me, and she's crying, you're going to believe You're going to believe her, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, human beings in general, especially men, are designed to protect women. So when you see a woman crying or whatever, your natural instinct is to protect her. And this is actually why I've said... and I, I, sh- I I didn't get a chance to bring this up with your friend yesterday, but she kind of proved it for me. I don't think women have a place in combat. I don't think they should be in the military when it comes to combat positions because, to be honest with you, they're not equipped for it. They're not strong enough to handle it. And on top of that, it puts the men in a compromising position because of that very fact that men are designed to protect women. And if you're put in a position where a female soldier is hurt, you're going to do stupid things that you probably wouldn't have done if it was a male that was hurt because it's in your natural instinct to protect women and provide for them. So... Um, it compromises the integrity of, of tactical units that are um, designed for combat. This is why the elite units, Army Rangers, N- uh, Navy SEALs, etc., women can't pass those physical standards. They don't really make it into those, which is good because when you put women in those types of environments, it uh, it compromises the integrity of the unit. And I have a bunch of guys that are in the military that agree with me. And I'm, I can tell you I'm from law enforcement. I, anytime I had a house, if I was paired with a woman, <clears throat> call me a sexist. I did not like it because I knew deep down that I was at a disadvantage if we had to deal with other guys. It's a fact, biological fact. Women are not strong enough to uh, overtake a man. You know what I'm saying? Like a high school boy will literally destroy a grown woman with combat experience. And God forbid they get kidnapped. Yeah. That's one of the stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If they, or if they get, uh, you know, yeah, exactly. They're a prisoner of war or whatever. Like, yeah. it's just not a good look, bro, to have women in combat situations. So that's, and, and your friend proved that she didn't want to go to war. You know what I'm saying? And actually there's a- I don't blame her. Yeah, and I don't blame her. Um, but I was just going to say this too. And I might offend some more people by saying this. How dare you? But um, your guys' response is kind of cements what I've always said. Um, and you guys can disagree with me if you want. But this is personally why I think female comedians suck. Because, <laughs> real talk. Hear me out here. Where a lot of women are not willing to go that next step to offend people. Women aren't really as risk tolerant as men are. right? I've always said on this pod that women tend to be more followers. Men tend to be more leaders. Uh, and women depend on the collective, whereas men, you know, understand that you might have to get it on your own. And, you know, that's a bunch of biological reasons for that, because women are the weaker sex, you know, generally physically more vulnerable. So they need strength in numbers. I mean, hell, when you guys go out to the club, do you go by yourself? You go with friends, correct? And there's a reason for that. You know, there's strength in numbers and women don't typically like to go into situations by themselves. So so with guys, you know, we're OK with, you know, being on our own and being autonomous. But women really aren't, you know, the hive mind. So. That goes to what, say what I'm saying is this. A male comedian is going to be willing to go further and push more buttons because he doesn't necessarily need the same, how do I say this, <sighs> social approval that women do. If you watch a female comic versus a male comic, female comics tend to not be as, they don't, a male com, the best male comics, let's be honest, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, etc. These guys, Dane Cook back in the day, um, Cat, Williams. Cat Williams, whatever. What did a lot of their comedy set, comedy set around? They're ed- they're edgy. Chris Rock being edgy, yeah. being non-politically correct, going against the PC woke world that we're in, right? However, female comedians, especially the ones that I've seen, tend to be more on the, I'm going to tell jokes, but at the same time, be politically correct to a degree because I don't want to offend a lot of people. And by your guys' reactions, I kind of knew that you guys were going to have an issue with the great part at the, at the end, which is fine, you know? But this is why female comics are not as good, because they're not willing to push the envelope like male comics are. They're not as risk tolerant. I've always said men play to win. Women play to not lose, typically. So I don't know if you guys agree, disagree. Oh, sure. Go ahead. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I just feel like with men, like sitting there, like crossing boundaries, crossing lines, you know, they can make hella jokes about females. We can half of us can take it. Half of us can't, obviously, Mm -hmm. you know. But men, y'all's fucking pride, like, let a bitch talk about y'all's, like, fucking, like, serious shit the way that male talents do to females. Like, 90% of men are going to be like, yo, fuck that bitch. Can like, you give me an example? Gonna... No. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> no. I, what, I, got, I got comedians in my back pocket. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, hey, it's y'all. true. You're telling me it's not true, though. Like, I feel like women Merch. get shit on all the damn time, right? And I mean, so do men, so do men, so do men. Oh, sorry. Chris, but, like, in comedians, like, male comedians hella talk shit about how females are emotional and, you know, all this shit. Mm-hmm. And women, a lot of times, still love them. They think they're funny. They, they, they're they able to accept it and be like, okay, that shit's funny. It's true. But 
are you men willing to do the same if a woman was to cross that same damn boundary? Because a lot of men would be like, yo, fuck that bitch. Well, well can you give us an example? I, I'm, I'm still trying um, to. I mean, I don't know. I've seen a couple I can give like, with, like Amy Sh- Shroomer or whatever her damn name is. Um, She did like a comedy special. Yo, she was going in on men and like. About what? God damn it. If you're going to make a claim, you got to be able to substantiate it. I'm woman. about to substantiate it. Gotcha. You know it happens. Stupid. You know so, it happens. I mean, if you're going to make an argument, you got to be able to back up your argument. So What? So I have to yes. sit here and show you receipts in yes. order for yes. you to yes. believe yes. that female yes. comedians get away with talking shit about men. You don't know that deep down to be true. W- women well, get away with... Uh, I'll take it a step further. Comedian women don't. It's not even comedian women that get away with it. Regular women get away with talking shit on men with zero with impunity. On TikTok. Oh damn TikTok. By the way, <laughs> I mean perfect example. Her friend literally came on the show yesterday and said, "I'm a misandrist." Yeah, I know some of you guys don't even know what that word means. It means, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's okay. Where's Hold on, Mark? I got you. <laughs> don't worry, uh, misandry. Uh, you guys know what misogyny means, right? I'm not surprised. Misogyny is the opposite on the other end, misandry, the hatred of men. So the woman comes on, openly says, I'm a misandrist. You know, obviously it's a male audience, so they know what that means, but a lot of people don't know what that means. And no one really bats eye, like, oh, okay, whatever it is, what it is, you know. But let a guy get on and say, Yeah, I'm a fucking misogynist. Fuck all you hoes, get in the kitchen. He'll be canceled, <laughs> canceled like that. Yeah. So women can actually criticize and berate men at any level, small dick. You're a fucking loser, scrub, blah, blah, blah. You're a bum. No one really bats an eye to that, right? We have a bunch of videos where women go ahead and say, these fucking motherfuckers are bums and everything, and no one cares. But let a guy make a video on a woman being fat, annoying, etc. They're going to try to cancel him. Hell, they've tried to do it to us. Mm-hmm. So I would argue it's actually the opposite, where mm-hmm. not female comedians, regular everyday chicks are on TikTok bashing men, and no one bats an eye. And by the way, we have a real comedian in the studio that just pops up randomly. Yeah, actually. But he's here. Yeah, let's get your take ben. on it, Ben. What's up with you, man? What's the take on this, bro? Well, you're a comedian, so what, what's your take? You know the, the industry. How <laughs> we're going on. <laughs> Is that Lil Wayne? Uh, no, nah, but uh, <laughs> I was just I was going to like talk about what she was talking about. Like, you, like it's no possible way women could say anything about men and there's like backlash. It's not going to happen. Y'all can literally say anything y'all want. I don't care what it is from, like he was saying, your dick little, you a broke ass nigga, uh, nobody likes you, your breast stink, you bald, like any any of that shit don't matter. As soon as you say a girl titty bigger than the other, <laughs> you get canceled. <laughs> as soon as you say her coochie lips is out of bounds and they just hanging, you can't say nothing about women. You can't say, uh, body, you can't body shame. You can't, I literally been on tour doing this. I've been, I do stand up, I've been doing stand up for a long time. So like, I don't been around, around the country doing this. And I learned my first show because I was on I was on a tour with a girl named a female comedian named B Simone. And she got like a huge okay. she got like a huge um and Desi Banks. I don't know if y'all know who that is. Yeah, those but, names are familiar. Yeah, but those that was the last tour I was on. It was us three. And I learned from my first show, body shaming is not like you can't do that. Mm. Cause when I when I went there, I had all my jokes ready. And most of my jokes be for like men, it be for the brothers, it be for you know what I'm saying, people like People like us, not really for females. So like when I went, I, th- I think we did like a show in Montgomery, Alabama. I had a big girl joke, like the ugly fat friend. Ooh, and there's a high obesity rate in Alabama. A huge obesity rate. The first, <laughs> the entire first row was all big girls. <laughs> it was all big black girls. And Bunch of big Shirley's? Man, when I tell you, listen, when I tell you, I had two brothers in there dying laughing and er- the other, all the women in there was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this nope. nigga is saying this. And I cut that joke out for the rest of my show. So I only do that when I'm doing like all the niggas or I'm doing something on social media. So I learned right then and there like women can do whatever the fuck they want to and men, you really gotta, you gotta walk on thin ice. And we only get more and more sensitive like in this comedy era. Like yeah. the last 10 years, we used to have people like Bernie Mac, Steve Harvey, Cedric Entertainer, all them niggas used piece. to do whatever the fuck they want to. They could say whatever they want to. Yep. But now moving into the... LBGQTR, that whole ABC, EFG letters. Once we got to the letters, everything got more sensitive, <laughs> and that's yeah. where we at now. So men got to walk on ice. Men got to walk on real thin ice. So yeah, go. And, and I'll say this too: um, comedy is one of the last frontiers where uh, men can be honest, uh, because now on talk shows and everything else like that, you know, guys really can't can't be honest about anything that like puts women in a bad light. So comedy is one of the last frontiers left where guys can 
make jokes. Exactly. Talk about the, you know, issues with women with jokes. Ha ha ha. We all laugh at it. But even then they're trying to cancel. I mean, look at Dave Chappelle. Yeah. They, they, they've yeah. been on a crusade, crusade to get rid of him the past year. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Over, over. That was mainly you know, the tease, though. That was a tease. Yeah. yeah the tease wasn't having that. Yeah. But, but here's I, the thing. Yeah. A lot of women are uh, big advocates for that sector, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole mob. It's, it's, you got, you got women, minorities, the, the, the letter, letter community. They all work together to kind of just like, the, the real enemy here, bro, is heterosexual men, if I'm going to be a thousand percent. Oh, yeah, for sure. Heterosexual men, you know, white guys hit, get hit a little bit more the, disproportionately, but in general, heterosexual men, that display any type of masculinity are demonized. They're the bad guy. Demonized. They're the enemy. It's propaganda. You look at Netflix shows. Who's the villain? It's a heterosexual guy that's in yeah. shape a lot of the times. <laughs> that's like, uh, you know, that's a Chad. Oh, this motherfucker's evil. He's out here sleeping with all the goddamn girls. Toxic masculinity. Let's demonize that. Even novellas, man. Yeah. <laughs> the guy with the abs getting all the hoes is a bad guy. Yeah. I'm always. Like, why? Always. So, but it's what it is. Yeah. Even rap, though. Think about it. The canceling. Well, they already canceled DMX, even though R.I.P. Yeah. You know I mean? Oh yeah, they tried. Yeah, his after his music, yeah, because he, he didn't Eminem, have a lot of his baby. Like, the the baby, they did the baby too. He, oh, yeah, in Miami, he couldn't go at any shows. They nigga. canceled, bro. They kicked that nigga off every damn, every damn festival he was doing. Yeah, even here in Miami. Yeah, all so, the clubs could, couldn't open because yeah. the baby was coming. Uh, he was. What they do to him? You want to say what happened in Miami Beach like a couple days ago? Oh man, I'm not liable. For this. Uh, I don't want. You don't want to say? That. Okay, then I, never mind. I'm just gonna say that nigga cannot come to Miami and perform at no club because of. Certain people. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yes. for real? Yeah, he was shut well, down. Well, y'all say what the hell happened. I want to know. <laughs> Nigga, this is not... Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> it's up to you, Fresh, if you want to say this. I'm going to just say that the baby got some people upset in some communities. They went to the police and to these clubs and said, if he shows up, it's going to be trouble. And because of that, everything, everything got canceled. I could tell by the snap what that was. Okay. <laughs> and as a result... <laughs> He was canceled in Miami. Couldn't do no tri- uh, tours, nothing. Couldn't do no uh, postings, nothing. So Isn't that crazy? crazy? That's crazy, yeah. bro. Y'all want to wow. hear something funny? If niggas like me went up to the clubs and said, yo, <laughs> if y'all fucking try to bring this dude over here, there's going to be problems. You know what will happen? I'll tell you this. Next day, it's going to be this shit. FBI, open up! And we going down for terrorism. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they go ahead and they go ahead and... Th- let's keep let's keep it a thousand. If, if, if dudes that look like me, Nay Muhammad went in there, hey! You motherfuckers bring in the baby. There's going to be problems. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. FBI on your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they could go in there, threaten violence, right? And, and, and fucking, um, you know, civil unrest. And no one bats an eye. Oh, you know what? We'll comply with what you guys say. Don't worry about it. It's fucking craziness, bro. It is literally craziness. So uh, I don't even know how we ended up there. But okay, uh, yeah, we got way out of track. But we was back on the comedy shit. So yeah, go basically, ahead. last thing I wanted to say is comedy is the last, is the last, like, thing that's left that we could be completely honest and still be kind of joking about it because all my friends be like bro you could just say whatever you want to women and they always just laugh because they already know you being goofy but most of 80 percent of the time i'd be dead the fuck serious like it'd be disrespectful a little bit but i'd be joking but it'd be serious so it worked <laughs> in my favor all the time so fellas just always be serious say what you got to say one titty bigger than another let her know she might not know there you go <laughs> and uh shout out to ice in the chat by the way i mean i'm on the couch not chat Hey, yo, what's up? What's Go up, ahead, follow up? me. She's on ICTV. Um, yeah, what's up, chat? Hey, let's go. <laughs> Welcome back, Icy. Hi. Did somebody say something about taking over? <laughs> Haram? No. <laughs> Haram? Is real law? What's going All right. on? Haram? Show. All right. Um, I'll see you guys and, uh, later. Uh, somebody uh, said something about us taking the, over uh, something. But podcast, okay. yeah. All right, never mind. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. All right, Michael Mito, five bucks, says, number one podcast in the world. Well said, brother. Demon got me five bucks. Says Chris, I'm not the lying type. Check your cash out. It's not much, but it's something. Shout to you, Pam. Got there it. You go. Alberto five bucks says, "Ask lady what's the best or craziest trip you've ever been on." Okay, so they want to know what's your best or craziest trip. Um, we'll kind of cover that a little bit later. Pistol Pete two four seven five bucks says, "You should have given that army vet female the boot. She's not making any kinds of sense." Yeah, but okay. that's what she wanted, guys. She wanted to come on and trigger and try to get us to kick her out. No, no, no. Sometimes you got to frame castle through slow torture of their stupidity. Oh, and by the way, ladies, the, the sword is plastic. Don't worry. I saw them all shook. They're like, oh, fuck, what's going on here? It's not real. I didn't come for this kind of show. Um, All right, where are we at? Uh, okay, if you guys have free time and watch that video with Coach RP about this conflict, great breakdown. We have tough times ahead. Be smart with your money, guys. Don't waste it on tricking, invest and build. Yes, guys, if you want to know 
a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that's going on with the Russia Ukraine conflict. Go ahead and check out that video that we did yep. with Coach RP. Um, we actually did it last week. Um, it was like two plus hours, and we broke down the real reason why Russia invaded Ukraine. A lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, that Fox News is not going to tell you guys and CNN because he's actually there in Ukraine. He's seeing it firsthand. What the fuck's going on? We, we heard a, a alarm and a bomb something. When it was, uh, oh yeah, he heard the, we heard the war sirens going on in he the was, back. Nigga, My nigga was really in there. Yeah, nigga was shook. He's like, wait, what's going on here? <laughs> nigga was shook. In the middle of the fucking broadcast, guys. Uh, but yeah, you, you guys, you ain't going to see that type of stuff on CNN and Fox. Like on this podcast, guys, like I tell y'all, we want you guys to think critically. You don't have to take everything we say, but just listen. And you might uh, learn something or, or not. Who knows? Uh, he don't love you. Oh, he don't love you. Five. I have to give you all your flowers. I just bought 100 ounces of silver and one Ethereum. Let's go. That's what we're talking about, baby. You got to invest in the future because fiat currency is going down the fucking tubes. Sibo and Cube. Please, God, no more quantum physics or mentally unstable army rejects. Formally applying to screen these girls before they hit the stream. Ah, it's all good, man. Um, Kumasan, watching Myron light up redhead shoddy with the facts for three hours straight yesterday was like watching Colonel Mustang versus Lust on FMA. Okay? Alex Garcia, shout out to FNF fam. I discovered this podcast a few months ago, and it helped me realize I don't have to deal with a woman that's constantly starting issues, Christ stressing me out, etc. City boys, we out you. Got you. Big chode haver. Okay. Don't scroll the gas school tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, no. That's her sister that has school tomorrow. Correction. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, where, where's your sis, by the way? Palm Beach. She back home. Pompano. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> I ain't saying none. What? You know, son, Chris, that we don't no, know? Don't worry about it. it the it's, next it's, topic. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, ho, ho. We might have to get to the bottom of that later. Yes, I want to hear it. Yeah, I want to hear it too, man. No, no, no. Yeah, no. so funny. Okay. Uh, Yves Simonis, I think it's important for you guys to highlight how females can make false accusations against you if they feel rejected. It's important to be con- cognitive of that. We covered that. We covered that with uh, the Chris Brown situation. Giovanni, and these chats came in earlier. So, Giovanni Dansby, thug life, bitch. Okay. Kill a scoot. Wise man said forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Fresh or trash at Smash. My nigga, if you want to fight me in Smash, pull up to the stream and we'll do it live. Pause. Wes, uh, shout out to the GTA character Skrilla. I would like to have her use, uh, I would like to use her services. I may need my ex beat up. We know she doesn't mind doing jail time. Um, What are your thoughts on that? I don't, I'll be staying out of the way, like, all that jail shit, I don't, I'm not doing none of that. Like, I'm not going back, no, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going back no more. <laughs> I, I will tell you this. You need to go ahead and talk to, um, what was her name? Smacka? Is that the one that beats up girls? Yes, you got to hire her. She's the one that does that. <laughs> all right? She's the mercenary that beats up girls. Um, Kanos Arnight, fresh and fit, brought Harley Quinn to Miami. Okay. Jay-Z Tommy, hot damn, Asian can get the deep fried egg roll. <laughs> <laughs> you have anything to say back to that? No comment. All right. She does not love you long time. Two dollars, Myron Jr. Dad, to BH Myrina was misbehaving, so they canceled her. Fantastic. I don't know, Tommy. Skrilla doll didn't graduate high school. I'm shocked. Uh no, she's in school right now. Right? G E D. There you go. G E D. Good enough degree, motherfuckers. Uh Lucas Cam- Camargo. Among us, okay. Scotty Brown, five bucks. Yo, F and F, listen to Ice Trey. Red is cute. Like her voice. She thug in on the low, though. Pink hair, cute, but friend SMH, my bad for the earlier super chat. Okay, NL coach, what the fuck? Okay. Sean Sherell, question for the women. If a man has a manly job, will you be okay with him making less, i.e. cop, firefighter, military? Um, and then Myrina gains two bucks. Shh, or I'll eat your ice cream. Okay, I'll go around the table real quick. <laughs> Would you guys be cool with dating someone that works uh, like a blue-collar job that is, you know, like cop, firefighter, military, etc.? Yes or no? Um, No. I mean, you wouldn't want that? I mean, no, I I wouldn't care, to be honest. It wouldn't really bother me. I feel like as long as, like, he's doing his part, I'm doing my part financially, we're, Okay, we're good. What about you? Um, No, I don't mind. You don't I, mind? Yeah. Okay. Would I date a police officer? <laughs> or a firefighter or uh, a <laughs> <laughs> police officer. Police officer. I mean, no, she, she wouldn't do that shit. No, 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 she ain't in a police. I mean, a paramedic, somebody that yeah. wears a uniform, military. Yeah. Nothing. A fireman. No, no law enforcement. Fireman, right? Well, but, but no police. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what about you? Honestly, no. But and mostly okay. for their comfort, because I know you've talked about it multiple times. Like, if I'm making more money than you, you ain't gonna be happy. Mm. Point blank. Period. It's actually the other way around. If you make more money than him, you're not gonna be happy. No, no. Sorry, sorry. That's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, if okay. I make more money than you, you ain't gonna be happy. So, well, no, nah, I, I wouldn't. Happy. I wouldn't be dating 
someone that makes less than me because they okay. ain't gonna be happy, which means I'm not gonna be happy. Well, some of them make six figures. There's a lot of firefighters and police officers that make six figures, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> what planet? Where? They do. They do. They actually where? do. Um, well, it depends. So if their state, it depends on the, if if their state, then it depends on the state that they live in. If you're like in New York or Connecticut, whatever, higher cost of living, mm-hmm. they definitely can if they work overtime. Uh, federal definitely can make six figures. I, know I that. mean. I but, don't mind the job. It's it's actual work. It's hard labor. That's yeah. fine. But like, I know I have been in that situation where if I make more money, it gets complicated and it gets awkward and yeah. people be feeling some type of way. And so that's why I usually like, no, well, it's not really the guy. It's the girl that feels some type of way for making more. Yeah. Huh? Well, what we know, you know, from stats and everything else like that, that women initiate breakups, it's overwhelming over initiate breakups. And a big part of it is, you know, what is it? Irre- ir- I can never pronounce this word. Irreconceivable differences? There you go. The one thing fresh got me. <laughs> Wait, on. what a fresh. Damn. Wow. Fresh got it, baby! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just so you know. Hey. Just so you know. Hey. Just so you know. Hey. I'm currently lit. in speech therapy and it's going very well. There you go. <laughs> My nigga fresh, man. So, um, God, so yeah, damn. that and money as well. But we know that a big predicator on uh, divorce uh, being increased is if a girl makes more money than her guy. I disagree. I feel like I've had well, poor disagree, dudes. But the truth is the truth. I, I've had poor dudes do me foul. I've had rich dudes do me foul. If they're gonna do you foul, they're gonna do you foul. Money, regardless. But I mean, I don't know. This is me. Well, remember, That's your so personal far. experience does not necessarily reflect reality. That's just because true. you it's might have not broken up with a well. Okay, the broke guys that did you dirty, did you break up with them? Yeah, I've never been broken up with. Okay, thank you for proving my point even further. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Still, yeah, yeah. I, with I will say there's a point to add where like. If a guy's in a position where he's not the leader, he can't sabotage relationships because he doesn't feel like he's um doing his part. Yeah, that's true. That could happen. That yeah, that could happen. But typically, it starts with the nagging from the woman. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not gonna. I nag. need you to get more ambitious. That's the thing is that you're either get about it or you're not. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not a fixer upper. Yeah. And ultimately, and that's you, fine. You chose the guy though, so ultimately, mm-hmm. you yeah, made, you made that call. Mm-hmm. What if uh, they play one in a porn scene, like a um, you know, firefighter? I don't date. Actor. I don't date actors. <laughs> oh, no. okay. oh, okay. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. So for you, it's okay. So you want to date them, um, but if, if they make six figures, would you do it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a no. Uh, nope. All right. What about you? Would you date a firefighter, a police officer, or someone in uh, blue collar? No. Okay. Fair enough. Why not? Not enough money. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. What about you? Um, I wouldn't, but not because of money, just because I'm an artist. So I would want someone who is an artist. And... What if he paints on his free time and arrests people during the day? <laughs> nah, it has to be like all in, like that's what you're about. Just because I feel like that just helps. Merch. But art doesn't pay the bills, though. Let's be honest. I mean, anyone might. that's an art artist does. is always it risking that might. possibility yeah, of like I mean, making money just off because of, you're, 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 you're the brand. You know what I'm saying? So, so... You want a, an ambitious artist. Yeah, I want an ambitious artist. I mean, being realistic, a lot of artists like yeah. very like one percent actually mark like make that kind of money where they can actually live off of strictly their art. Yeah, but that's why you know. All right, so you want the one percent, the one one percent artist okay. six foot tall with abs. All right, <laughs> okay. Uh, fair enough. All right, uh, and then yo, from this point forward, what are we gonna do, Chris? Uh, ten and up, uh, twenty and up. Yeah, yeah, guys. From this, I'm gonna read After the rest these, of these chats, yeah. and then um, from this point forward, I'm only gonna read twenty and up chats. However, every single chat will be shown on screen. Thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, so, okay, hopefully this panel will behave unlike last night. Y'all haven't seen me in a four, uh, in 4K in a while, but I'm currently holding in major migraines. Please give me a massage. Road to 1 million, fresh and fit we up, and that's from Myron's, Myron's forehead, forehead vein. vein. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo you guys are fucking hilarious, bro. Uh, Robert uh, Majid, Myron, please, y'all need to bring professional corporate, uh, corporate ladies. We've had enough of this, Rax. Bro, how many times do I got to tell y'all this? We have brought women on that have master's degrees, bachelor's degrees, in school, PhDs, in the professional world, entrepreneurs, law enforcement, lawyers, whatever. Doctors. You guys don't fucking get it. The re- the- it's not that the woman's education level and or their intelligence changes their views on intersexual dynamics. It's that indoctrination in the West in general has women thinking about things in a certain way that has nothing to do with their education level. I don't think you guys get this. The software might, the hardware might be different, but the software is the same. If you talk to a lot of women in the West in general that grow up in the United States or the UK or Canada or whatever, there's a reason why. Guys, pay attention to the people that are super chatting or, and or commenting in the chat. They're from different countries. Yep. But what does the one underlying similarity is uh, be between all of these different countries? They're all typically first world countries where feminism is very strong and marriage rates are low, divorce rates are high, etc. 
So guys, this is a worldwide problem, regardless of color, regardless of race, regardless of education level. Simply put, guys, in the modern day, modern day women are not the same as back in the day, and it is what it is. You, it doesn't matter if they're educated. If anything, if they're educated and make more money, all it does is heighten their hypergamy. Like, what are y'all talking about, bro? It does not change anything. I mean, is they're, anyone... more so, they're more selective too as well. Yeah, the more money a woman makes, the more selective she becomes. What are y'all talking about, bro? Yeah. So, like, it, like the girls that we bring on that are entrepreneurs that make a lot of money, they're even more selective on who they want to deal with. And they will not settle for less. If she makes 150 grand per year, she's a lawyer, she's a higher end in her firm, she ain't dating no fucking regular guy, bro. That's what it is. And also, if you want to see, just go back to our old episodes. You can see those as well. They are on there. our Patreon. We have a bunch of, of our yeah, earlier interviews. Here too. We have a bunch of entrepreneurs, a lot of older women as well. And they tell you, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to die single if I need to. I'm not settling for nobody. For nobody. I don't think you guys get it, bro. Like, it, the, education does not change anything. If anything, it exacerbates the problem. That's the reality. I don't know if you no. guys have anything to that. Got you. Misogyny. All right, fair enough. Right. Thunderstorm 87. Yes, I'm a misogynist. Bucks. Myron, the last two shows just proved why you were going on as a goat in the manosphere. School of the haters, especially those flagrant guys, because I know they would have defended the ladies. There you yeah, go. and yo, guys, last video, no hate on flagrant. I just had to point out the hypocrisy, though. You know what I'm saying? Nets fan, 10 bucks says, Myron is right about the law school. I'm an attorney. Reputation matters a lot with the bar. While things are changing, the attitude from most states is pretty outdated. I would risk not doing only uh I would, I would risk, risk doing OnlyFans. So that's that's what he's saying, is yeah. back to what I was saying. Cause um, yeah, man, a lot of even even the most liberal bars, like you look at the California bar or whatever, they're just potentially like letting you come in if you've smoked weed in the past like five years. Mm. So they're just getting that approved now, you know. So you guys got to remember when you're a lawyer or you're like, a, as they would say, an officer of the court, that's what a lawyer is deemed as you're held to a higher standard than normal people. So they'll like use that against you to like discriminate. Like if like if I wanted to work in law enforcement, and they found out that I was having sex with chicks on OnlyFans. They would not hire me, bro. They wouldn't. Damn. Same thing. If you want to be an attorney, like they're going to be like, oh, this is this looks bad because here's the other thing, too. I don't know if you guys know this, but when trial happens, a lot of the times every party involved in the case, especially if it's a criminal case, has to disclose things about their past, even if they're less than favorable. So if let's say I'm an agent, right? And I'm on a, on a case as, as uh, the prosecuting side. If I've been under internal investigation, if I've gotten in trouble for, if I've gotten arrested or anything like that, I have to disclose all of that before the trial happens. Right. So you don't want that coming out that you're the prosecutor on a case or whatever. And then they're like, all right, well, we need to, we need uh, to know the background and everyone involved in the case to make sure that they're of the highest, utmost moral character. They're going to be like, oh, 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 you are sucking dick on all events. All right, disqualified. Or even if you had OnlyFans, even if you were, I don't know, eating food on there and just eating food and just chilling, they're still going to look at that as unfavorable and you might get disqualified, you know? So yeah. that's just something people got to understand is that when you work in the public, serv public service sector or in law in general, you're considered an officer of the court and you're going to be held to a higher standard. All right. So something to think about. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm saying in the next 10 years, I think that's going to change pretty drastically. That's kind of a hope. Yeah, I mean, that's what I think is going to happen. I mean, if I was going to invest, <laughs> you know, tens of thousands of dollars into law school and try to, you know, pursue a career, I wouldn't hope on anything. I would just put, set myself up in, in, a, in a situation where I can't fail versus like hoping the system's going to change. Well, somebody can go to law school and never become a lawyer. Wouldn't that be a waste of money? Regardless of OnlyFans or not. But so that's that, what I'm saying. Wouldn't that be a waste of money to go to law school and not be a lawyer? Yeah, but people do it all the time. So I'm saying regardless of like the reasoning behind it. Like if I want to go to law school, I'm going to do that. And I think in the next 10 years that things are going to change and that it'll be fine. Why did you go to law school if you can't become a lawyer? Because I think that I could is what I'm saying. Girl, just manifest it, girl. <laughs> Fuck degrees, manifest but that there, shit. There's a woman on TikTok right now who she's a porn star and she runs her own Bruh. law firm. Well, who's, the, who's her clients? I don't fucking know who her clients are, <laughs> bitch. Like but like no. she, <laughs> Yo, but she has her own law firm. I'm not going to hold you. If I was going to go to trial, am I going to choose a former only fast girl to be my lawyer <laughs> or someone that's an attorney for a couple of years that's certified? Girls and men. It's called massages. Who are you going to choose? I would choose the OnlyFans girl. I would. <laughs> Afro circus. No, but, no, but why is that stupid? <laughs> I'm going to choose who's more qualified. Right. Okay, so what if the OnlyFans girl is more qualified? At what? Sucking dick? <laughs> the, the fuck? fuck Chris? No, do you think that somebody who does OnlyFans no, can't be qualified but, to be a but, lawyer? But I, I will say uh -oh. this. Someone that spent their whole life studying law, 
that's been an upstanding citizen that hasn't done anything of that nature, I was just him over the only thousand. So do you think that somebody that does OnlyFans wouldn't be as intelligent as somebody who necessarily hasn't no, no. been involved in something like saying, that? We're not saying they're not. We're just saying that, like, probabilities-wise, for example, a pilot on a plane, <clears throat> right? Who do you choose? A OnlyFans pilot, pilot, <laughs> or a pilot that studied his whole life to become a pilot? Who would you choose? Would I choose somebody who's like thirty versus like sixty, and Wait, more what? like more experience? Maybe I choose somebody with more experience with something like that. Right. But yeah. I don't think that like how intelligent you are has to do with like if you've done OnlyFans or porn or anything like that. No. Okay, so here's a, here's a, a, a cold hard not. reality. You might not like what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. And this isn't just you. This is what I've noticed from interviewing women in general. Women tend to operate on 2020 hindsight. And what I mean by that is they think the world should understand me for me, how I really am. Don't worry about these pictures of me on the internet that show my ass and butthole. I'm beyond that. I'm a good person. I'm a vegan and I help animals and I volunteer my free time, which you may do that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, people are going to judge a book by its cover. If I walked up to you in a nightclub and I said, hey, my name is Myron. I'd like to take you on a date. Would you take me seriously? Let's be honest. No. Nope. Fantastic. <laughs> but what you don't know is that I'm a really good person. I'm a multimillionaire. I have a Lamborghini parked outside, and I'm a good guy. But you're not going to give me that chance because on the surface Chris, level, fuck you, Chris. I don't look like a qualified candidate <laughs> to date you, which is fine. But I'm not talking about, like, dating. I'm talking about, like, but, intellectually but this is, this when it comes to, like, to intelligence. Hear me out. Hear me out. You reserve the right to judge a book by its cover when it comes to your dating. Yeah. Law firms and society reserves the right to judge a book by its cover when it comes to hiring you. I would argue they're going to be even more stringent on behind your background than a man that's dating you. So therefore, you cannot expect people to should, could, or would. It's going to be what is. They're going to see this immediately disqualified. They're not going to bother to get to know you. No, I understand that. And I'm not saying that that's untrue. I'm saying that that isn't how things should be. Okay, well, what did I just say? Should, could, and would are fantastic words, but it's I know, not but what that's, is. But that's not what I was saying. But reality is what is. Okay, but I'm saying that, like, I think that reality is shifting. And by the time that I, like, want to do something like this, I think that a lot more people would be more open-minded. Well, you're hoping for things to change instead of Everyone accepting. Everyone hopes the... for things to change. Well, that's a terrible way to live the world because if I hope for world peace and I hope for it to end world hunger, that's not going to happen. It, 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 sometimes you just got to operate on reality. You got to operate on probabilities and not possibilities. Is it possible that society's going to accept girls that used to do porn and OnlyFans or any type of other sex industry work and put them into the professional world. It's possible. Is it probable? No. So what I would say is you need to prepare yourself for the reality. We can sit here and say, oh, well, it shouldn't be this way. Unfortunately, the world doesn't owe you understanding. It doesn't. It doesn't owe any of us understanding. And I'm not saying that it does, but it's like, that's why you have investments and stuff like that. But it's like, if I'm passionate about something and if I want to go to law school, and if it's something that I think I can accomplish, then I'm going to do that. I mean, and I don't think that like having OnlyFans or doing porn has anything to do with somebody's intelligence. It doesn't. But reality is, is that the world is going to say but, it does. But I'm not talking about reality. Look, he just saying you have. Your goals do we not live in reality? Hold on. You have your goals and passions, right? Go for it. But just think about the future. It could be a possibility or not. He's saying be, be aware. Yeah, of that. anything yeah. could be a possibility. There could be somebody that does no porn, no OnlyFans, and they go to law school, and they're still not going to become a lawyer. That's true. Somebody can go to school for 3.9 years and they're never going to get a degree. That's always an option. It's competitive. You're right. Yeah. So Regardless, though, is what yeah, I'm saying. But, but why? if you know it's that competitive and it's difficult, why would you handicap yourself and add an anchor to your ankle that would limit exactly. your ability to get the same job that other people are competing for that don't necessarily have a past? That's what I'm trying to say. The world is not going to sit there and give you understanding, especially for a highly competitive job that other people go after that may not necessarily have the liability of that background because if i'm a law firm owner and i'm trying to employ lawyers and i know that i need the best trial attorneys that aren't going to embarrass me mm -hmm. and my firm i'm going to hire people that are what not a liability for me in my name so i'm not going to hire someone that used to have a past that might embarrass us i'm going to hire someone even if they might not be as qualified as you you might be bright smart intelligent kill the bar exam etc but I'm going to go with someone that is less qualified than you simply based off of your past because I don't want to have to deal with the liability of embarrassment in the future should these things have to come out before a trial, which they definitely will before a trial. So I'm telling you, I know because I come from that world, your character means a lot and your past will come back to haunt you if you have things like that. And I think not enough young women understand that what you do now 
is going to echo in eternity thanks to the internet. So you got to be intelligent about what you're doing, especially if you want to get into jobs that require, you know, public trust, government, law enforcement, anything that has to do with the background. This is what employers are looking at. Your past will come back to haunt you and hoping that it's going to change is not realistic. You got to prepare for the future now and not hope that it's going to change. The world does not revolve around what should, could or would or what you think is right. The, revol the world revolves on what is, what's best for the law firm, what's best for the client, what's best for the future of that law firm and making what? Money. That's that's what it is, man. Like, I don't know why women think the world should change because of them and they're intelligent and people should sit there and get to know them. Y'all don't give us that benefit of the doubt. When we come up to you and say, hey, you bad, girl. The fuck? You're wearing jean shorts that are past your fuck goddamn calves. I'm not there talking to you. But you might not know that guy's a millionaire. But we let women reserve the right to reject people. But if we say, okay, we're going to reject you too. Why? My past shouldn't matter. That's like me going into a bank. I need a loan, motherfuckers. All right, what's your credit score? Don't worry about that. It's a 420. Well, sir, we're not going to give you this loan. What the fuck? You should give it to me. I'm a good person. I read a book right before I came here. <coughs> God damn it. They're going to look at me be like, ha <laughs> ha, stupid. Get the fuck out of my bank. Because that's reality. I made bad decisions in the past. Now I'm dealing with the consequences of my decisions. Simple, man. I don't know why y'all think the world's going to change for you guys. It's clown world shit. I don't think that the world's going to change for us. But I think that things are shifting. And that they're shifting in a general direction of more acceptance for different career paths like that. I do. I I'm do genuinely in the like, next I 10 do years. It's, it's, it, I'm willing to bet in the next 10 years, many um, states will not allow you to enter the bar. Um, if you have a past that has to do with any kind of sex work, there's just okay. no way. I and, see it and that's your opinion. What I've seen. And from like the people that I've, like I've talked to like people and like there is this one woman on TikTok who she does own her own law firm and she's pretty successful and she used to be a porn star and she has tattoos and shit like that. Like there are people where let's like, let's say she actually does own her own law firm and she's a successful lawyer. You cannot use the exception to the rule. Exactly. Like you can't use someone that, that is an anomaly to, to base your decisions off of. Okay. Well, I know someone that jumped out of a pair out of a plane the parachute only had a 10% chance of deploying, but deployed, baby, and he landed oh, safely. He lived. No, he lived. Let's go off that guy. No, you would. If I told you jump out that plane, you only got a 10% chance of the parachute deploying, you will say, fuck no. Fuck no. I'm not going to take that kind of crazy risk. So I'm just saying you got to operate on probabilities, gotcha, not bitch. possibilities, man. But I don't think that it's a crazy risk to want to go to school for something. Going thousands of dollars into debt to get a degree that you probably won't be able to actually use i mean if you'd want to take that risk that's crazy but i, okay, I would but say like, most I people shouldn't do that we just have different opinions on like how things are going to go in like the next decade or so what i'm saying is like from what i've seen i do think that people are becoming more open to people who have tattoos who have been in sex work who have been doing more alternative things with their lives I think that a lot of people are becoming more open-minded about that and they they think your character doesn't depend on those things which I do believe that like somebody's character, like you can have very good character. You can be an amazing person and do porn or only fans or fansly or whatever. You can have a thousand <laughs> tattoos and you can be a great person. But you and I think remember, there's a lot of people who also are starting to believe that and shift their mindset towards that. But you got to remember, I never said that people that do that work aren't good people. I simply no, said, I know. but I simply said, the employer is not going to waste their time getting to know you when they have someone else. Yes. That's also a good person qualified and doesn't come with that liability you're missing the point care. here from an employer standpoint it's not in my best interest to sit here and get to know you when i already know that you have a liability that might fuck up my firm's ability to generate money i'm just going to go with someone that doesn't have that liability yes. so regardless of how good of a person you are so you are going to be left because of your past yes so and i i'm agreeing with that but i'm saying that i think that people are shifting their mindset i understand what you're saying and i'm i agree that that is how a lot of people think but I also believe that a lot of people are shifting the way that they think. That's what I'm saying. And you can disagree with that, but that's like, we can agree to disagree the on that The court system is extremely conservative. Yeah, exactly. That would be. Like, like. Okay, and I'm, I'm agreeing on that, but I'm saying that I think that it is changing. It's never gonna end. It, yeah. It, it, okay, then that's your opinion then. on it. it. It's I don't. an extremely <laughs> low likelihood that it will change. I mean, the, the, the court system is extremely conservative. They are not going to employ women that were involved in sex work to try cases bro it's just not gonna happen i'm telling you like unless it's like because that's gonna fuck up the it's it's yeah. gonna fuck up their ability to try cases appropriately Super they're gonna sit there and try to deflect hey did you know that your main prosecuting attorney was selling feet pictures on only fans and involved in sex work no i can hold you that's fucked up and, yeah. and, and, right, right, right before the case yeah oh, and it's a man on. and it's a man ran like industry too like law is mainly ran by men so like 
they'd be quick to throw that shit in your face and like make out belittle. Like that's just how the law works. Like, and, and yo, let's take it a step further. You want to know who's the most hypercritical of women that are involved in sex work? Other women. Other women. Other yo, women. When I bring these entrepreneurs on that own their own businesses and, 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 and like, you know, scaled up a business that they didn't have to show any picture of themselves. First thing they always say, I make 100K a month and I have to sell no fucking ass to do it. Yeah, I'm telling does. you, you it take does. a lawyer that actually went to law school, never did any of this stuff, never stripped, never danced, never did any sex work to make her money, bro. And, and you work for a, for a woman like that. She's definitely going to tell you, oh, fuck yeah. no. They're like, yo. The, the women, women that are successful that make their money and never did any of that stuff are going to be the biggest ones to hate on chicks that made money from sex work, bro. I'm telling you. Facts. I'm telling you. They're going to be like, you fucking, you took it the easy way, bitch. I got it out the butt. I ain't hiring you. Like, nah. Nicki Minaj make the stallion. What? What does Nicki Minaj say all the time? I never fuck nobody in the industry. Make the stallion. Can't say shit. Make Mills. Damn. No? Make Mills, no? No, but she had her fame before that. Yeah, before. Okay. Safari? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but no, I'm saying like she had already she her her career was already developed before that. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. what she's saying. She brags on that all the time. So we got Vita to play. Okay. Um does anyone else have anything I want to make sure that those ladies can go ahead um, before we go. So like with your statement, what do you think about like Kim Kardashian and she's involved in a lot of legal things? And I I mean some people hate on it, but at the end of the day she's making changes and stuff and she got like a big, you know, she's met with the president. Like, yeah, like she's, she's actually made changes and she's yeah. reversed court cases because of that, because she's in law school right now and she like educates herself, but she educates herself and she is going to law school and she's reversed a, like a few different cases that were going to go south. Like, do you think going, it's an going to law school and passing the bar and actually becoming a lawyer are two different things? It is two completely different things. She's not a lawyer yet. And. And I mean, let's be honest, that's probably, you know, that's a publicity stunt to look better for, you know, all the you know, all the fuck ups in the past. But I mean, we can speculate on that, but she's not a good role model, I would say, for for women to follow. Okay, she might not be a good role model. But like what I'm saying is that like there are women who have a past who still continue to do things with their lives in professional fields like that. Like she did have meetings with Donald Trump and she did speak to him on like certain cases that were reversed. Okay, we're talking about a woman that had sex with a guy. The video blew up. She got famous offset video. And then she was able to turn that into a business to some degree. But in the meantime, what, what, but what did she do while doing that? Well, she hurt her reputation. People don't take her seriously. Everyone's always going to label her as like, you got famous off a of sex video and sucking dick. So she's never going to come, even though people like, like, like a lot of women admire her because like they wish that they can get famous off of what she did. The reality is most women, if they did exactly what she did, they're going to cripple themselves from a yeah. professional standpoint. What you also don't understand is that Kim Kardashian already had money. What you also don't understand is that her father was on a legal defense team for O.J. Simpson. Facts. What you also don't understand is she already had uh, connections in Hollywood that put her in a position where, regardless of her poor decisions, she would be set for life. You don't have so that. it would be disingenuous for me to tell regular women, "Hey, go ahead and take the Kim K route because you don't have the same resources and uh, connections that she did in Hollywood." But a lot of people don't know that yeah. that her father was actually a very good lawyer that was on the O.J. defense team and he was famous and he was good friends with him. In the first place, she came from money. So she was able to, and had accesses that a regular girl won't. This is why I tell people all the time, Kim Kardashian is a horrible example for women to emulate because you don't have her resources. If you took her same trajectory, more than likely it's going to cripple you from a professional standpoint. You are not going to be able to suck dick on some camera and then go ahead and become a philanthropist and run a fashion line and all this extra shit because you don't have the resources she did. But regardless, you're talking about women who have like done things like similar to what she has done, and she was like still able to be taken seriously. You, what was that, Icy? I say your past is always gonna haunt you. It is what it is. Like you're, you're trying to go beyond the fact of OnlyFans. Niggas gonna judge you off of that, especially like if you're dealing with clients with big, big, big money. They fun to take that serious because you a risk. Like understand that they gonna judge you just because you did it. So just own your shit and just continue running and try to choose to something else. I mean, you could do it, but you're going to handicap yourself. It's all they're trying to tell you. Take the game. That's it. And you literally yeah, gonna, you're going to no, have to I'm deal with the consequences for the rest of your life. Like, you're going to always be looked at as that sex object. Like, no saying, matter what you do. Like, no matter. You could be, you can grow up and, and do the best shit in the world, but you still it's still going to be motherfucking jacking off to you from 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I'm, I'm, but I'm not yeah. disagreeing with that. I'm just saying that, like, I do think that women who want to go into professional fields after doing something like that 
can do that. And I think that especially in the future, there'll be more opportunities for them, regardless of what people think of them. They can, but I, the past is always going to come. Like, everyone's like, past we're going in circles. Them. You've been saying the same thing like three times yeah, already. I'm ready yeah. to go on to can the next topic. On. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's wishful thinking, but it, you know, it, 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 it sounds hopeful. more emotional than anything. Like, you it's know? just feelings and shit, but it, I ain't got to go into next just, topic. Okay. Um, cool. Hey man, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, where where we at? Okay, shout to you uh, now. okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're we're going twenty and up. Yeah, twenty and up. Okay, cool. uh, and these came after, right, Chris? Uh, before. Oh, these came from before. Okay, I'll just run through these in the video. What twenty uh, and up for us? Okay. Uh, hey, my fresh and fit fellas, cute girls, very outspoken that need to get the grammar up. Sound like they're kind of slow. Don't marry or have kids by a girl who doesn't uh, who does only fans to streets. They go. Okay, Martin, let me know what what. Aren't we reading that too? No, no, no. no. Okay, being average looking should be a neutral thing for a woman, but if we uh one were to say. Most women were, are statistically average uh, looking an insult. Fair enough. Yep. Uh, um, didn't the masculine chick from yesterday say she had a boyfriend, though, who was staying at home with the dogs? That is true. Yeah. <laughs> but she was talking to entertaining another guy? Not not going <laughs> to... Oh shit. oh shit! Well, <laughs> this uh, I will say this. This is why I tell y'all, don't let your girl go on girls' trips, man. Because... And, and here's the thing. I didn't get a chance to say it yesterday, but... Her her boyfriend over there in Alaska guaranteed she don't respect them. And obviously, I don't even got to say guaranteed. We already know now she don't respect them. She's down here talking to other guys, whatever maybe. No offense to your friend. But guys, if a woman respects you, she ain't going to go on a fucking girl's trip yeah, she's to a, a vacation destination where there's plenty of men, liquor, sex, and accesses to other things that are you know, most conducive to infidelity. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, hey, man. I, I tell you guys all the time. All right. <laughs> Girls will say bullshit like, stop being insecure, stop being controlling, stop being fucking jealous, or blah, blah, blah. Small dick energy. Small dick energy, all this other shit, so that they can go ahead and do the fuck shit that they want to do of coming to night, you know, major cities, have sex with random guys, come back to you like a dummy as you watch your dog. That's the reality. And I tell you guys all the time, let women do what they want to do, but you don't have to sit there and tolerate it. If your girl wants to go and have a girl's trip, fantastic. You're now single. Let her be I'm going to go talk and... to another girl. Do, let, do not let women have you watching their dog in the past or hanging out at home. Hmm, I wonder if she comes home to me. Blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, she's going to come home to you with some semen in her as well. And, Stop and, being a dummy. Yeah, and you're, you're right. I, I can hold you. Some girls don't take showers afterwards, man. Some of these girls, man, when they do what they, their deed, they get up and get dressed Wait, Chris, and they walk out. Chris, how do you know? I, I saw it. I seen it. What'd you say, nigga? Uh, I, I won't say much. I ain't got self snitch. <laughs> so yeah. So so simply put, guys, like like yeah. yo, respect yourself, bro. If your girl wants to do single girl shit, cool. Let her be single, and you go on and find another girl that isn't gonna embarrass you. Because at the end of the day, you look stupid. All right. When your girl's yo. out here doing all this crazy shit, and you at home like a dummy. Yo, imagine uh, your girl went on a, on a trip or something. <laughs> yeah. I went on a night out. Got <laughs> raw dogs. Got raw cream pie. Cream pie. And you can't want to get a pussy. You can't. <laughs> I'm gonna call no names, but we heard some stories. Yo, God we, damn. We oh, wow. God, it gets nasty Yo, as hell, and bro. this shit happens every single day, bro. It literally, yeah. and we literally yeah. had this topic yesterday. Like, if your girl wants to go on girls' trips, don't accept that shit. Like, let her do what she wants. But when she comes home, her clothes are on the fucking street, and she no longer is your girl. Simple, man. You want to be single? Cool. <laughs> be single, you will be, but I'm not gonna tolerate this fuck shit. No, bro. Like, what the fuck? Don't let her take your security while simultaneously exercising her options. Forever strong, 20 bucks. Uh, I think, it's, I think funny. it's funny how Miss Redhead from Alaska went about, on about her boyfriend can trust her on her girls' trip in Miami, yet come to find out she was out entertaining a guy she just met with the girls. Y'all think I make this shit up? Yo, shout out to the fam. Also, just so you guys know, YouTube is doing something funky with your channel. It doesn't subscribe me and doesn't notify me when you go live anymore. Keep doing what you do. Yep. Real quick, just so y'all know. <laughs> Number one, like the video. Number two, hit that red button and subscribe to the channel. And then number three, which I never say this, you guys got to ring that goddamn bell yeah. so that you get notified when we post uh, videos. Because as you guys know, we're going to be posting the podcast on here primarily, the clips on the clips channel, and the shorts video, which is a perfect transition right here. <laughs> guys, guys, thank you. We hit 1,000.25K subscribers. Shout out to you. We need 2K though. <laughs> guys, this is our new shorts channel. Um, uh, and shorts, just so you guys know, our video is under 60 seconds long. Check us out. Subscribe to this channel if you guys want to get bite-sized pieces of content under a minute long. And click that big red button. Click the bell. Subscribe to the channel. Put all notifications on. That way you get notified. And check out the Shorts channel, guys, okay? And, um, yeah, oh, we're going to be posting all the Shorts on here. We're no longer going to be posting Shorts on the main channel. We're going to do it for another, like, week or two. And then from there, uh, as we build this channel up, and then from there, Shorts are all going to go on this channel, guys. Okay. Also, why don't you guys subscribe to the Clips channel real fast? Yep. Yeah. Uh, which is, uh, we'll show that one right here. Yep. Um, the other channel 
right here. So Fresh Fit Clips, guys, over there on the right. Subscribe to that, or sorry, on the left, Hola. Clips channel. We post two clips per day on here. Uh, actually, one of the ones here uh, with Ben, uh, your cooch ain't special, which is hilarious. But uh, <laughs> that was the part where we talked about <laughs> sex dolls and everything else like that in the future, our predictions. But yeah, guys, we post two clips per day on here. Check it out. Subscribe to that channel. Uh, if you don't got time to watch the full two to three hour podcast, go ahead and check out the clips. It's hilarious. We post two of them a day. Subscribe to this channel. Also ring the de- bell. And, you know, check your boys out, bro, because you might not have time to watch the full pod. So check us out over there. Okay. All right. Ladies, question for you. So tell us your experience with guys and tell us, how's it dealing with a guy before you smash and then after you smash? <laughs> tell us from your experience, what is it like dealing with a guy before he smashes and then after he smashes you? We'll start right here. Um. So before... I just need to see if I vibe with you. If I vibe with you, then it's cool because, like, it's not awkward. No one wants to fuck someone that's awkward. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Um, but how does he act? Is he, like, super nice? Is he, like... Um, I mean, I go for people who, like, want to actually have a conversation. Like, if you're just trying to kick it to me about how I look, that's cool. Everyone does that. Like, that don't mean nothing to me. Um, So if they, like, start a conversation, anything random, like, literally anything random, I, I like that because it's cool, whatever. Um, and also looks like I'm a little vain. Like I need to like, if there's like one or two flaws, like I can't, like it, it's just not working out. So I just peep all that stuff. And after I just really, I mean, I might talk to you here and there. Like, I don't really be trying to elongate all that. Cause that's when your intentions get fucked up and you don't know why you're even fucking with this person. You don't know if you're fucking with them for a relationship or just the fuck. So I just try and make sure like, if I fucking nigga afterwards, I know like I'm gonna see you here and there, but it's not no daily texting, none of that. Do you think guys put a lot of effort up front and then when they smash it kind of like roll back a little bit? Um uh from my experience, not really. I feel like a lot of people afterwards Merch. like still try and you got a golden um, cooch. Okay. No, <laughs> I think I just have a cool vibe. Like, well, she said she's an actress, so they'd be acting on her. Practicing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been acting for only two years, so you know. Okay. But um, I think that some niggas do try like up front to like show the most of themselves. Mm-hmm. So it's just a matter of someone trying too hard or just honestly being authentic. I I look for authenticity, not none of that. Gotcha. Yeah. What about you? Like, before a guy smashes, I would say he's usually, like, pretty nice and cool. (laughs) And then afterwards, usually they get, like, pretty possessive, Mm. I would say, and, like, controlling, angry sometimes. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So 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 they get more attached is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. You've never seen it where they just, like, try less? No. Okay. All right, fair enough. And then what you said looks for you. Are we talking like aesthetically, like face, or are we talking height, muscles? Um, looks height, very important. Yeah, height. Um, How tall they gotta uh, be? They gotta be like six feet. My height is like really me settling, but like my height or higher, I I can't do lower. How tall are you? I would say the doctor says like five six, <laughs> but like I do think I'm like five six and a half. Five, <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> and and so what's the bare minimum for your guy? For me? Yeah. What do you mean bare minimum? Like the bare minimum height for so your height. Or oh, height. so okay. yeah, like a guy's 5'8". Because I... Okay. I, yeah. 5'8", bare minimum. All right. Yeah. Fair. How do guys act before, after sex? It's complicated with me because... <laughs> She's a four star. <laughs> it's complicated. Do they know what I do? Do they know who I am beforehand? Have they searched me? Um... But, I mean, at the end of the day, everyone, men, females alike, we all put our best foot forward when you first meet someone that you're into. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily trying harder or just trying to, like, show all your best sides first. I don't know. It's very complicated with me. Like I said, like, sometimes they already know who I am and it complicates things. Sometimes they don't. I don't know. Okay. Just depends. Depends. What about you? Can you restate the question? Of course. Yeah, I got you. (laughs) You stupid. Okay, so the question is, how do guys act before sex and then after sex towards you? Towards me. Yeah. So, like, when a guy's talking to you, what does he do before and and then after you smash, what does he do? I don't just be smashing niggas like that. If I'm finna fuck a nigga, like, we finna be in a relationship. Stop the cap. (laughs) Nah, dad. Fuck a nigga baby, bro. Yeah, shit, baby, bro. Okay, okay. So, from your experience, then, do guys act a certain way to try to get you and then they change it or do they constantly say the 
stay the same before and after, in your opinion. After sex, you're yeah. saying? Mm-hmm. Shit, stay the same. I mean, like, people gonna show their true colors eventually. And it's just like, it be mad things where I just be like, oh, this person, man. Like what, they be like robbing shit and everything? No, they just be playing. Okay, I feel like no girl gonna say a nigga ghost her after six. So like, that's, thank you. That's kind of like self self no, embarrassing. Ben, kill it, ben. I was just about to say, <laughs> I'm gonna go and keep, keep it a book. No, okay. None of y'all gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna keep it a book. Me twice. Niggas, yeah, niggas, yeah. 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 Skrilla game, nigga. 18. 18. Exactly. You had about two, a year and a half of six, so we can't, you can't really like, <laughs> I mean, like, really go off with that. I mean, yeah. not even a year. Should be finessing these Yeah. yeah. Oh, Apparently. Man. What about you? I would say that, like, after, like, I smash with a guy or whatever, like, we're kicking it, like, like, you feel me? It's what? A- no, what? No, not really. really. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, what happens before? How like act act? I would say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuck with anybody that I can't hold an intellectual conversation with me doesn't have no type of vocabulary going on doesn't have nothing really going for themselves I that that's what I'm talking about like as far as after us having sex or whatever I have never really experienced like a guy being like oh nah it's a dub or it's whatever if they anything, don't even say nothing they just don't yeah reply. I mean yeah. I've never really experienced like a guy being like, oh, we have sex, and then I never talk to them again. Like, mm. I've never really experienced that, so I can't really speak on that. But I have experienced, like, I have sex with a guy, and now he, now he's, like, on my body. Like, I have experienced that. So we got two golden coochies here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. What about you? Um, I Honestly, I feel like... Merch. For, <laughs> I think I I know <laughs> in my experience that um I feel like guys are March. persistent with me to be honest. Why okay, before and after. So okay. they they go all the way hard. Oh, God. Yeah, but I just feel like that March. because of the way that I am. Like I'm kind of just like an asshole yeah. to be honest. Like I'm an asshole. Like How? I don't know. I'm just like a like. I like to be the guy. I like to be the alpha Wait, kind of what? thing. So you peg? <laughs> no, not not physically, but like. <laughs> no, not not so you're an alpha. Not, she had big dick energy, like, basically. Like. So you you bought you son these dudes basically. <laughs> yeah, like for the most part, not with everybody, but like yeah. All right. Would it be fair to say that after you son them, that the relationship lasts longer or? It depends, because some guys like that. Some guys are like, yeah, no, I like yeah. that she's a bitch. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, like no. that shit. I understand that, but on your end, <laughs> do you do you cut it off after that? It depends if I'm feeling it. Because if I'm feeling it, then I'll give in. And, I, you know, I won't be an asshole. But <laughs> <laughs> if not, then it's just going to stay that way. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm so good. All right. So yeah. you, you act like a bitch, and they hang out with you, right? Um, what I'm saying is that have you ever been broken up with? Uh, because of your attitude, no, never, no. So every breakup has always been you initiated it for the most part, yeah. Okay, and what was the ma- predominant reason for you initiating the breakups? I always get cheated on. <laughs> they cheated on you. Yeah. Would it be potentially because you act mean to them? I mean, but if we're at that point and we're in a relationship, I'm obviously not like a bitch anymore. But if we're just like, <laughs> I, I, I thought you was alpha though. Accountability. I am though, but I'm just yo. Y'all got me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got me uh, y'all got gotcha, me bitch. I, I will say a quick question. <laughs> okay, quick question. The last relationship you had, when when was it? Uh, we broke up in May. Okay, so um, yeah, how long back. were y'all together? Three years. Oh damn. Okay, name one thing you did wrong in the relationship, and then one thing he did wrong in the relationship. Um, he cheated on me. Had a whole other girlfriend. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess like, well, we were broken up, but I I didn't cheat on him or anything. I think afterwards, like, we were still kind of talking. Like, it kind of became like a situationship. Mm-hmm. And then I was just doing my thing, but I guess I was leading him on and letting him know, like, yeah, we could potentially get back together, et cetera, et cetera. Because at that point, like, he fucked up, so the ball's in my court. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fantastic! I love yeah. it. We, we're 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 like a thousand and zero with that test. <laughs> yeah. Um. So thank you. Yeah. She basically. You said, triggered my shit. trap card. <laughs> Every single time I ask this true. question to women, I ask what what name one thing you did wrong and one thing he did wrong without fail. Every single time he did this, he did that, yeah. and then when it's on her, 
they're like, oh, well, you know, I, I you know, I kind of did this, but it was his fault anyway. It's like, it's amazing how, like, girls will never admit what they did wrong in the relationship. The deflection is cool. Okay. Okay. So, it's crazy, bro. So, so, so thank you. So, Ben. Yeah. Please tell us, and Chris, could you bring this video up? What prompted this video that you made? All right, so I think I've been looking at the panel, not nothing like nothing against y'all, but I be around like ball players and athletes and niggas who like them Drake thousands, Drake. Like, thousands, Drake. And th like a bunch of a bunch of like dudes that fuck a lot of girls. So like, I'm looking at all y'all. I'm sure y'all don't. If y'all didn't been with any athletes or ball players, y'all don't y'all don't experience this. So basically, I just made a video um making fun of like how fake dudes be before they have sex. And then as soon as they as soon as they fuck the girl, they hit next. Like it just be the, all that all that little theatrics is done. And then <laughs> on to the next, we get back to what we know. So this is pretty much there we go. All right, <laughs> Rashad, ben and Don. my nigga. I like your vibe and your energy. Don't you tell me the sound again? <laughs> exactly. Like and why we supposed to be together? Like. All I needed one shot. Martin like, in the back. Give me my I just don't know. Like, it's just something about you make me nervous. Like, you know, you're gorgeous. You just make me super nervous. Let you know. Cheers. Have a good night. Drink it off. Drink it off. Drink it off. Wait, fresh. Hey. You wanna uh, turn neck right now, nigga? Yes, man. Oh, 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 oh. I'll Sorry. tell you this. You black, so there's a society of men tell. called Turn on That Gang. Oh my god. And they be uh, Never mind. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I'll let you know. I got you. I got you. Look at the wood cream on the nose. I had a good song with you. Yeah, get the fuck out. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. That'd be true. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that, yo, that's me. <laughs> I silenced her call and I said that bitch won't stop calling my phone. So that all that is uh, over with. Yo, Ben, that's me, bro. Back to <laughs> Yo. So, so niggas who've been through that gonna understand it, and then like <laughs> niggas who don't really be on shit, not, they not gonna get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't get it. The niggas who've been there gonna like really, 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 really feel it. <laughs> Yeah, and no, niggas, absolutely. Uh, niggas who wish they'd been there gonna kind of feel it. Yeah. And then other dudes gonna be like, bro, I don't know what the but fuck That's 1,000% fact, bro. Course, we, bro. We say it all the time. When you're dealing with a girl, like, because here's the thing. You guys want to, real talk. Okay. All right, just say it. <laughs> I'm a trigger warning. I'm going to offend you ladies a lot. Say but I'm just going to say it. The reason why girls walk around and say I'm special, make me, I'm a, you know, put me on a pedestal. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a princess. Treat me like a queen. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I love my curves and all this other shit. And, you know, I ain't no, I'm an alpha female, like all this ridiculousness, right? <laughs> the reason why girls say this stuff openly without any type of embarrassment or shame is because guys lie to women all day, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we care about your career. Oh, yeah, we yeah, care queen. that you're uh, alpha. We care that you're strong and independent. We care that you make a lot of money. We care, you know what, you're a queen. You don't got to lose weight, man. You're perfect the way you are, baby girl. Yeah. Like, guys say anything they got to say to get laid, bro. And the thing is, is that women take this shit, think it's for real. And then walk around thinking, yeah, I'm on, I'm on a fucking cloud nine, I'm a baby. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm a ten. Exactly. I'm a twenty. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we've done an experiment. One on one. Earlier on the podcast, right when it first started out, we used to ask the girls, "What do you rate yourself? One out of ten? You know how many girls fucking said eleven, bro? It's outrageous. Bro, it's Actually, ridiculous. Some say infinity, a hundred. Yeah, one like, on one. I can out of a hundred women surveyed, I'd say maybe ten would like give themselves an actual real critique, but the other like 90 would say, I'm an 11, I'm a 10. I, you can't count this. Um, You can't touch this, you know, turn into MC Hammer, start dancing. I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> yeah, like they it. say all kinds of crazy nah, shit. Nah, 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 nah. But it is because of niggas like you, Ben, that lot of these goddamn girls, God bro. Damn, Ben, you fucking up, man. You fucking up, man. Representation of fellas. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> so what I'm saying, my next video, which y'all ain't gonna see till like next week, is gonna be like literally like 10 seconds after y'all get done having sex. So, when you walk into the bathroom, <laughs> when you walk into the bathroom, like she's still laying on the bed type shit, and that little conversation they have. So niggas be like, I ain't gonna lie, your shit was crazy. Oh, and it literally don't matter. Your shit could be horrible. As long as he got his nut off, he gonna say that to you, and you can be like, Oh my god, my foot is crazy. <laughs> and it really probably ain't shit. So y'all take that and y'all bring the fresh fit tables and say, I got the golden coochie. <laughs> and really is some meat. Yo, ben. we talked about that oh, on the yeah. last pod, Ben. Yo. Like how, how girls like say Yo, all the time, like, like 
like, oh, my, my pussy's great. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's like, yeah, because no guy's going to sit there and be like, man, that shit was trash. How? Like, listen, got yeah. cottage cheese coming up out of that. You don't know what that is. Oh, oh wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't know what Ben's talking you about. But so there's a game, God, there's a game being so played here, right? Between men oh and women. God. And some women know the game better than men, but some men know the game so well, <laughs> they know how to work it. So we're just saying for our video, ladies, has that ever happened to you? And how did you react? I'm going to start right here. Wait, I'm going to need you to restate yeah, that question. <laughs> okay, you saw the video, right. you played the part. Got a coochie and then just like dips. Right. So basically, he goes to your ass. Has that ever happened to you? Or didn't put as much effort into the hanging truth, out yeah. with you after? Let's be honest. Yeah, tell the truth. The effort after the box is not going to be as crazy as before. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I've had a guy ghost me, but definitely just not put in as much effort and eventually ghost me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you? I would agree to what Dina just said. Like, I've had a guy, like, gradually, you feel me? Like, the spark just is not there anymore. Yeah. Decline in effort. Yeah. Okay. Of course, not clarity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, fresh. Yeah. Um. There's this one nigga that... Um... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about it, girl. What's yeah. his name? No, no name, John. <laughs> Come on, man. Girl, period, class. We got the same time. Hell, no. <laughs> um, what you call it? Yeah, like at first he was just talking like shit was so sweet, trying to take me out to eat. Oh, you trying to make some money? Yeah, where'd y'all go to like eat? That. <laughs> nah, we didn't. We didn't oh. go out to eat. And then after woo the woo, woo the woo 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 woo. Hold um, on, he didn't take you out to eat. And you still gave him some coochie. We want to hear it. That's what whoop de do means. Yeah, yeah. Say the whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, so what you call it? Um, what's called? So never mind that. And then after, like, it just was lame, like, nothing was going on. And all he wanted to do was, and there wasn't no money either. Like, you ain't put me on nothing. <laughs> These open ended sentences, yep. you say. <laughs> Yo, she, I'll tell you this. She got done. I'll tell you this. Right. They put you on some dick. Yo, fill in the blanks. <laughs> fill in the blanks. Oh, oh, he had blanks, all right. Uh, he ain't put you on no money. Didn't take you out to no dinner, nothing. He didn't want no, to. No, so that shit dead. That uh, shit was dead. Yo, City Boys, we up. How's it dead? He already hit. He got what he wanted. <laughs> it don't matter. He See, nutted, I didn't. The fuck? Like, you man. said he nutted, you didn't? Nah. <laughs> I don't so get what he lost what? in this equation. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> this sounds like he got what he needed. And, <laughs> and you was like mad. mad. I'm, not make, I'm not even making a point. I don't give a damn. I'm saying it sounds like you mad out the equation. <laughs> and, and it sounds like a nigga look like mine right now. That was who it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm not, as a nigga I'm that hit, mad. it was yeah. definitely uh, in my plan the whole time to hit and then run. Literally, he said he's gonna put on as some I money. will do right now. Yeah. This thing is what? Thing about, oh, yeah. Who <laughs> they just dumb. But she ain't mad though. She Whew. she she knew what it was. She ain't smiling though. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Woo -de -woo. It's been in jail, so I don't know Say about that. Say fuck that nigga and that's it. Fuck that nigga and that's that. Like, right. I don't uh, see the nigga no more. He and this is why I want y'all to know. Y'all can say all that shit, but the nigga gonna say I still cracked that ass. <laughs> that's all that matters to me. And like, we don't give a fuck about all that shit talking. We already hit. You yawn. We put yawn emojis. If y'all if y'all agree to put yawn emojis. After you hit, you can say fuck me, my dick little, my I stink. You can say all that. I hit. Okay, what, what right. Yeah, yeah, fuck. That's what I'm talking about. So hit. <laughs> you know it's inside out, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Man, China. <laughs> just wondering if you knew. Yeah, that. Boy, you <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mari. She just busted out with that. Sorry, that Fiddy. Just said Fiddy. 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 Freshy and Fiddy. Oh what? my God. Oh, let's stop cute. it. Okay. Um, I mean, I already, you? I had already told y'all back in the last round. Yeah, I definitely like fucked and got ghosted two times, like prior porn. However, like ever since porn, like I don't fuck civilians, like at all, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what they're called. Okay. Yeah, that's, I don't, don't mean to be sounding shitty, but that's what it's called. No, and we, like, I'm not risking, yeah. I'm not risking my damn career for like that shit because one. Condom sex is awful. I don't want it. I don't like Facts. it. But I'm not gonna fuck you raw because the thing about the porn industry is if you get tested, you get tested full STD every 14 days. If you get tested and you pop 
for something, everyone's gonna find out about that shit. Everyone's gonna be sitting there talking about how you fucking civilians like that and like not being safe. And so it's like, ever since I started porn, I haven't dealt with it. But yeah, two. Scary literally, before I did porn, I got tried like two different times, like for mm. sure. But I blame my damn self. I was sitting there like I. Oh shit! Oh, I blame my damn self. Oh come on! They didn't even. I was being a hoe. They didn't even tried that damn hard. Like, come on! Like, accountability. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Like, I definitely. I let. I let them hit it. I let them hit it. And then they ghosted. And I'm over here like, why they ghost? Oh yeah. Yeah, poor. They didn't have to try that fucking yeah. damn hard. That was easy. All right. Yeah, All right. man. Um, <laughs> hoe phase. Everyone has one. All right. Fantastic. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, I would say probably. A, like two or three times like eventually like again like it fizzles out and then yeah i thought they get a, i thought they get obsessed with you we were dead early on the yeah. no <laughs> they possessive. get like possessive and stuff but then eventually like sometimes it does like fizzle out for sure yeah well, that's what we was asking earlier but i'm gonna leave that alone <laughs> okay <laughs> leave it alone okay <laughs> um <laughs> I've been thinking about it. I don't. I don't remember a time. I think like most of my times where I stopped fucking with a nigga, it wasn't because he goes to me. It's just more of like I match the energy. Like if you're not trying, I'm not trying. So Spur just ball. like golden coach energy. Um, oh, yeah, golden coach energy. Okay. Oh god. And now you just don't gotta. I don't gotta like force myself. Like if a nigga is not gonna fly, okay. I'll just match that fuck one. These niggas, huh? Yeah, just fuck that body. Just add. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it out. Wasted body. Fuck it happens. Up. Fuck this shit. All right. Ask Icy. I don't know what Icy got to say. Oh, Icy. What about you? Everyone, You're not saying don't give a fuck what I got to say. Nah. Um, I think it goes there. But it's on some <laughs> weird shit, though. Like, the nigga, like, he'll try so hard. And, like, I kind of know his pattern because it's been, like, a year that he's been doing this. So it's, like, for, like, a whole two two weeks, we'll go out. We'll do, like, you know, little events and shit like that when I can. You know, because I got a kid and shit. Then when I fuck. I get ghosted for like two, three weeks. And then it's just like the whole cycle all over again. So it's kind of in a way, I know I'm recreational pussy, but I won't take him serious. Just how he won't take me serious. So was he also involved in the underworld as well? Allegedly. 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 What do you mean? Was he a criminal? (laughs) Allegedly. I'll I'm take that as a yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, it's criminal. All right, yeah. Cool. All right. Not so much a criminal, but you know, I'm 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 not gonna say what he does. Okay. Allegedly. So so what? Wait, you didn't finish the story. So so he just he he, he like. I mean, uh, it's a pattern, and it's just really up to me when I allow it. It's great sex, and you know, I just know it's sex. So you know what it is, and you don't take it any further. No. Okay. Why? She don't give a fuck about that nigga. All right. Switch out here. All right. Yeah. Uh, with a plan. Couples, watch the show. Hall Pass on Netflix proves everything FNF <laughs> says on the show, but in a light way, it's about how women need to continue to please men even after marriage. Okay? I want to see that. Uh, <laughs> 20 bucks. I work in law enforcement. I make over 100K, and I've only been in for five years. I know others that make to over 250K. People talk about police budget. What they don't realize is that most police, uh, most of that is police salary. Very true. Yeah, a lot of police officers make 100K. I, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's blood money. It's overtime, but it, they can still be done. Uh, question for the ladies. If you make six figures a year, how do you make it? Y'all quick to say bum broke and average, but what are these occupations that put in uh, this 100K lane? Keep it a buck. Are there any <laughs> six-figure earners on the panel? We got one. We know what she does. Not yet. With the OF? Mm, like, Close. We'll talk about that later on. You got somebody. I mean, I, I haven't been doing it like for a year, but like, if I continue to make how much I have been making, like, for the next year, then yeah. Okay. So, right, can cool. I say something? So you're on the trajectory to do it. To be fair, before I started porn, when I graduated in December, I got an associate's in diagnostic sonography. And that starting salary as an associate is 85K. So it's quite easy, actually, to make a sick figure salary. Like, true. Then depending on it. what you get in it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Definitely. But, Tax like, I'm just saying that's an associate's. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it could be done. So it yeah, I mean, definitely, done. I make six figures now over something else, but it's definitely possible. Uh, anyone else close to it or there? No, working towards it. Working towards it. Oh, definitely. Definitely. In your case, you're acting like it. You make it, maybe. And no, I'm just kidding. Not uh, uh, take it till you make it, baby. <laughs> okay, but, okay, but let's go around the other way. Um, will you date a guy that makes less than six figures? Yeah. 
I I would. I would. Why the fuck I, you no, lying? I would. I would because Why it's you like, always I'm lying. Not gonna say anything. I don't mean to. Oh my god. Like, Stop fucking lying. I have standards. Like, I definitely don't want you to be a bum, broke, all that. But, like, I wouldn't knock you down because you're not making 100K a year plus. You okay. Know? Would you date a guy that makes less than 100K? I would. Okay. Stop the cap. Oh, my, bad. my finger slipped. Uh, what about you? <laughs> At this moment, yeah. <laughs> well, legally. But... <laughs> legally. Legally. <laughs> Legally, yes. what you mean at this moment? That what do that ass, mean? Because she's eighteen. Yeah, right? like it's the it's like you know later on they are gonna have to make about six figures because that's what I'm gonna be making too. So yeah. Okay. After taxes, of course, right? <laughs> All right. Trying, no comment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Would you? Would you? Well, you wouldn't. You said you wouldn't, right? You, yeah. You gotta, yeah, gotta at least match good. you, right? We good. Fair <laughs> enough. What about you? Would you date a guy that makes less than six figures? No. Okay, fair enough. Will you? Um, I agree with what she said. Like right now, yeah. But she ate if I, she said no, or, or no, her. Okay, yeah. Okay. Like, cause right now, obviously, I'm in college. You know, so if I did meet someone right now that didn't make that, I'd be cool with it. But if I reach where I want to in my career, then yeah, that's you have to be change. at least close, if not more. You know, <laughs> man. Can I just say, my... most of y'all lying. <laughs> Most, hey, I'm going to say, say it if y'all aren't going to say it. Yeah, say it. Most of y'all lying. I'm sorry. No, say at, some point, so so, at some point, someone's going to... Because I mean, even me, was... even me myself, I have literally dated someone below my own damn standards because of how they made me feel. And like, we all feel that way at some point. Like, don't sit here and say you would never, ever date someone below six figures because even I have. Even me saying no, I don't. I have. So, like, let's not ever say never. Like, <laughs> I was just about to say, all y'all dated regular ass. Exactly. Yeah. Let's be honest. No, We've all question, done man. it. But the question is, yeah, but the question is, what they do it now? That's what I'm supposed to question. Yeah, and they could say no tonight, and then they can make the love of their life tomorrow. That makes only five five figures, and they still going to fucking holler at them. They full shit. As long as the nigga tall and he Exactly. They good they looking as fuck. Like... You telling me you're not going to fuck him because he don't make 6K? Get out of here. Cap, cap, y'all cap, lying. Cap. I well, think... remember, we said, we said date. date. Yeah. No, date. Like, oh. actually... I think most women don't know off by looks, they can just go by lifestyle. But yeah, yeah I, I, get, I get what you're saying, first. Okay, yeah, uh, some more chats here, and then ladies, yes, sir, so ask questions or last. Yeah, we're gonna turn it to y'all to, 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 uh, to yeah. steer the conversation. Yeah. So, yeah. have some good questions on deck, and you guys get to grill us just like we've been grilling you. Um, pause and it, prove, prove me wrong, guys, because every time we turn it to ladies, I ain't gonna lie, they're trash, they got no good questions, yeah, they trash. got nothing to discussion, and we got to carry the show once again. Um, all right, I'm an NYC fireman that makes 130k a year, working an average of three days a week, and I dated a bum artist chick, and I will never do it again. She's trying to make, uh, take me to the uh, cleaners for child support. Y'all sex only. God damn, you fucked up, bro. By you, you... <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, learn from my mistakes, guys. Uh, long live gaming. Twenty bucks. If every guy in the world made one million dollars, women would want the guy that made two million. Women never settle. It's true. Uh, Mike Jones. Who Mike Jones? Twenty Mike bucks. Jones. Wait, I'm who? sorry, fellas. I need to simp a little for the pretty girl next to Myra, and she appears to be very feminist, submissive, and attentive uh, woman that I'd be happy to treat and take care of. Oh, I'll be God. in your DMs. Drop that IG. You want to? Oh. <laughs> like, yeah, you want to drop your IG? I want your My IG is at queen dot k a y o r i k o r e. That's my name. I love it. The name per proves my points even more. Yeah. Um, king Jimmy. Who's king, a king? king. Uh, <laughs> well, she has no king, asshole. She said she was single earlier. Ah, yeah. oh, damn. Sorry. All right. Love what you do, guys. Me and my girl are watching you right now. This is the first time watching you. We want to see Frank Castle. And hopefully she... Nah, man. We have a good pair of ladies uh, here, bro. No need. Cool. Uh, coldest visual poet. I think the biggest mistake women make is looking down on blue-collar guys. As a railroader, we can make up to 150K. Great benefits. And when he retired, the wife gets a check, too. Yes, my friend, but that would assume that they're being rational. And let's be honest, most women, women are not rational. Don't see your income, to see your lifestyle. Exactly, so my it, friend. If it does not support that lifestyle, sorry, my friend, she will never know. They don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah. Uh, Jay Martin, Pink, I'm an attorney, licensed uh, in two U.S. states. Pink is partially correct. The standards are becoming more lax like most uh, else in this crazy world. But the bigger issue in the, uh, is the court of public opinion. If you want to practice, your firm is going to vet your past. Yeah, no, I already agreed with that. Jay-Z, Tommy, Asia, since you don't like deep fried egg rolls, can I bust open your fortune cookie? Cheese! <laughs> Me love you long time. Yes or no. It's not a fresh album. Um, oh, wow, wow, do you have anything wow. to say to that? 
nah, fuck you. <laughs> How about that? Oh, that, that, that might turn Jeez. him on. Uh, Nobunaga. Only fans law firm, Chocolate Starfish and Pink Sock Associates. Okay. okay. Um, uh, and then, what? okay. Uh, we got De uh, Demian602, indignation, interjection, rationalization, concession, resignation, rejection of statisticians, delusional manifestation. Keep leading from the front, gentlemen. This podcast is helping me resist a slave man. <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag Chewy. Chewy. Yes, guys, invest in Chewy uh, because I do have a prophecy that there's going to be more single women than ever before. So invest in dog and cat food. You guys think I'm kidding around? I actually did buy Chewy. Uh, I, I spent $1,000 on Chewy. So I'll look at it real quick and tell <laughs> you how I was doing. Um, Candy's the new new. You got a fresh bucks. Stop arguing, Pink. She's very young and never worked a real job. If she did, she would never not be saying this. Stop doing OnlyFans while you're going while you're young and before you're too deep. Listen to Pastor Gaines. She was at forty one dollars and sixty five cents at right now, guys, uh, as a share. So it's down now, but it will come back up. The whole stock market right now is uh, is crashing. Which I talked to you guys about, um, uh, you know, on my Instagram story. I told you guys what I personally uh, invest in. I, I got index and ETFs. Things that. Long story short, S and P five hundred. Total stock market. If you have tra uh, ETFs and or index funds that track those things, you can't go wrong. Uh, even if it's down, it's going to come back up. But long now's term, the time guys, to buy. I'm sorry? Yes. Now, now's the time to buy. Yes. Thanks. They're crashing all over Everything's the place. Everything's low. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, Marlon Brown, 20 bucks. Imagine being in a wheelchair but decide to go to soccer trials, LOL. Having OnlyFans literally handicaps you from the most executive jobs. It's just how the world works, and you will wait till you are dead before things change. Okay. Uh, no. Why do women love bringing up exceptions to the rule so damn much? Well, my friends, because what I've come to realize from interviewing well over a thousand women is women like to look at anomalies and exceptions to the rule and kind of base the reality off of that as if it can happen to them. But the unfortunate reality is um, you got to go off the probability, not the possibility. And I think that's, uh... bro, you got to. Okay, I don't want to go on. I, I, I'm not going to go down that road. Uh, all change isn't good. Things are changing is a concept that excuses bad behavior and shows that things are changing, but for the worst. Three or four degenerative kids, depression. Is this the future we are uh, striving for? Fair yes. Enough. Okay, that is the future we're striving for. I mean, Daniel, seven bucks all the way from Canada. Thank you so much. Seems like people aren't living in the real world. It's not over seven billion individuals this world. It's only that many pairs of eyes perceiving the world. Okay. Uh, and N95. N95, the perfect example for this topic where criminals that been remember, ladies, it's you're going to be your turn to we're going to turn it to y'all to lead a discussion, so be ready. Um, N95, the perfect example for this topic where criminals that have uh that been conv convicted for something very small, it's tough for them to find jobs because of their past. They're hoeing, but your past will always haunt you. Fair enough. Uh, her derp. Ask the lady, ask the ladies what they offer a high value man, but they can't say emotional support or anything like that. We all know that's a lie, anyways. Okay, so for the women that only want a guy, well, want a guy that makes six figures, what would you offer to a guy that makes that kind of money? Boom. We'll start with you and then her. I can't say six. Me? Uh, yeah, no, no, her. No. Oh, I was like, I oh, you're starting with me? Well, because you said you wouldn't date a guy that doesn't make less than six figures. So what I can offer to him? Yeah. Uh, me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what? Like, yeah, she told I, guess, I guess looking good sometimes. Ah. Some way, sometimes. I would say most of the time. Wait, most of the times? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Nobody well, looks good like a hundred, a hundred percent of the time. How about if you pay for dinner sometimes? <laughs> like a thousand. Like would I pay for dinner sometimes? Yeah. Sure. No. Like a nigga gotta ask you though. That's what he's saying. Like, what do you offer? Like, yeah. that's not sex and like obviously looks. But he wouldn't fuck with you if he was ugly. I would offer to pay for dinner sometimes. Would you just pay it <laughs> without offering? What? Would you just pay it without offering? <laughs> No. What do you mean? No, uh, women don't like do that. Like, if he didn't ask you, yeah, to like pay, just pay. Offer to pay. Yeah. yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I would offer to pay. No, but offering mean like you would. Hey. Um, I would have paid. I'm offering to pay. Just pay it without even offering to pay. Just fucking pay the bill and without telling him. Would sure. you do that? Yes. Let's say okay. the guy lost twenty k. You know, he wanted to make an investment. You got twenty k. Would you give it to him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if I if I'm like in a relationship with a man and I'm like devoted to him and committed to a guy, I would do the most for somebody. Yes. I would like give somebody money if they needed it, and if I was in a relationship with them, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Me, I mean, I'm definitely like I give what I get. Like I'm gonna hold you down just as much as you hold me down. Um, and porn. Ha! Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm gonna fuck you like a porn star too. Let's add that in there. Um, I'm gonna be sex? able to give you Can't fucking you conversation. I'm gonna be able to sit there and if you something fall out and you need money, I got you. Like I'm able to sit there and give you just as much as you're giving me. Like I can be supportive. I can do all that. Like quick, quick question: Do you do you like have problems like getting like having like serious relationships? No, like this really not at all. No. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, my job is my job. That's it. Like that ain't it, cause that's m- most of the shit niggas care about. Like mm-hmm. if I seen you d- getting killed by three dicks, huge ass. I've dicks. never done two dicks on one, so I don't know what you're talking about. I've never oh, even done even, anal. I just assume. I just no. Nah, I've never even done anal. I don't. At the porn stars I know would be doing it. Gets, yeah, well, it'd be 20 I ain't them. Lined up. Okay, well that's what I was just asking this no. porn star. That's all. I don't want no smoke with you. She's a cool. one dick porn star. Yeah. Oh, you a classy one. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> so you do like the kissing, the slow kissing on. I don't H- kiss H- on. Mac? I don't kiss on porn either. Oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> okay. But to answer your question, yeah, I got a lot to give. I didn't ask. Did you got some? Not you. Not you, boo. Not you. Oh, okay. you. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say shit. Boo. Shit. Bad boo. Oh, what about <laughs> my ass? What you? Oh, she knows. She yeah, said she no. said she. Yeah, she said she would. So there was only two. How many hats you gonna wear though? Huh? Oh, I think you could uh, use some more. I think you lacking. I, I, I mean, I'm just a little subconscious about my bald spot. So. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> you should shave your face into it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, there are lots of lies had. So I got subconscious about my hair. Hi, Chris. Um, Jets. Oh yeah. Cool. And then who who's gonna start? By the way, who's gonna go first with the ladies? And cut the what? We, uh, we can start. Here. I go first. I guess. All right. <laughs> All right. New Haven, Connecticut influencer and frequent your content. Uh, this is from Get Lifted. Thirty is the new twenty. You guys definitely shed light on society's most taboo topics about the dating market, and it needs to be discussed. Continuing doing what you, continuing doing what you guys are doing. Just a blessing. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that support. Right. Shout out to New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> um, we got Ro Estrada, twenty bucks. Evan FM, love the content and great discussion tonight. Chris, he said he don't say much, but that's only because we'd be struggling to understand what. <laughs> have the shit have the shit he be saying all right 20 bucks from tsk 907 have you let sterling hit sterling cooper wait you're talking about me yes, yeah yeah, yeah, if yeah you've because had sex with him. he's a porn star sterling cooper yeah he's a uh, aussie he i think uh, i did he's him australian on scene. Okay. Oh, yeah? I think so. I don't know. Uh, all right, Chad. Uh, <laughs> find out, Chad. Was he down under? <laughs> oh, he down, down oh under. yes. Yes, I did. See? It was yeah. down under, fellas. All right, um, that, it was oh, on nice. set. It was for Lethal Hardcore, and that shit was fire. I love that shit. That shit was awesome. That shit was VR, too. So it was all awesome. 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 He slopes his cock. Yeah, yeah he was the first person that threw out that term as civilian. And I was like, what the fuck? And it's like, yeah, it's basically what porn stars refer to regular people as. Yeah, because I mean... How in a real life? How often do you think normal people get tested? Honestly, as much as they be coming home with not people, not get exactly. And like everyone thinks oh, porn serious? stars are like the dirty ones. We get full panel tested every STD under the planet every fourteen days. That's, you yeah. know what's funny? <laughs> I went to the clinic right to get tested. Yeah, I saw no niggas in there, and like three girls, and it's like, bruh. Niggas don't get tested, bro. You went to TTS? You know how niggas get tested? Yo, man, the girl. Uh, fuck with a girl. Yeah, yeah. He ain't got nothing. Yeah. I ain't got nothing. Yo, <laughs> bro, 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 bro. Right after, bro. leave. That yo. is so much facts. Uh, so niggas have been like, yo, my girl's clean? <laughs> no, no, oh, I'm clean, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah my girl ain't got nothing to shoot. I ain't yeah, got nothing to shoot. Yeah, yeah, man. I respect that, though, because that that's means you ain't cheating. That's crazy, though, that, like, porn star, like, y'all get tested, but I guarantee you, everyday nigga is not going to roll the fucking dice having sex with y'all raw like probably. that yeah they just you're probably go. right but at the same time the same there's the same statistic that's saying half of them are gonna sit there and be like nah you probably dirty get out the other half are like oh my god i want to fuck a porn star so bad so it's just Yo, and, and, yeah. and you bet in the dice and you still bet in the dice even if i wasn't a porn star people right. be taking people home every single damn night a- without no reason and like I, a lot of my friends are huge whores love them Go ahead. <laughs> but they ain't in the industry and they ain't getting tested and they're having sex way more than I am. I haven't even I'm uh, get into you. it. Regular girls. Sorry, sorry, regular girls. They fucking <laughs> they fucking for free. Yeah. And the yeah. problem okay. is they don't get tested like that for the most part. Hmm. Porn stars, man. I yeah, mean, I, I will I will say it's a common misconception that porn stars yeah. are uh Easy. you know 
yeah. it's sexually irresponsible and have a lot of STDs. The truth is they actually are probably the cleanest that. people yeah, cleanest. because of Shout you know to, the need to keep club. the industry clean in general. So, yeah. yeah, so they're actually... When you see it, though, it, 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 it's all yeah. split. And yeah. we, it's, but we indulge in it, which is crazy. It's just weird yeah. how the industry works. But yeah. yeah, but like actual porn stars that are like shot by like, you know, industry people, not like your typical Very OnlyFans porn girl. Stars, not like like uh, real porn stars. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're definitely... Yeah, they get tested every 14 days. Um, uh-huh. Oh, another thing I was going to say is I think another reason, too, let's let's be honest here. Most guys aren't fucking as most girls are. Yeah, facts. Yeah. It, yes. Like, like but one, yet guys are doing the most cheating. Somebody's lying. No. Well, yeah. well no. you got to remember that you're 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 attributing a very small percentage of men to yeah. the to the cheating population. The reality is, you know, there's a study that came out with this recently. I don't know if the ladies knew this, but. Almost one third of men are virgins and or sexually inactive with uh, uh, 30 years old to 18. Mm. Mm-hmm. I guess that's believable. Um, I would have to do my research on that and come back to you on that topic because it don't sound right to me. About, yeah, about one third, so about 30% of men between 18 to 30 are either virgins or haven't been sexually active in the past year. It actually makes perfect sense. Yeah. How many guys, look, look just now in this, in this uh, chat, how many times did that guy send you messages? Saying, "Hey, I'm gonna Twice. bust your fortune cookie." Skrilla. How many guys approach right. you and talk to you that you have zero interest in? DMs, think about that. Everything they dig me okay. dry. That's why. right. That's so they, true. So, but I feel like I could say the same thing about women. Like I don't feel like oh, merch. I mean, I like I said, that's not a topic that I am like educated on to have sit here and have an educated conversation yeah. with you about facts. Which is, I don't want to sit here and spit things out that I don't know are true right now. But spit what if, spit out things like oh like, like sorry Call. women are like you just said one third in men um are virgins or they're not sexually active right now i can't yeah. i can't factually give you the information oh two thirds of women right now are sexually active like i, I mean can't it's just common sense like give you that information like, that's girls not are a common always, sense thing I, I mean i mean let's be honest here women are never not fucking somebody that's not true. that's not true that's okay. not true <laughs> when's, right, when's the last right time now? you smashed um oh. honestly like Probably a month or two ago, uh, but it was with the, it was with a nigga that I was with for like four uh, years and we're not together anymore. You know so it's a that's a big difference. But you, I don't think it's fair to to say that that's fair bitches or are it's... always fucking because when I go out and shit like that, I I go home to my room and me and my girls go home to our room. Like I don't gotta go out and fucking nigga. I feel like niggas be you... out in the streets. They want to find a girl, <laughs> and they be like, there. There's some shawties that I know that though that go home with a nigga. Me, no, especially not in Miami. <laughs> you say like you wouldn't even let your friend go home with a nigga. Uh, like, nah, out. me, yeah. nah, me. My friends, like me and my friends, are all the same. Like we are, we're on the vibe. We go out. We have fun. We get what we need to do. Like you What's know, it? get a, so get bottles saying... and all that stuff, and then we back so you're home. Saying none of your girls get smashed. No, we don't be out there Bro, for that. De- your girls because, aren't telling you. Your girls aren't telling you. I'm so serious. All right, let me speak for myself. Me personally. I was going to say, because I know some of your friends. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Like, like, he, me don't personally. tell her what we do. Look at Shake. Don't, don't tell her. Don't fresh, tell her. Shit. Fresh, don't. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm going to go back in my hole. In darkness. Mm. Fade away. <laughs> it ain't no Fade away. Right? In this, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. this is the first time I've seen him change next to me. All these the changes, I've not seen one of them. <laughs> I look and he's just like, that's my run. Every girl, yeah, every girl, girl has so, sex so you haven't had sex months. in a month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on. All right. Uh, wait, wait, Why wait, is wait. that not believable, though? Wait, so. Do you the count like condoms, blowjobs? Like, what's going on? Like, I, 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 like I said, I was with someone for four years. We're not so together no more. And like, I'm just, I, girls don't need sex. Like, vibrators do the job that niggas do. Okay. Just yeah. fucking. No, yeah. like yeah. underrated. Oh, I'll no. Say this. no. Toys do have a place. I, yeah. And it can't withhold you for a period of time. Yeah. But not the whole year. I, yeah. All right, I'm not, but. Like I'm saying, sex is not necessary. It for me personally, after having sex for like for such a long period of time, and oh, oh God, I'm just, that little rose ain't gonna like hold you're speaking over. like it's oh, incapable. Yeah, yeah like, like, like you're speaking like it's something for men. Can't do. I could picture, right. I could picture no, I men having to have sex. A lot of men that I know, they're like, oh, I need sex. I can't like go that long period of time. But like before you started having sex, you're a normal human being. Like you were just yourself. Like sex is just something that adds attachment and gives uh, fulfills a different purpose within yourself. So if you don't need to have sex, then that purpose that sex fulfills you with is like you're good. Like sex is just something that 
is extra instead of it okay. fulfilling. So you're not smashing someone right now. No. The spirits tell me otherwise. But okay. <laughs> the spirits. Are what lying. about you? Are you smashing anyone right now? <laughs> Honestly. Oh God. <laughs> She did last night. No, let me stop. <laughs> I'm fucking like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like be surprised. Yes or no? What did I? Oh, math. Uh, the answer is yes. Okay, fantastic. Let's move on. Next. Yeah. See, look at that, bro. Okay, then. Well, obviously. Okay. I'm a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> no. You ain't smashing somebody right now? Off, no. off camera, though. Hold on. I still want to know about shouting. Off camera, though. Like, uh, you ain't fucking nobody off camera. No, I got somebody. Okay, so yeah, that was cool. That's the end. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Um, me, yeah, I told you I was in a situation. I okay. do with my situation. All right. And then you said no, right? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Uh, and then where are um, your hats coming from? I'm no. not. It's like I am, <laughs> but it's like not consistent. I like have sex with that guy like once a month. It's like weird. <laughs> yeah, it's like weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a weird So it's only one guy you're having sex with right now? Yeah. Wait, I have a question, weird dynamic. Though. Is it raw? Yeah. <laughs> My girl. Once like, a month? Nice. What are you doing the rest of the month? What is he doing the rest of the month? Crying. Oh, I'm crying. So, I, crying? I just want to input this for all the sexy ladies. I am opening up my sex store. So go ahead and uh, follow Spicy Peach at uh, Spicy Peach that boutique. So yeah, if you want your Freak sexual needs, let me know. Can you spell it for the month? Right. So, so you said you're only smashing Spicy one, dude. Peach. Um, okay. Uh, and then, uh, Icy, what about you? Uh, when's the last time you smashed? Like two months ago. <laughs> Nigga, I answered that with honesty. What the fuck is yeah, you talking I feel about? Like she ain't lying, bro. She ain't got no reason to lie. Nigga, I got a baby at home. What is you saying? Uh, yeah. No niggas come to the crib. So no, 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 no sucking, no nothing. No, bro. I be at the crib trying All to right. get bitches for the show. How about that? All right. Fair enough. On All Discord. Right, Shout right, out to the Discord fam because they know. All right, see. They fucking know. Shit, we, we, I be see, we believe you. I see. You know what? Real talk, we believe you. Okay, mm -hmm. fade into the dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not funny. All right, hold on. We got uh, here. Uh, wait, who we got? Who we got? Chris? Chris well, Kim? Let me see. What? Where? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So just just to end that point. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So like one third of guys, pretty much like thirty percent of guys are basically sexually inactive between eighteen and thirty. So. I know that might be hard to believe, but if you really think about it deep down, like how many guys approach you that are weird that you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot of guys struggle, man. That's why porn is like one of the, the top three like websites that people watch are like porn sites. You so, know, why Alice... do you think strip clubs and OnlyFans are running it up? A lot of dudes are not like, you, like a lot of women, there's like an entire billion dollar industry made off of the fact that men don't get laid. Think about it. True. If, yeah. if, if, yo, if, if you. If dudes were actually getting laid and fucking like girls are, you Mo think we would be in strip clubs or paying for this? <laughs> exactly. Hell nah. Nope. Uh, I got one question though. So I, I'm sorry I keep picking on you. What's but up, Charlie? You said you said you are you got a dude that you be fucking with mm -hmm. off camera, like that's your your man or your nigga, or whoever it is, right? No. Nah. That's just somebody you fuck on the regular, right? Mm hmm Okay. But I if I'm like if you're a civilian and I'm gonna like start fooling with you, like him and I like literally were friends for like three months. I made him get tested way before we did anything and still for the first like month we wore condoms and shit so it's like okay. no, I'd, be, I'd still be playing it safe and shit so he just be like he so he know everything to be going on he just be yeah. cool oh okay and he'd be like uh, he he watch it too uh, no. yeah I have caught him watch it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually but you guys aren't like serious right there's no, no title no, no. you okay. kiss him in the mouth what you be kissing him <laughs> okay I was just trying to figure out yeah, how I'm gonna that, be, how I'm that be honest but yeah, no nah, I mean open, like yeah. Yeah, that take a, that take a special type of dude. That's why I'm trying to like understand what, what type of dude it is. Mm -hmm. Like I'm mean, because you gotta have a lot of like confidence and like self. Is he black? That's what I was I getting to. Not oh, sorry, sorry, that. sorry. That's, that's what I wanted to know. Sorry, I'm I was gonna say it's a white dude, ain't it? No. Uh, no. Nope. Close to it. I'll be dating white guys. Sorry. Uh, German. Okay. What is he? He's I Hispanic. Ain't no. What? That ain't gonna. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna put him on blast. I just want to know what he is. I get put on blast literally for not making more IR scenes. So I just I stay out IR. of the whole fucking racial thing. I ain't I answering mean, it. In real life. In real life. Oh, I ain't answering. Oh, like, oh, like, even, even though I've already <laughs> done three interracial oh, scenes, I still get shit for it. Like saying I don't do more. 
but that's not my fault. I don't get hired by the companies. But either way, I just stay out of that racial shit. I ain't saying nothing. Okay. Okay. That's like, yeah. You answered it. Cool. Because all right, what um Mar said earlier, like if I guess she doesn't dabble yeah. in the dark either. Sorry, <laughs> Jamal <laughs> and Kareem. Sorry, Tyrone, sorry guys. Tyrone. Sorry, Walt. BBC gang, we down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> down. Well, we I wonder if they're gonna go to Twitter to complain. Uh, uh, wait. We don't know what happens off camera, so we can't say that yet. Oh. All right, boys. Fresh. Wait, what? No, I'm saying like BBC game. We don't know. It's my favorite flavor, man. Get out of here. There you go. <laughs> Fresh. I just got. I don't, Nigga, what? Say that. I don't know. I mean, uh, only fast scenes. Oh, never, never mind. All right, next. Nigga, what are you talking about, bro? Um... All right, uh, Henny Chris is here. Girl and white men decide if they're gonna ghost you before they even meet up with you most of the time, or within five minutes of meeting you. How hard you make us work for it is irrelevant. There is no avoiding the ghost if you hope. Okay, uh, pink. I need 50k. My enemies are after me. I'll give you back for 75k after I close the huge diamond deal. Wait, what? Um, Tinder swindler. No. <laughs> He almost had it. Logical Close, son. Today is International no. Women's Day. Supposed to be yesterday, but it took them too long to get ready. That was funny. Are you well? Touche. Are you well? 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 Are that needs to be on the sound bar. Are you well? Yeah. That, <laughs> that's, that's that was tough. And yo, she talked Chris's ear off after the show too, bro. Oh yeah, she What did. was that like, man? Oh uh, no, she was cool. She was like, I I don't I don't understand. Like, why do like why am I single? Why am I I'm like because Wait, you're... no, she has a boyfriend though. Who uh yo, it's so funny. Chris be con consoling these girls after the show. I'm like, bro. No, I mean close to you, bro. I'm out of here. No, I mean not consoling, but Straight look, at the end of the day, I'm I'm not an asshole. I understand. I talk as five years, so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> It's not a bad person, but it's like, bro, it's like, really? It's like, do you not get it? So I talk to them if they don't get it. But if you're being rude or disrespectful, like, <clears throat> I ain't going to say, uh, <coughs> pussy fruit, but I won't invite you back to the show. Oh, shit. As simple as that. It's like, listen, I don't mind you having different opinions, but if you're rude to the platform or whatnot, don't come the fuck back on. But I don't mind if you, like, sit here, if you're, you know, being, you know, whatever you want to be, but. Don't don't be rude. Chris, one question. What? Are you well? <laughs> <laughs> what I will start doing Wait, is I'm gonna count how many that? times uh Chris reminds everyone that he used to be a teacher. Uh, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> what? This guy what? at least like he's like a he's like a Muslim when it comes to that shit. At least five times right. a day he needed to let so, y'all niggas know that he right. used to be a teacher. Chad, Chad. <laughs> fucking guy, bro. Uh, Everybody in the chat dying because they know I'm telling the truth. Yo, 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 this Chris. Yo, yo, I used to be a teacher. I know what I'm doing. Chris, we're talking about we're talking about uh, you know fucking doing cameras. Uh, I know because I used to be a teacher. Okay. Uh, yo, Chris. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got to do this stuff on the no. show. Uh, yo, 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 let me do this because I, I used to be. A Teacher, okay, cool. Hey, yo, Chris, uh, yo, it could be anything, bro. This thing is always gonna say, I used to be a teacher every single time. What we'll go ahead, Chris. Yo, fresh and dealing with girls. I used to be a teacher. Let me talk to them. Chad, uh, you have to realize children and women are the same shit. No, the fuck we're not. They act like childish, you know. Oh my gosh, what the fuck are you talking nah, to me? Nigga. Sorry. And I'm like, look, listen, guys, you gotta understand. This is why we are number one podcast in Miami and fucking world with dating. I'm like, like, Tell me one thing, right? Most women, not all women, all right? This is why I'm able to have back-to-back -back concert shows on Monday through Friday. I get up every morning dealing with these girls. And listen, chat, fun and games, but hey, it's what it is, right? Yo, Mo, are you well? Fuck laughing. Stop it. Mo, Mo, Mo's dying. Bro. Mo's dying. No, because he knows. I could, yo, yo, I could be Byron saying, yo, Chris, I'm going to go rob the bank. He'd be like, yo, yo, nigga, let me drive. I used to be a teacher. Like, what? Like, what? what the fuck is going on here, bro? Mo is literally Because he knows. Because he knows. This nigga Chris, it could be something totally irrelevant. Hey, listen. Oh. I'm telling you right now. Look, he's gonna tell you right now. He used to be a teacher. Exactly. <laughs> How long were you a teacher for? Oh, no, 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 no. How long? For five years. He said five years. Oh, oh okay. Shit. I guess that counts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It so, uh, counts. So, uh, here's what we'll do, ladies. So, 
<laughs> Byron's <laughs> leaving right now. He like, nigga, you laugh a little too hard, right now. <laughs> Yo, Byron, we saw no. a, a new sign, generic, because so, he's worried that <laughs> we'll rock the show up here. He's gonna go catch a and heart attack. Ask questions, comments, anything we spoke about earlier, or last thoughts on the show. I will start uh, right here. So you are in the say what? Sorry. Say <laughs> yeah. Did you have any comments or last thoughts on the show? Uh, we'll start here. Um, I fuck with the vibe. I like that. You know, we definitely talked about different topics, and it's kind of cool to see how like everyone else views things differently. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's what it's all about. We're all not gonna agree. That's like human nature. Mm-hmm. Like, we're not. But I think it's definitely important to like see what people are saying. Like, even the conversation we got to like. At first, I was kind of getting annoyed, <laughs> but like that's because I was like listening from like a biased perspective. And then when I was like really thinking like more of what he was saying, like the probability versus translation, you got out of your feelings and started to accept reality a little bit that people yeah, aren't going to accept guess, you for your past. Yeah, but yeah, so it definitely like took me out of that, which I think is important for like you to learn is how to separate your emotions from like opinionated conversations. Okay, that's fair. Well, not opinionated. It's some. It's fact, bro. Like people are not are gonna judge you on your past. That's a fact. It's not an opinion. No, I'm talking about like like in general, like the different conversations of like like her opinion versus your fact. Like what you're saying. But that's the scary part. It's like I'm stating a fact, and they're giving an opinion. It ends there. Your opinion does not, Triumph. you know, measure up to a fact. Yeah. You know, and I think, I, I th- and this is the thing too, because we've we, we've had this discussion a million times. I'll say something that's a fact, and then a woman will say, well, that's just an opinion. Not really. It's a fact. You know, you can accept it or not, but that does not change the fact that it is a fact, and you don't have to like it, but it's the truth. And I think, uh, you know, okay, this is going to sound terrible, but I'm going to say it. A lot of girls live in a Disney fairy tale, bro. Like, real talk. Like, they just, oh, this is opinion, and everyone's opinion is valid. No, it is not. A lot of y'all are dumb. So, you know, and a lot of guys are dumb, too. The difference with guys is that if you're dumb as a dude, reality smacks you in the face and lets you know that you're dumb. You don't get girls, you're a bum, you're a loser. Like reality will reinforce your inadequacies. However, with a woman, you can be a dumb bimbo, but hot. Niggas ain't gonna tell you shit because they wanna get laid, bro. They'll you know tell what I'm saying? You what you wanna hear for the rest of your life until until that, yeah. I mean, we just literally plus. reacted to a video with it like Ben just literally showed it perfectly. Oh yeah, you're really cute, man. Oh yeah, you got me nervous. Like guys will say anything they gotta say to, to get laid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, some like that. You know, this is one of the few more? podcasts. The reason yeah, why this podcast more. is so shocking. To a lot of girls is because for one time you're hearing what guys really think and say in the locker room about y'all that you guys have probably never heard before yep. unfiltered raw you know and that's why so many girls like like knee-jerk reactions what the fuck this this goes against everything i've been told i've been told i'm a princess and i should be pedestalized or i'm a queen and it's on my instagram profile what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> asshole you misogynist pig <laughs> you know and it's like we come in and we say listen man you ain't that fucking special whoa and it's like, yeah, you're not. Like, we're not saying that we're special either. You know what I'm saying? Like, men are men, women are women. You guys want to go ahead and get, you know, the best that you can get. We want to get the most that we can get. It, it is what it is. We accept it. But I've always yeah. laughed at how, like, so many girls, man, that come on the show refuse to accept reality, bro. And they'll say it's a, an opinion. No, it's it's fact, bro. This is this is what it is. Law firms, 99, like 90 plus percent of the time are going to be like, yo, listen, bro. You were showing your butthole about 10 years ago. I don't know if we can do this. Okay, but there's a law firm down the street owned by some TikToker. You could go work for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't know. A, a, a lot of women tend to operate on it's possible instead of what's probable. And I think that's a very dangerous mindset to have. How because dare you? Because you're depending on the world to change to you, conform to you. And if you do that, then you're going to be very disappointed. It could be a rude awakening. It could be, yeah, very, very rude. Did you have anything else, though? I didn't want to, like, uh, no, no, yeah, like, just, like, saying, like, like that things like probable versus possible like yeah. that's just like a different perspective that i never really looked at life through so you know it's cool to like see it through someone else's eyes you know someone older and shit like that so you're older what about you so i'm losing my hair yes yeah. um i think that all the Fuck convers- you, Myron. all the conversations were respectful and i appreciate that Welcome back. Now you ladies have your own topics to discuss man god damn it, my heart it is, yeah, yeah it's been a rough two days <laughs> don't like them all what about you? Um, I always love the vibe here. It's real. I always say that. Um, it's fun. I like you guys. You're cool. Um, I actually was curious. I was thinking about this like yesterday for some reason. Um, are y'all gonna like start like vlogging? Are y'all gonna start doing that kind of thing? Fresh test I, yeah. vlogging. You do? Yeah. Chris, bring the vlog channel real quick. Yeah, sure. So just so you know, right? I was We're wondering about actually. it. We got, y'all do all this. Yeah. we got behind the scenes of what we do outside the studio. For example, when we travel to like New York for Flagrant or for Academics Podcast, when we uh, have regular shows, 
And we got yacht parties. It's pretty lit too. So check it out here on the vlog. Yacht party on 13, by the way. Oh, we got a yacht party this uh, Sunday, uh, I believe, for oh, spring shit. break. It's gonna be insane. Right, fresh. Who's this over here? Oh, this is cool. Is that Kiki? Nah. No, no. Oh. No, I mean. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so That's our daily lives we show for the most part, and then yeah. Okay, yeah, because I don't know why. I was just thinking about it. Like, y'all always take the videos behind the scenes, and we all, all the girls do it, so it just makes sense. But I didn't even know you had to that. To be fair, uh, someone's on Chris's uh, Instagram profile, and then uh, the rest is on the vlog. Yeah, yeah Twitch, Instagram, Twitch. yeah. Yeah, yeah they That's do it. Good. I don't. But yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, hey, man, you, you know, you can definitely get an insight as to how, mm -hmm. like, you know, all the behind scenes stuff, because a lot of people get mad. You guys start late every time, bro. I vlogged all, also... like, like, today, I, I vlogged uh, Chris Castle. Shit, you, and you guys, if you guys were there, you, you guys saw vlog? Chris? A vlog. Oh. Oh, uh, on uh, Twitch. Vlog. A vlog. A vlog. Same shit. I don't give a fuck. Anyways. All right. What about you? It was good vibes. Y'all cool. Y'all just be trying me. I'm gonna be trying you. I fuck with her. You said you want all the smoke, she, right? She mad cool. Bro, how do we try you? We ain't try you. Bro. Skrilla. Yo. You said you want all the smoke, right? Yeah, you yeah. said you want the smoke. Yeah. But y'all just be talking like I don't need I don't be wanting a thug ass nigga. Like that's not what I'm on no more. Like I don't be trying to do that, bro. But you 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 have face hats. Yeah. So what does that, that don't mean? mean nothing. Like, All right. Listen, white men are attracted attracted to bitches like a savvy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all still gotta understand what y'all put out to the world. Even though I don't give a damn, I'm just saying what y'all put out to the world is what the world's gonna receive you as. So yeah, that's that. But I fuck with you. You you hard to hit. Yeah. I would hang out with you. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, she, she's nice. Uh, she brought two friends here. One's got kicked out. The other one did not get kicked out. She did not get kicked out. What the um other one? Is her, is her, is her, move on. Come on. Is, is, hey, is, I see. I'm I, I'm call, I'm call how it is. I'm the fuck. I'm, no, I'm my right nigga, now. But uh, there's certain shit. No, because she's gonna what? still come back to the show. So I don't know why you're saying. No, that. no, no. Not her. Not her sister. What's going on here? Y'all oh. talking about the wrong they one. About the no, girl, the, the one who was there who fucking game late wasting my fucking time. Who? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Can chill out, bro. I ain't chilling out. Fuck that shit, man. <laughs> what the like, fuck? I, I, I ain't holding it back. If she came late as fuck, she came late as fuck. It's what it is. And she didn't me. I, I, I blocked well, her ass. Fuck that shit. To be fair, Chris is a teacher. So it makes sense. It's got to, you know, lay the wall down. Hey, lay down. Y'all niggas is going to detention. All of you motherfuckers. Referral and everything. I'm going to fuck, man. Wait, what are we talking? Oh, we talking about the girl that you kicked out? Yeah. Wait, what's the deal with that? What happened with that? The people probably want to know. No, you don't want to tell the people? The rant you just went on? Why I respect what I see. I won't do it on air, but it is what it is. Fuck her, right? Next. Damn, dude. I'm gonna fuck, man. Yo, she she damn me. She's like, oh, she's like, oh, Chris, you're mad disrespectful. And she waited outside in the hallway to, to tell me, piece of mind. I'm like, you know what? We're live. I'm like, uh, later on, if you want to tell me. And then afterwards, she was like, yo, you're a mad disrespectful. I'm like, block. The fuck? <laughs> like, I gave you the opportunity to come on to the, the podcast. You came late. I what if you out of respect, uh, Skrilla and Icy, and you had the audacity to DM me after the show and talk shit. All right. Next. Well, I will tell you this. Oh, that fuck. girl. <laughs> oh, shoot, bitch. Oh, I'm yeah. fuck, man. So who Yo. cares? Who cares what she thinks? Yo, Twitch knows. I'm gonna fuck. Hey, man. If you don't care about what you put in your body, we don't care if you're on the show. Let's fuck out of here. So <laughs> oh, I will say I love my black queens. Anyhow. Well, we, thought, we, we didn't even go there. We you this still. nigga, bro. Yeah. We didn't know what she was. All right. I thought she was a uh, Hispanic. Oh. Okay, I, I, man. I don't know. She's not Spanish at all. I don't know what she is. <laughs> So would y'all date down or no? Mm. Date down. And why? Question. So would you date below your income, Myron Gaines? <laughs> is that is that the question specifically uh, from socioeconomically? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if the whole. I gotta make sure I clarify Listen, the goddamn question. She could because because she meant, she could mean height. She could work at Wendy's. As far as money, like yeah, she makes course. less than McDonald's. You. Of course, what the fuck men don't care about women's CVS. money. CVS. That's not for everybody though. That's not, that's a general statement. Okay. Um, we got some higher earners in the building. Uh, okay. Fresh, do you give a fuck about how much money your girl makes? Of course not. <laughs> ben, do you give a fuck about how much money your girl makes? My girl? Or, well, the woman that you deal with sexually, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I care about how much she makes. I mean, not how much she makes, but I care about like 
her having money versus being a broke ass girl that can't get her own Uber. Like yeah. I'm, I'm at the yeah, airport. Yeah. Can you get me an Uber? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? If you don't bring you, you ain't got twenty two dollars to get your ass from the airport. <laughs> like I'll give you the money. And no, I don't have the app. You got the app, bitch. So yeah. I'm saying, okay, so so you have an issue with it when it inconveniences you. But my point is that if she has money yeah. or not, are you gonna I, still fuck with her? I don't give a fuck. If she got two hundred dollars in her bank. Okay, and like yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. If she you, you have an issue with it when her poverty starts to impede on your life. Yeah, just right. super poverty is different. Than like <laughs> super <laughs> poverty is like it's overbearing, bro. Like you got a gun on with that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So it, it's not gonna disqualify her. It's just that it's gonna annoy you. Okay. It, ever. Chris, what about you? Do you give a fuck about how much money a girl make? Uh, not really, man. Just be compliant and just be there, man. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, I'll pay for everything. I'll take you out. Like, like, why? Why should I care about your money? Because your money is your money. You know Yo, saying? detox. Do you care about how much money a girl makes? Absolutely. You do? Yeah. Oh shit, we got an anomaly in the house. Mm-hmm. Well, why? Why do you care? Tell the people. You need to be on my same level. Oh, you need a girl that makes as much money as you? Absolutely. So okay. let's say I'm a doctor, right? Uh-huh. I'm not trying to date a female who works at Wendy's. Oh, okay. How old are you? Wait, even How? if she bad? Come on. Yo, you can't now, man. Hey, even what? if she bad? Damn. Come on, bro. How old are you? I just want to know. I'm up there. I'm OG. Yeah, see, them all the niggas don't be caring. They're like, bitch, I knew you had some money. You <laughs> come around with that broke ass shit. Yeah. Bro, you know, but, Detox, you've definitely dated some chicks that are bad that are broke. Come on, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> man, man, that's nigga, bro. Man, life is a cycle, man. Right now. having the baddies around him. I'm like, yo, yeah. I'm like, come on, man. Like, this, I'm the cap, nigga. This, yeah. this, yo. <laughs> yo, he be detoxing them. Hey, that's great, though. <laughs> yo, he t- yo, he's still running game right now. Yeah, we have to turn it off for a second. Yeah, he's like, yo, it's yo, a bitch watching, nigga. Yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like your career, girl. <laughs> uh, girl, girl. But, like, uh, so there you go. Uh, a lot of guys, deep down, it's it's not going to disqualify a woman like it would for a man versus a guy that's broke is going to disqualify him. And some guys will say that, that that's an issue in terms of like, okay, you know what? I want to go with money, but let's be real here. It's saying that because she has money and he may want to get laid. So he'll tell her what she wants to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I'm keeping it up. Yeah. At the end of so the day, niggas don't care. Yeah. So it's, it's not, it, I think the biggest takeaway is that it's not going to disqualify you from meeting higher caliber men. Yeah. Your income status is not going to disqualify you. Okay. So being a guy who makes a large sum of money, yeah. if you're with a girl and you're, dating down Mm -hmm. and obviously you know it's your girl your female you're taking her out you're doing these things that you that you want to do whatever so do you put restraints on things that she can and cannot do because you make more money than her like well have boundaries and standards okay that's that's one thing but as far as like you can't go do this you can't do that she can do whatever she wants yeah but she ain't gonna have a boyfriend if she does certain things that's fine okay so you just have standards yeah yeah of course like here's the here's the thing i look at it like Women want a man that's successful, makes money and shape, etc. That takes discipline, correct? Correct. Okay. So I want a girl to exercise discipline, not being a hoe. Okay. Same shit. Because no, of course that's fair. at the end of the day, I know my name carries some weight. So if she goes out and acts a fool, they're not going to say fucking, you know, she's acting crazy by her first name. They're going to say, yo, that's Myron's girl acting crazy. Right. So that makes me look bad as well as her. Okay. So I got to protect me and my name and i can't have her acting crazy so if she and that's what comes with it so if you want to be with me that's what comes you know you got to listen to you got to adhere to my rules you know what i'm saying you want to be elevated to vice president you got to do vice president shit and you have more responsibilities um to protect the the brand the the company which is my company with women only operate correctly when they're in a subordinate position not the other way around men men have to lead and the woman's got to follow Okay. But you gotta you gotta be worth something worth following, and you that happens by you having boundaries and standards so that she respects where she's at. But if you let a girl walk all over you and do all this bullshit that we let girls get away with, girls trips out, you know, going out talking to multiple guys and doing all this other fuck shit, it puts you in a bad predicament as a man. I uh I, I agree ahead. with you a little bit on that, bro. But like, I'm kind of different. So like I'm the type of nigga I'll send my girl on a on a trip with like her girls and they all have fun, like. I've done that before. I done spent ten, twenty thousand dollars so y'all go have fun. Oh, but I know, but I know the type of girl I'm dealing with because I can go on her phone anytime I want. Like I don't mm-hmm. care about that type of shit. Like I, if the only time niggas be like that is when they think that girl might be easy. You know what I'm saying? And if and I don't, bro, I don't have. If she want to fuck up this situation, that's on her. You dealing with a million dollar nigga and who who down to earth got a good personality, all that. If you want to fuck that up. By all means, the, the shit gonna come to light one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, to me, so, I look at so, it like so, I mitigate risk, bro. So, so like so I'm man, not even gonna. So man, you're telling me so you... you would send your girl on a girls trip, yeah. 10k spent. Once she goes to like Cancun, meet some dude that like got money as well. Send her to Bahamas. 
Well, that you, too. You gotta be. You, I think. I, I really think any nigga bitch can get hit at the end of the day. That's, that's so what I'm you saying. gotta understand if that's your girl, y'all need you need to have an understanding. You you just like you just don't you think that there's a good chance that she might do some other shit. I don't. I could sleep good and I think knowing my girl ain't on no bullshit. And if she is, it's gonna eventually come to light. I'm not gonna lose no sleep behind that. But mm. why why enable that? Like put her in. You don't position. enable it, nigga. Oh. You it's don't life, it? though. It's life That's not living. fair. Right. That's if, you not fair. There, if you sitting there worried about every fucking move she make, you're not gonna be a. Uh, you're not gonna be stable within yourself. Why be in a relationship? But that's like, that's that's, that's the key, man. Is that you shouldn't have to. That's the thing. Like she should never even put you in a position where you exactly. can even think about it. But she that's, don't, she's but that's not what I'm saying. About that. She's gonna have a good time. Like nah. she really going you to said, have a good time. We gonna disagree on that shit. I'm not funding on. I'm not funding my girl to go out and do dumb shit that could potentially put their relationship in a predicament. That's like me putting my uh, Lamborghini in the hood, paying for it to be there in the hood, knowing that it's in a situation where it can easily get broken into. Despite the fact that the locks and the mechanisms could be top tier security, I don't trust the people around the car. That's because you not you don't really mm-hmm. understand you don't really understand like who you dealing with as that person. Yeah. My girl, my girl done had every nigga from so and so to so and so on her DMs. She not even on that type of time, nor does she give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it. I've, I she don't have a, the password to my phone, but I got the password to her phone. She don't she give me her phone all the damn time carelessly. Like I don't like I'm not on that type of time, and she. Give me the right energy to know to I could be secure with all my shit. And if she want to be a sleeve ball, then that's gonna come to light eventually, bro. But being scary as hell and be like, oh, I don't want my bitch to do this, dead and the third. You gonna push her to do some shit. You literally gonna do oh, it. No, 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 no. You ain't. Here's the thing. That's why. That's why I'm, that's what I'm saying. She, she do it anyway. It's, it's very a simple thing, bro. Right. It's very simple. Like if if she could do whatever she wants. Yeah. But if a girl truly likes and respects you, she's gonna have the fear in God to not fuck up. Exactly. And that's what I always say. She can't exactly. be, but, but she can't be comfortable to the point where she wants to go on a girl's trip that you already lost. She that like, even, if, wait, listen, listen, even if she goes on a girl's trip, it's not necessarily meaning they're gonna go get drunk and they're gonna go get drinks. They could, they have, there's other events to do in no. places. Hold on, they they all the time, all the time. Hold on, every nigga in here need to stop the cap because all y'all niggas have been on vacation and everything and try to get with a bitch and she ain't give you no ass. I don't give a fuck how drunk the bitch is. No, I'm not. I'm going like don't act like you just gonna fuck the bitch because Listen. you on a fucking vacation. She was on a girl. Fresh, I know damn well a lot of bitches don't like black ass niggas. You black as hell. <laughs> you're not just gonna go for that, so, bro. I'm so, telling you. So I'll say this. For all the times she curved niggas, I'm telling you, bro. I'm on his side. It takes just one time but she's lit. She's in the mood. Her friends are gone. Yo, girl. Things happen. Yo, girl. But this is what I don't know. Niggas, 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 niggas. Because if that's really your bitch, she won't. She will be on point. Bro, Even exactly. if she gets a little bro. lit, she will be on bro. point. If that's truly your bitch. Do you bitch. know how many niggas girls we be Come fucking? On, bro. Nighttime, bro. That's yeah. Oh, I'm a ghost. Bro, I've been no. up here 12 years, bro. I done seen ben, everything, you, bro. Ben, you should know how I girls do know. Bro. Exactly. So you know my girl. always a little exception to the rule. So up in a scenario, it's dumb. Myron, no, what's your issue though bro. with the okay, girls trip? Wait, hold on, hold on. One mic at a time. Go, uh, go, go. What's your issue with the girls trip? Because she could cheat just at, she could cheat at home just as much as you could cheat Easily. on a vacation. Mm-hmm. Like she could literally say, "Yo, I'm going over to the fucking grocery store." She could go cheat right then. Why? Exactly. What's we your a- issue with the girls trip? Mm-hmm. Because that's just an example. Yeah. But what yeah, I'm saying is that niggas go out. Huh. Like, if she's gonna cheat, she's gonna cheat. How is it not the same? That's 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 a terrible argument. So, okay, everyone (laughs) is coming here. Number one, so let me address a couple things here. Number one, uh, Ben, that's your opinion, but that, yeah, that is sure. not that is not advice conducive to most guys' success because, exactly. yeah, yeah, because that, that's going to lead most guys astray. Yeah. The only thing you could trust women to be is be women. And what does that mean? Girls just want to have fun, and that might come at your um, detriment to some degree yeah. where she's out doing a girl's trip, whatever. Funding your girl's trip to put herself in a situation <laughs> where infidelity is almost in, 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 uh, you know, a high likelihood, it's just not intelligent and a good re- use of your money. Now, that's my opinion on it, and I would tell most guys that's not a good move for you. If you're Me able too. to do it, fantastic. But let's be honest, most guys aren't able to do it. Exactly. That. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't advise in, a lot of niggas to do it. Yeah. But I, certain I niggas, bro, I could tell you, like, certain niggas can send their bitch anywhere, and it's not gonna happen, bro. They not gonna fuck up their situation. It's a yeah. possibility, Top, but like, regardless, but bro, that yeah. risk, though. Yeah. Like, why like, why take the risk? Take the risk, bro. If you're dealing with a bitch, you gonna go off. She gonna go off regardless. It yeah, don't matter exactly. what you do, bro. That That's is what true. you don't understand. You keep talking. Like, I'm not trying to get into all that, but you keep acting like the girl's trip or this or that is going to make her fuck off. She's going to fuck off regardless. Exactly. Regardless. Okay. And then when that's you ask but, but here's the thing. But that's what I'm trying to Come say on. is yeah. that 
she's if she really rocks with you and fucks with you, she's not gonna go on the girls' trip. Facts. That's what I'm trying to say. You already lost by her going on the girls' trip. I sent them on the motherfucker. No, man. I, I mean, <laughs> I know what's going on. Like, I, I mean, you can rationalize it how you want, bro. But if she's going on the girls' trip, that's an L in itself. That's an L in itself. When a girl truly loves, admires you, and respects you, she, everyone else is invisible to her. She don't give a fuck about no other dudes. She don't want to be out in situations that's going to put her in her bad spot. She's going to do her best, damn near best, to be uh, a wifey. And she's going to audition and try to get the job. And get a part of getting the job is not doing thought activities like going on girls' night trips out. Like, if a girl even proposes that, it's the beginning of the end. And I my mean, thing is, like, we could say, oh, you know, don't be controlling whatever. I'm just saying I have boundaries and standards. My standards and boundaries might be a little bit higher than other guys, but I hold myself to certain standards. So if you want to take, you want to be my girl with that label, I'm going to hold you to the highest standard. You could do whatever you want, but I'm not going to tolerate you going on girl trips out, putting yourself in certain situations. And I think most guys need to move like that because the thing is this, we can sit here and talk about women that are anomaly and they're not going to look at other guys and all the other shit, <laughs> but why invite potential chaos into your relationship that doesn't need to be in there? I'm all about risk mitigation, if she gonna not fuck, risk she enhancement gonna for no reason. That's true. If she gonna fuck, she gonna fuck. But then at that point, you should have already been betting her out. I'm not paying for it. That that I'm damn near not funding it. That, that bitch gonna have to go broke so to try to cheat your, on me. Are we talking about random bitches? Or are we talking about your girl? Like We're talking about like, your girl. Yeah, they, your girl. So what the fuck are we talking about? Why are you with her if you think she's gonna cheat Bro, on exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. If you're with any, her, no. As soon Bro. as she, that's what I'm saying. If she mentions, oh, girl's trip, it's it's a wrap. She didn't mention it. I sent on it because I didn't want to go on the fucking trip. I had other shit going on. So I'm gonna take care of y'all. That's what ball shit. You know what I'm saying? That's ball shit. Bro, I'm not worried about her fucking off with no nothing, nigga, none of that. And if she do, that's gonna it's gonna come to light eventually. And she fucking herself up. So I'm not gonna lose an ounce of sleep or stress or none of that. Worrying about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just me, bro. I wouldn't advise a lot of people to do that. A lot of people can't even send their girls on vacation. First of all, they can't even send their self on vacation. <laughs> so for me, my girl said she want she she wanted to go to Bahamas for her, for her uh for her birthday. Bet I'm gonna make sure it happened. I'm gonna take care of everything. I got everything set up. Boom. You ain't gotta worry about that. We got we got people to take care of that. But ben. as far as like me worrying about her going be, getting drunk and fuck with some nigga, ben. bro, it just is not bro. in the game. You're a bro. better man than me because I can. Never yeah, I ain't doing that shit. I don't advise guys, guys, bro. I don't advise guys, guys do that. More, I got way much, bro. I don't been That's I don't been in this confidence. game for twelve years, bro. Like I trust me, I I've been there, done that. Like I understand how people work. I'm a comedian, bro. I be on stage in front of this is different. I be on stage in front of thousands of people, like talking. You have to understand how people mind work, bro. And you'll get that vibe even when you hollering at your girl. You understand what she go for and what she don't go for. I, see, I literally been on my girl phone. She don't even go on her DM. And it be every ball player, athlete, celebrity you could think of. And it just don't matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just don't matter. It doesn't come, matter now. I've come to realize <laughs> everyone has a price. It may not be money, but it could be something yeah. that you don't have that they got. And look, I'm not saying every girl. I'm I just saying it. for the most part, everybody got it. price. There's been bitches you try to get in. She's not going to go because she got a nigga. And she don't even want to hear that shit. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it might not be us, but it'll be somebody else. <laughs> Well, if you live like that, then you don't never need to get in a relationship and just be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I feel that for sure. Yeah, we, like, if you can't trust it. me, why are you well, with well, me? Well, we're playing the game, but we understand also how women no. operate. And we're not going to put ourselves. Yo, we, we, here's the thing, bro. We teach guys how to put themselves in a position where girls aren't going to finesse them. And a lot of the times yeah. you got to be on defense and you got to have boundaries and standards that limit the thottery, bro. Because yeah. we live in a world now where no one tells women no. Like, they, they, oh, I should be able to do whatever I want. I should be able to, able to do a girl's trip. I should be able to have guys on Instagram. I should be able to DM niggas. I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want. You should be insecure and accept it. Fuck no. Nah, we exactly. tell guys, don't accept that shit. I mean, if you want to send your girl on a trip, that's cool. But for 99% of dudes, that is destructive advice. That it is, is not going to serve them. I agree. I just them. said that. And my girl, you, you got to understand, it's some shit, a lot of shit that's just not happening. You know what I'm saying? And that's understood. All that shit be set and, and cut in stone at the beginning. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Flex. And anything that happens along the way, it get nipped in the bud right there and we don't got to speak on it no more. Because if it happened again, then that's your ass. And they understand that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna sit here and lose sleep about what she got going on every single yeah, move. Yeah, but let's say she said, does sign, does sign, bro. You've invested into a relationship. You've de- you're 10K down bro, now. And she we does millionaires. We millionaires, bro. Yeah, that's true. I spend 10K on weed and fucking, like, bullshit, bro. Like, who cares? Like, it's 10K. You make sure you took care of your girl. If this your girl, I'm not spending this on a random bitch. This yeah, is your but it's, girl. Yeah, but it's the principle, man. Like, I, I would have, I, like, me personally, I, I would have a serious point of contention investing 10K 
into my girl doing some thotty behavior that's gonna make me look dumb, look hurt, make her look dumb, and I invested time and money and effort. I gotta put that shit in the stock market or crypto. Or you made her super happy and you you took care of everything she, she wanted for. But she cheated. But that's hypothetical. That's, that's hypothetical not true. That's not real. So, and that's, that's thinking the, the glass That's like me saying every like. Term. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nah. So my threshold for a woman cheating is less than what normal guys think. If a girl entertains another dude, that's cheating in my in my eyes. And that's how most guys should view it too, because men and women are not the same. The threshold for sex is for women is far easier. Therefore, since the threshold to get sex is easier, the threshold for cheating is also easier. Everything works in tandem together. Okay? Men and women are not the same. There's a reason why women have post 60 pictures of themselves, dress a certain way when they go to clubs, etc. You guys aren't out here approaching niggas. We gotta talk to you. So therefore, the rules are not the same between us. Me entertaining a woman and you entertaining a woman are not uh, uh, me entertaining a woman and you entertaining a man are completely different if you put yourself in a position where men are even able to approach you and or uh try to uh be a potential suitor that is cheating i don't care what anyone says women want a traditional man that's going to sit there and be willing to die and protect them they need to protect their goddamn integrity and not put themselves in compromising positions to that same security that they're trying to get from that guy my thing is this i'm an advocate of guys being masculine being dominant leaders etc but leading by example and having standards and not letting their woman walk all over them if you want to be single be single but you're not going to have me in the background as a placeholder watching your fucking dog looking like a dummy while you're going out to vacation destinations, <laughs> fucking other guys and or potentially uh, uh, getting other suitors. It's ridiculous that we allow this shit to fly in the Western world and we wonder why relationships are in the tank, uh, in the fucking dump. We wonder why the nuclear family is gone. We wonder why the divorce rates are high. We wonder why the marriage rates are low. We wonder why the birth rates are low. This is all because of feminism and allowing women to be liberated. Yes, they're liberated, but they're liberated from family and being good women that are traditional. And here's the thing. I'm not sitting here saying I'm a saint, I'm a perfect guy, whatever. I've had a, sex with a bunch of chicks. I get it. But here's the thing. We teach guys how to adapt to the new sexual marketplace. Women have changed. Men have to change with it. I'm not playing by the old set of rules. I'm not being a traditional nice guy, gentlemen, because women are no longer traditional. Girls nowadays run around, nigga, what you gonna do for me? Oh, cool. You want to play by this new set of rules, 2022? I'll play 2022 rules too. I'm not going to put myself in a position where I can allow you to finesse me and or uh, have other guys and entertain other men that's going to make me look stupid because I put some value in my name. I'm not going to allow that shit. If you want to be a single girl, fantastic. You're going to be single, but I'll be damn fucking, I'll be dead before I allow a woman to fucking embarrass me in public because I know my name has some merit to it. And when they go and make fun of her, dancing, twerking on a nigga, looking like an idiot, blah, 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 they're not going to refer to her by her name. They're going to say, that's Myron Gaines, girl. No, I'm not allowing it. And I want every single guy to have that same goddamn respect for themselves. I'm not allowing a chick to act like she's single when she has my name attached to her. Fuck out of here. That's I right. want everyone to stand on their fucking ten toes down and tell these bitches, you will not do that if you're with me. If you want to do that, cool. But I have some goddamn pride. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to let girls have their cake and eat it too when they want to be with me. That's why I take my commitment extremely seriously. I'm not fun no goddamn trips. I'm not going to put you in a precarious <laughs> situation that's going to fuck up the trip, uh, fuck up the relationship. And no, it's just not happening. Now, Ben, I get it. That's your take on it, yeah. but I think yeah. for me, so, that's extremely yeah, I mean, destructive advice for most men that can't do it. Exactly. So would you go on guys' and, trips? And, and, and most that's men and women are not the same. They're not the same. So if you I go on a guy trip, a guy to go on a Ladies, on a listen, men and women are the same. We're not the same. We don't even need to like, get Stop that. phrasing that way. And we're not the same. Here's the thing. I can be in a relationship with a girl, love that girl, go fuck another bitch and come back to my wife like nothing happened. Men and women love differently and we view sex differently too. So that makes it okay? Absolutely. That makes it okay for you to yes. go cheat on me? Yes. Fuck no. You know, it's That's okay for me. Uh, here's up. the thing. That's well, here's here's the thing. Up. It's not cheating if I tell you up front I'm not going to be monogamous to you. That's a different yeah. story. That's a different though. relationship. Yeah. You can't that's, say that. That's a different relationship. I'm, that's I'm not saying. a me and you relationship. That's a me, you, and then you can go fuck whoever. That's, you feel me? Like, yeah. for all of that, we could just be fuck buddies. Like, cool. I'm, talking about, with I'm, that, talking about, I'm talking about, my question to you was yeah. about, like, couples like a relation like a person you would want to share your life with like you don't try you don't let her go out you don't let her go out on no trips because you don't trust her she could do what she wants she's not gonna be she's gonna be single she come back though. i i trust here's the thing i trust women to be women but that's not fair to the, be so generic like uh, that. You can't be like fair. you can't be like every bitch is a cheater. But then I when you that. But then be know that you basically did though. Like no, 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 I, no. With, I said I could trust women to be women. And what are women? Women are creatures that don't have the same emotions day to day. Your emotions change and fluctuate at different times. They're emotionally driven. And guess what's the problem with emotions? They're erratic and not and uh not normalized. So you could feel a certain way on a certain day. Go off of your emotions, make a terrible mistake, come back and say, oh, my God, I just, it just made me feel a certain way. And now who's got to deal with the bullshit? I do. And my thing is this. I understand women go with the wind. 
their followers and they're not leaders and they're going to go off of what their girls do, which is why I also tell guys, if your girl hangs out with hoes, that's a problem because women are followers, hive minded creatures. So if you hang out with a bunch of thotties, four thotties, you're going to be the fifth, even if you're with a guy and you're Thanks. married, because they're going to influence you to do fuck shit. Single women keep single women uh, single perpetually. Now you might not like that's what nice. I'm telling you, but this is the truth. I just personally feel like you paint women almost like like we're bimbos like we're stupid like it's just a sex object sort of deal like there are intelligent women out there there are women who are going to take an account oh like you don't like we were talking about the six figures thing the money thing yeah. like there are women who are going to go out and go out and have a good time with their friends like it's my birthday i just turned 21 i want to go out i want to go out have a good time whatever but i'm not going out to go fuck nobody i'm not going out to go entertain no nobody like that's not the point the point is I'm young. I want to go see the world. I want to travel. I want to do things. I want to live my life. My life don't stop because of this relationship, period. I'm going to go live my life. I'm going to go have experiences, go all of life. that. Nobody said you can't do see, it. Yeah, this but is... you're saying you can't have both. You're saying you can't have a relationship and also ha have a life, basically. See, well, here's the thing. Yeah, if we have kids, fuck your life. Because if I we have kids, hold on, let kids. me finish. If we have kids, fuck your life, fuck your personal experiences, because it's about sacrifice. This is the problem. We live in a world now where it prioritizes female hedonism over family and duty. Happiness. If you want to get into a relationship, guess what happens? You're now auditioning to be a fucking wife. And the whole purpose of being a wife is having children. The children come first, not you and your personal pleasures, traveling the world, being a thotty, going to the club, living life, etc. This is what we poison young women with nowadays and tell them your happiness comes first. And this is why we have high divorce rates, this is why we have marriage rates that are in the plummet, etc. Women are liberated, all right, and that's fine. But who suffers the most from it? Actually, women, because y'all go ahead, want to be thotties in your 20s, give away your best years, whatever it may be, and then you want to travel the world, do all this extra shit, come in at 30, think there's going to be a, a nice shining army waiting there to save you. No. That guy that you've been wanting all your life, he's going to go with the younger, hotter, tighter girl. And that's the way it is because it's biology. So my thing is this. You have a choice to make. You can go ahead and travel the world, have your fun, etc. Go get your education. That's fantastic. Go ahead. But. I will be lying to you if I told you you're going to have that lifestyle and then still have a guy at the end of the tunnel waiting for you to take you serious, to marry you and have a family with you because men don't like depreciating assets and we don't want to pay full price for a car that's used. I don't make the rules. I just report them. Men have a big stake in a woman's past. That's just how it is. Just like you have a big stake in a man's earning potential, his height, his ability to provide uh, security. A man has a big stake in you being able to provide security that the kids are his in the future, which is contingent upon your past. And a lot of modern day women don't like to hear this. It's the truth. You want a man with a future? I want a woman that doesn't have a past. And this is how 99% of women, men feel. Lil Dirk went on a million dollars a game yesterday and said he wiped up Asia. Why? Because she doesn't have a high body count. Women all over the place. That's fucked up. That's ridiculous. So wait, Sorry. hold on. Let's get this straight. This man busts his ass, living in Chicago, almost getting killed several times, mm -hmm. gang war, etc. becomes a multimillionaire, is a rapper, went through and dealt with a bunch of adversity. And he simply requires his girl don't have a high body count, which, by the way, is in her control. Yeah. And the whole world, oh, you toxic asshole. How Why is you? it that male preferences are demonized, but women preferences are always put to the front? Their always. hedonism, I want to live my life, blah, blah, blah. You can live your <laughs> life, but you might miss the opportunity to live your life with a husband and kids. And that's all I want women to know is that you cannot have your cake and eat it too 99% of the time. Now, can it be done? Yeah, it can be, but not all the time. Go ahead. I was going to say, when I say live my life, Obviously, like I was talking about, live my life as far as like, you know, just experience different things as far as like, I don't know, like fucking eating a new eating in something I never ate before. That's what I mean. I'm not talking about fucking this person, fucking that person, talking to this person, talking to that person. That's not what I mean. But what I'm asking from you, since you just said that and you just spoke your your truth. Like, so you're I spoke saying the truth. there is no your truth. No, your truth, because I believe it's a gen. It, I believe that that's your opinion and that's OK. And I feel like I have what my did opinion. I say that was not true. That is opinionated. I told you how men generally think. You said about how women basically. I'm sorry. I'm blacking a little bit. Yeah, gotcha. You yeah. stupid. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Chris. Shot in there with India. Too, I yeah. mean, here, here, like I said, you could do what you want. That's what I'm saying. You said women but can do what they want. Can, but they, they can do what they want. They but can't have for a every, the husband. For every action, there's a reaction. Right. So what you're so let me let me just twist it a bit so you understand. Can I go ahead and smoke pot, live with my mom, not really have ambition, not make money, etc., not go to the gym, etc., and they go ahead and say I want a bad bitch? The answer is nope. And actually, you would laugh at me if I said that, correct? 
I think your extremities, your extremities of what you just said are different. Like I'm talking but about hold on. Just it makes, but this is the like, thing. Men and women are different. I'm trying to explain to you. You would look at me like I was delusional. If I told you I'm going to sit with my mom, smoke pot, be a loser. And I want a bad bitch. Would you consider okay, that yeah, delusional? Of course. Okay. So why do we have women to run around having sex in their youth? Doing all this fuck shit and thinking that there's going to be a good man waiting Nobody for them at the end. Nobody said anything about having sex, though. I said living life. I said trying different things. Nobody said anything about yeah, sex. Yeah, but most as women want to live life just find food, though. Like living life meaning so go around good. girls trip, but, sucking and dick. And that's cool, but that's not everybody's prerogative. That's what I'm. That's the, the point that I'm trying to make. See, but see, you can't thing, say right? that's every girl's most thing. Most men yes. don't look to see what's really happening. They just assume, you know what? She's doing these things. All right, in my head, this is what's happening, and yeah. as a result. They react to it, and you know what? I'm just gonna fuck her, treat her a little bit good, and then dick when I'm ready. I'm and sorry. Never, I'm, you, you, of you, course, people will I'm do that. Miami. You, I already you know. Never, you would never even know because once again, the action that you, that you uh, show him may not even be that bad. But he's gonna perceive it as you know what? Damn, I thought she was a good girl. She's going out, getting lit, and like I don't know, I don't know what's happening. So to protect myself, I'm just gonna. Play, play my part and then just do it. It's the same exact example. A bunch of guys asked earlier, I'm a blue collar worker. Do you think I could still get a woman if I make, uh, you know, uh, if I'm just a blue collar worker, but I make a hundred grand a year? Some girls aren't even going to bother. Wait, you're a police officer? Oh, wait, you're a firefighter? Uh, nah, I'm good, bro. Exactly. Even though that guy makes quarter million a year, they don't know yeah. it. What did they do? They judge the book by its cover. Yep. Guess what? Men do the same shit. Hey, you live the city girl lifestyle. You did all this shit. Hell, you could be on OnlyFans. Didn't fuck nobody. But what's he going to assume? You're a hoe anyway. And I'm not taking you serious. Right. So would image you is prefer... very important. So. Would you per like for you personally? Would you want your girl to just stay home and do nothing then? Like, what would you? What would be for yeah, you? Because yeah. you're confusing me. Like, I, don't I, live I, life. I can speak don't for go myself. Out. Remember, going back to the cheating thing. Like I told you, me personally, I tell girls all the time, I'm not gonna be monogamous to you. However, most guys are not gonna afford you that transparency. They're gonna tell you you're the only one. But guess what? Facts. If he's tall and he's good looking and he has money, he's fucking other bitches, and that's an uncomfortable reality a lot of women can't accept. Men are only as faithful as their options. I say bad things about men. And women. Give a dude a blue check, $2 million and a Lamborghini, he's fucking some girls, regardless of how much he loves you. Fresh. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Men and women love differently. <laughs> Men are okay with having, with, they can love their wife the same and go fuck a girl. However, it doesn't work the other way around. If a woman loves her man, she ain't fucking nobody else. Everyone else is virtually visible to her. And if a woman fucks another guy and she's in a relationship with you, it's a wrap. She's been checked out. That's what I'm trying to say. We don't play by the same set of rules because you guys don't have sex the same way we do. You guys have sex for emotion. We just have sex for physicality. So therefore, we don't. We, we cannot use the same types of parameters to define what cheating is, what a relationship is, blah blah blah. Because we live different sexual realities. Women love uh, live a sexual reality of abundance, regardless of how they look, they behave, or anything. Men have to earn that sexual abundance from their success and you know uh, aptitude in life. Men must create their value. Women must preserve theirs. So why do I have to bust my ass and become a self-made millionaire? Right. And then use the rules of a trust fund, baby. And that's what women want. Well, I'm a, uh, we're, we're equal. No, we're not. You inherited your value. I had to create my value. We don't play by the same set of rules. I have a question for you. you yeah, know. sure. Go ahead. So let's say, right. I'm, a, I'm for example, like there's a group of guys, right? Let's say five group of guys. One of them is one of them is in a relationship, but the other four, they all got they all got a person. And they want to go on a guy's trip. Do you think that that one, that one nigga that is with, with someone is going to go or no? Like, do you think it's right? Because if if, 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 if I'm if I'm with, with, with a nigga and then everyone around me is single and I go on a trip, then you would assume, all right, yeah, she about to be on some whole shit because that's what her bitches are on. So yeah. for a girl, like, do you think it's fair if we're like, oh, he going on a guy's trip, all his single friends, and he's with me, now nah, he gonna go fuck? All right, do you I think don't think you're valid? gonna like this, but I'm just gonna say, I think women just need to be comfortable with the fact that men are always going to have sex and or potentially cheat on them if the opportunity presents itself. So what you should do is just set yourself up in a, up in a spot where welcome the che welcome the, the him having options and just accept it. And the more money the guy makes, the more attractive is he is. You said you like attractive men, right? Yeah, but I okay, also be prepared don't to care about, then. But I don't, I don't like... Okay, but I look good too. But I like what, what I'm trying to say is Here's that there, like, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Supply and demand. Are there more beautiful women or more beautiful men? I mean, we don't really know that for sure. The cause... answer is there's more beautiful women. Yep. So since there are more beautiful women, supply and demand, who has the leverage? Okay. The I... beautiful men, because there's not a lot of attractive men. However, there's a bunch of baddies all over the place. Look around Miami, you're going to see them, but there's not that many good looking guys. So here's the problem. You're going to be a victim of your own taste. You want a guy that's attractive? 
that looks good physically, more than likely, other women are going to find him attractive too. You're going to have to share him sexually. But like, that means that, but I would make sure that I trusted that person and that person was going to be loyal. Like, at the end of the day, I feel like everybody's, if you're with with someone that you want to marry or whatever the fuck it it is that you want to do with that person long term, then you have to be able to trust them. If not, then what is the, literally what is the point of even Just like I said, you could trust a woman to be a woman. You could trust a man to be a man. He's going to exercise options given the ability to do so. So what I'm saying is I'm preparing you. If you want an attractive man, more than likely, he's going to fuck a bitch at some point. So you just need to be ready for it. So, so are you basically warning both sides? Like if you're fucking with a beautiful, with a beautiful girl, be careful. And if you're, if you're a girl fucking with a beautiful guy, be careful. No, because if you're with a beautiful woman and you're the best that she can get, she's going to stay fiercely loyal to you. Mm, and but, women show so, so then that means me, so you're so are, are you I'm, I'm just asking that yeah so sure me. so are you saying that like a girl can't be the most ideal for a nigga ever okay here's uncomfortable you ain't gonna like this but you are never gonna sat- sexually satisfy a man by yourself ever thanks i don't care how good you look you will never be able to do it and the reason why is because men like variety you're yeah, in the porn but- industry right yeah okay so when they do threesomes or whatever else like that how important is it to have variety in the models as far as like looks, et cetera? How many genres of women are there? I mean, there's plenty. Okay. They got, they got Asian, Ginger, Asian. yeah, BBWs, okay. Pogs. Um, Girl Next Door, Pogs, um, Teenage, MILF. They got hella. Fantastic. Now, are there that many genres for men? Probably not. There ain't no BBW men, man. It's not. Because there's like three genres. Exactly. So that proves my point. If you leave a man to his own devices, they're going to want variety and different types of women. So So, you're never going to satisfy a man sexually by yourself. So then what is the point of even being in a committed relationship? Because you get the stability and you get his last name. You get the security and you get his kids and you get the wife title. That's why. These other chicks are just chicks. Well, I mean, me personally, I don't have no intentions of marrying. Like, I'm really not into that. Like, I've never grown around. How old are you? I'm 22. That's why you think that way. No, it's honestly just genuine shit. Like, just because I'm 22, like, I've been through a lot of shit. Like, a lot of shit. And... So then you know that. But uh, but that's exactly what I'm saying. I would never marry. Like, I would make sure that, like, I still had that independence. I feel like if you love someone, one, you really don't need the fucking courts to tell you shit. You don't need to prove that. And you don't need the courts to control your money after the fact. Because if, like, because I feel like if you're even worried about the divorce, then, like, come on. Like, at the end of the day, life is life. Like, you either will end up together or you won't. So the fact, like, marriage to me, I don't really care about that. It's just more of the fact, like, you share yourself with that other person for a reason. So if the person you're with is just going to not be loyal to you, then, like, fuck it. There's other people that will be loyal and that could give you that love that you want. So if at that point, just be, like, poly if you're just going to fuck other people. Uh, You're you're operating on the should, could, or would. You got to make concessions. If you want an attractive man, you're going to have to share him. You, you're not going to get him to yourself. Yeah. Like, you're just not. The, the best that you can hope for is that he's loyal to you, as in he's willing to die and protect you. That's a man's loyalty. A woman's loyalty is not fucking other people. But the issue is that women think men and women, men and women are equal. We're not. We look at loyalty differently. We look at respect differently. We look at relationships differently. We look at sex differently. We view the world differently in general. But I feel like you control your body. So, like, like you said earlier, like if someone, like, uh, you said something about body count that, yeah, and like you control your body count, but like, yeah. guys control their body count too. Like, you could here's decide a big to mistake. fuck someone and fuck and not to. The higher my body count, the more my value is is increased. The higher your value, uh, your body count, the more your value is decreased. So I think that depends on the viewer. Because if I fuck with a nigga that I know probably fuck like fifty bitches, like. And, and like that's not really not saying that that's not attractive, but like if you see how the person is, like really, okay, I got to start. Let's let's play a game. Let's say I meet you at the club, right? Mm-hmm. And I tell you, hey man, I find you attractive. You find me attractive, right? And we have a discussion. I tell you, hey, I'm having a party at my mansion. I want you to come and bring your girls, and you bring the ladies here at the table with you, right? You guys show up, right? You're all excited. I met this guy. We're gonna go to this party. It's a mansion. Blah blah blah. You walk in, and there's. 50 dudes and maybe three girls. What are y'all doing? Honestly, at that point, I'm like, listen, we're going to chill for a little and then dip because that's uncomfortable. Fantastic. Now, let's switch the scenario. You come over to the to the mansion party and you're there with your girls. Now, there's 100 girls, maybe 20 guys. What are you doing? I would say that's a little bit more comfortable. Thank you. That proves my point. That I what just you... want to be more comfortable? No, 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 no. We're not the same. Let's peel the layers back a little bit. Why are you comfortable? I'm comfortable because, 
like 50 guys compared to like fucking five bitches like you don't you don't know what those niggas could are capable of doing so why am i gonna put myself in a situation where literally let's I peel it back a layer myself. why did you feel more comfortable when there were women there um because there's less men like men are fucking scary like if there's more bitches like i'm gonna be more comfortable like all right bet like okay. if these five niggas try something all right i got like 80 bitches behind me <laughs> but if it's like 50 niggas and i only got three bitches behind me like that's you know damn like that's a little scary okay like, no let me like... articulate it for you so everyone in, in the room understands what the hell's going on here when you showed up and there were a bunch of men there i did not show any type of real value because i had a bunch of guys there okay this dude isn't socially that cool because he has a bunch of dudes there however when you show up in the second scenario and i have a bunch of women there even though i might not necessarily i could be or could not be fucking them but the fact is, I have other women there, so I've been pre-selected by other women that I'm a cool guy, and they showed up to my social situation. Hold on, let me finish. So therefore, that made you feel safe because other women were there. So if other women co-sign on me, you're more likely to stay and allow me to talk to you so that I can build what? More uh, rapport, then potentially lead to sex. However, I didn't even get the chance in the first scenario because I had a bunch of guys there. Same guy, everything else is the same, but when women are there, you feel more comfortable. So that goes back to what I'm saying. A man that can get a lot of women or has women around him is inherently attractive, regardless of what women want to say. But a man that doesn't have women is not attractive because you don't know where he stands in the social hierarchy. But if you have other women there that co-sign and it makes me look cool, then you're going to want me even more. It's all subconscious. Women are hive-minded creatures. Remember I told you how women are followers? That's a perfect example that displays my point. Clubs. Women need co-signs from other women. So if I fuck other girls, I've displayed that I already have social value to some degree. So it does make me more attractive, even though you're trying to sit here and say, no, it doesn't. I ain't going to fuck no nigga with 50 bodies. Here's the key. You ain't going to ask, and you're not going to care. However, if I fuck with a girl, I am going to be interested in how many bodies she has. Well, two things. One, I didn't say I wouldn't fuck a nigga with 50 bodies. I said that if a nigga told you they have 50 bodies, like, the, you're like some bitches care, some bitches don't. Thing it's not the hear. most appealing. And same thing for niggas. They don't want to hear that. And not every But it's not going like to disqualify me from dating you. But on the other end, it's going to disqualify you from being in a relationship with me. That's what I'm trying to say. Men and women are not the same. A man with a high body count has proved his value to the world. A woman that has a high body count has lost her value in the world. I mean, it's very simple. I don't know. I feel like if you're a bitch and you could bag niggas and whatever and you're confident in yourself then here's bitch, the issue you ahead, feel like, like and you're not hearing the reality I you mean, can the, feel but, however you want and you can like whatever you want but the reality is men have a very strong interest in a woman's past i don't care what you say or how you feel but That's i feel the like truth. women are the women are the same thing and on the second and on the second nah. thing with the men when, when i was talking about the 50 people the 50 men in the room it wasn't about oh is he like like valid like it's not even about that it's literally i think more of like safety if i'm yes, in a room with 50 people but safety safety is a necessary requirement for a man to be able to even run game you need to feel safe first right so are you talking about like running game or just being in a situation around people i'm saying that they're 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 linked you cannot seduce a woman and get her to fuck you if she's scared of you and thinks that you're a weirdo so what I've done is I've had other women there that co-sign on me not being a weirdo. Therefore, it allows me to be able to run game in the first place. You don't notice this because you're a woman and you have the privilege of not having to worry about attracting men. But men have to think about all of this when they attract women. That's the difference. This is why so many women don't know what men want because you don't have to deal with and or really rise to any real regulation on what men want. Or care. Men, on the other hand, have to study you guys, understand you guys to another degree that you guys don't even know. I'm telling you things about yourself you might not even notice or know. But you just know how to react. That's why I gave you the two scenarios. I knew already what the answer was going to be. When there's 50 guys, you ain't going to want to stay. But when there's 50 girls, you're going to want to stay. Which goes contradicting to what you guys were saying. I don't want to do that. That's 50 bitches. Fuck 50 girls. It doesn't matter how many girls I fuck. The point is, is that I have women around me. And that makes me more attractive. Yep. Versus let's switch the scenario around. We go to a party. Girl invites us. There's, I don't know, 50 dudes. But that girl is there. You ain't going to leave. You're going to still talk to that chick. You don't give a fuck about her ability to get other girls or get other guys there, her, her social status means nothing to you. But a man's social status means a lot to a woman. Makes like, sense. I don't know how I, this doesn't I understand make sense. what you're saying, but I don't think that, like, because you have bitches, you're attractive. Or, or like, honestly, for example, let's say if we came in here right now. Drake there walked was in the room right now. You ain't fucking him? Honest, I I'm not even on that, though. Like, I, my whole point is not even about be sex. On him, though. She probably hasn't been starstruck yet. It, no, I well, mean, I don't. Yeah. Honestly, I'm really not even that type of person. Like, I don't, well, I don't give a fuck about money or none of that. Like, be an exception. have you yeah. been yeah. around but. them? I've been around people who have money, yes, and I, I, I'm, I care about the person and how they are because people could have money and literally be the most boring people in the world. Like, I feel like at Merch. least people my age, like 20, 21, 22, like 
we like material at least for me material don't matter because like really? it, it for me it doesn't matter like as long as you're a cool ass person your and, age. it don't matter no, I swear to God. Like, I literally, if I talk to a nigga, I have so many niggas in the club come up to me. They can have chains on, all of that shit. I do not give a fuck yeah. because when I talk to them, it's like, all right, like, what else is interesting about you? The same way niggas want us we to be We missed the key point. Hmm. You gave them the chance to talk to you. Right? No, I, niggas come up but, to me. But hold, I on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you, see, this is this is what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like women don't understand what goes into attraction and attracting other women and building attraction. They have zero fucking clue. No offense to you, but we've displayed this on many times where we've had women. Hey, I want you to pick me up. I'm the girl. You're the guy. Go. They don't know what they're doing, and we've done that several times. When you ladies want to try and take it out, we can do that. But what I'm saying is that you don't know. You didn't even realize that the fact that he had the chain and he had this status is why you even opened the door to let him play the game in the first place. But ugly nigg people that I don't find, let me say ugly, but people I don't find attractive come up to me too. But you don't and, give them a chance. I, 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 no, because I've actually had conversations with people who I literally would not date. Like, Okay, I, having a conversation, but you're not going to entertain them for serious, like, okay, I'll go out with you and hang out with you. Uh, is what I'm trying yeah, to say. but I also wouldn't do that with someone who has money and it's happened to me before and I literally don't entertain. I just think that, like, yes, there's a population of females that would entertain in that. And I feel like that's why, especially in Miami, like when people come and visit all that shit, they like you'll see girls who could weigh fucking like 80 pounds and they be going to these niggas mansions and they don't even know what situation they're putting themselves in. Like it's all about like your surroundings and being aware of the situation. Like just because you have just so what's your argument here? My, ar <laughs> I'm my, to, I'm my, girl, like, my been, argument is running. that like it doesn't matter if a nigga has money. It doesn't matter if a nigga has bitches around like some females really just care about one, their safety. And two, if they vibe with you, it does have nothing to do with, for some people, money and all of that. The vibe. Yeah. It, it, I love that term vibe. <laughs> this ambiguous, magical term vibe that no girl can actually define. Like, I, like, I, I will add to you, the vibe does include, on some level, a lifestyle where they can see themselves having yeah. fun or enjoy, enjoyment, which does include a guy having money. So at the end of the day, money does matter. All we're saying here is that at the end of the day, if you're a woman out here, certain things attract you. You may not know what it is, but when you see it, you see it, and the vibe is there. If I'm going to be a so thousand, go for it. women exactly. don't even know what they're attracted to, yeah. and there are studies that prove that women don't know what they're attracted yeah. to and aroused by. They literally did a, a blind study where they took women and men, and they showed women. Do I want to go? Do, are we going to go through this? Or? Well, it's been three hours in. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, All it, right, it, fine. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't burn my mar. Yeah, I mean, hey, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, man. chat, y'all. Let us know. Oh, did we just hit 10k live viewers? Yo, shout out to y'all, man. Like the video. Let's just chat. We just hit 10k. Uh, does I see new shop have a 12 inch dragon dildo asking for a friend? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> All right. we were oh, speaking we... about this on the Discord, that's why not yet, bro. But go follow the spicy, uh, yeah, spicy peach dot boutique, please. And thank you. Well, Richie Rich, BTQ. 20 bucks says Chris sound like the teacher from Charlie Brown, fucking hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Richie Rich again, swear to God, I thought Fresh left. I couldn't see him. He's so dark. Okay. I'm in a shadow realm. Uh, Lauren Berger Sadiq. Fresh of it. Thank you guys watching your show. Took me out of my depression and finally learned fuck women's feelings. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys watch Man. it every single night, bro. I, I say the truth, but I feel like, and I don't agree with this, and it shouldn't be this way, and it couldn't be this way, but I'm just saying what is, man. Like, that makes sense what I was saying before or no? No, I understand. Like I respect your I respect your words. <laughs> oh, she's smart. She just said words. She didn't say nothing else. She wanna say opinion. <laughs> uh okay. His girl, she she owned it. She was like, fuck this nigga, I don't care. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, long live. Yeah, hey, listen. Dude, nah, I respect yeah, it. Ladies like, can so you guys can soak up the game and accept it and yeah. become better. I'm or you could get mad and then go back to your Disney fairy tale and think that all guys are not gonna be che cheating on you and he should be loyal and we're the same. And you know, uh, my pussy's the only pussy that matters and all that other stuff. But hey, I'm listen, telling y'all the truth. They come on the platform, they listen, and they go right back to what they do in the clubs. I see y'all. <laughs> Shout out to y'all though. Yeah, I see y'all. <laughs> uh Long live gaming. Twenty bucks says his girl definitely cheating. I think she means you. Uh, <laughs> me, you I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Women will take these lies to the grave. So if she hooked up with someone, you may never know. That's true. Okay, good one. Karma is watching. It would be. It would come to light. But the real question is, how long would you wait for it? Oh damn! This is from before. No. From okay. What? Uh, they're asking you, Ben. Uh, how, they, they said when you said the truth will come out, but how long would you be willing to wait for it, bro? And honestly, bro, I'm the I'm I'm to the point, bro. I don't fuck thousands of girls, bro. 
if if some if I don't ever find out, bro, then you did a great fucking job. Like <laughs> you did a good job. You did job. a great job, bro. You At the end of the day, every, you not from the I get what y'all saying, but you're not finna be with no girl who never had sex with nobody. <laughs> you you get what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I my girl gonna have a low body count. And I, I understand that all that screening is done before you even get the chance to even start talking about being my girl. So there's not, it I'm not worried about the y'all niggas don't do what I do. That's the advice I can tell. Don't listen to me on this one. I'm yeah. just telling you about what I got going on. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, worry yeah, about y'all. Uh, so. uh, all right. Uh, uh theory one. Uh goddamn call firefighter Myron on fire. Uh well, you know. Trilla, Myron Fresh, Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan, and Jocko Willenick will be what saves America. I don't know about that, bro. I don't think America uh, can save my friend. Save too far gone. Yeah, it's too far gone. <laughs> That's right. Um, and I think one of the biggest issues when it comes to relationships in the United States and the West in general is that men and w- uh, women think that men and women are equal. And I think that's where a lot of the issues come is that they think that we're just blanks and equals. And if you think that, then everything else built upon that foundation is going to be fucked up because you're going to think that men adhere to the same rules in, as you and vice versa. And I'm here to say not at all. We're very, very different biologically, which dictates, you know, how we operate. Uh, Judellus, every drop of semen has over 60 million sperms in it. And each of these is a single life form. Men are biologically wired to spread their seed. Women should accept that. It's generally harder for men to be monogamous. Yes. And I say that he's going to be definitely less monogamous as he has more options. Zeno Z, 20 bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, Jibo Sauce God, $20. Ben isn't wrong for his views. I agree with Myron's point only because I smashed females and found out later that some have boyfriends, so putting myself in those shoes, I wouldn't want somebody else smashing a girl I'm with. Okay, so you see both perspectives. That's great. Understood. Um, cool. But uh, cool. And I've been that same nigga. Uh, to let y'all know, if your girl around me, you should be worried because it's always the funny nigga. I swear to God, it's always for you make a girl laugh, you in them draws. So I really don't be. I just don't be worried about that, bro. Because I done seen it. I done been there. I done done it. It happens, bro. <laughs> yeah. Make a make a laugh. Yeah, make a laugh, bro. That's how you win. Hey, Ben, you just made a laugh, bro. A lot of niggas be stale. <laughs> the stale niggas is the ones who be worried because you, 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 your girl just like, oh, this guy's cool. He takes care of me. But you come to, the, you come over here, you're gonna be on the top floor laughing your ass off. And 20 minutes later, your clothes off. Now you wonder what the hell going on. <laughs> and then the door closes, and now I'm not taking back. So now, <laughs> you, now you appreciate your man. I feel like I done done good service for a lot of brothers out here. Uh, yeah, send them back. Now they appreciate you because it is scumbag niggas who not gonna text them back. <laughs> and I don't yeah. need that. So no, charisma is very good. important. Charisma, comedy, like when a girl says, "I like a funny guy," they want a charismatic guy. You know what I'm saying? Makes them laugh. It spikes emotions. These are all very important. Hell, even now, I spiked all these girls' emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> uh, like uh, th- th- probably negatively to a degree. But um, if you can't shift the girls' emotions, then the, the worst thing you could be is boring. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And I think yeah, boring, being polarizing boring. to a degree, at least. I'll take a girl's respect over her liking me any day, cause she'll fuck you if she facts, respects you. Facts. But she ain't got she's but she could like you and and not respect you, and then she definitely don't want to fuck with you. So I think a woman's respect is the most important thing because women are creatures that are designed to follow somebody. So therefore, you need to be the the strongest influence in her life, and that that's really what it is. That's I think men once men figure that out and understand that men and women are not equal, and you need to be the leader in her life. That's when everything makes sense. Facts. Okay, last thoughts, Michelle. Um, and quick. Well, I had fun. This was fun, you guys. Um, very nice meeting you, ladies. Very nice to meet you too. Um, and my major is communications. I actually take an introduction to podcasting class, so this was really cool. Shout to you. Awesome. Yeah. And it goes down right. from here. They're gonna, yeah, yeah they're probably, no, because <laughs> yo, did you know that they're like using our podcast in fem, uh, female studies classes yeah. in yeah. college? The whole Britain wow. writer uh, thing too, as well. Yeah, they're using, they're breaking it down and saying like, oh shit, like, uh, what, what was it? Yeah. yeah. Got you. Misogyny. Yeah, there you yeah. go. They're trying to say that, but it's like, no, it's not misogynistic. It's realistic. Men and women are different. Uh, ben, where can they find you, bro? Where can they find me at? Being the Don with three ends at the end. And I'm on all platforms just like that, being the Don. And I see where can I find you? Uh, you guys go ahead and follow my Pokemon page, she's so icy.tv. Follow my new sex store, spicypeach.btq. And yeah, also click the link in my bio for some fun stuff. And guys, all the girls are tagged on Instagram story and down below as well on Instagram. So give them a shout out if you want to. And we're going to show it tomorrow, but, right? Yeah, but hold on. We just her. No, oh, we oh did, she was the last. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going around. Okay. All right. Uh, so, guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow for the Atlanta show with girls. And uh, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, we'll catch you guys then. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Go check out that episode that we had with uh, about Nikki and Joe Budden, too. We break down why mainstream media wants to cancel us so bad. and. Yeah, when you guys see the, all the receipts, then you guys, it'll all make sense. And also subscribe to our Shorts channel and the Clips channel as well, guys. 
Uh, peace. Peace. Oh, the night is my world.